Okay, okay, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I, I'm sure that you saw, that you heard that it wasn't the song anymore, right? Right? Well, it doesn't really matter. Good morning, everyone. Nice to see you all. Um, today, we're going to squirt with Super Squirt Day. Yes, yes, yes. We also had the... <laughs> Hello, Oak. Hello, hello, Hoak. How you doing? Hello, Matt. Hello, Aleya. How is everyone doing? Very nice to see you. Um, little indicator for the people. Uh, this could be the last stream available for the giveaway for the War Within uh, Epic Edition. So make sure to buy your tickets today. This is going to be your last chance, potentially. Uh, there might be a stream on the weekend, but uh, there is some stuff I want to work on right now. Uh, this week, yeah, yeah, look at this mustache. Morning, nerds. <laughs> so I don't win, I'm rioting. Okay, okay, don't riot, okay? Please don't riot. <laughs> Thanks one to no one. Oh, boy. Mustache doesn't exist. Yes, it's uh, it's a subtle one. It's a subtle mustache, you see? When you look like a super zoom, maybe. But yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, <laughs> still pretty sure it's painted on. How dare you? How dare you? Would be it, if it was painted on. It would be much better than this. Um. So yeah, today we're gonna do super score day, but other things uh, alongside that. Uh, we're going to do some uh, some more uh, related things with pets, basically, here. Uh, we're going to do the wall quest uh, for pet charms. And we're going to do, like, uh, leveling in the meantime at the same time. We're also going to do our Nax runs. So not a really, really big kind of menu today, but that's okay. Because these are all things that are really, really good for me right now. And hopefully good for you. Also, uh, Super Squirt Day is not going to start for the next uh, 33 minutes because it starts at the at the daily quest reset. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm going to do my Shadowlands mission table, and I think I want to talk about a little bit of my recent sales, okay? Um, so these are the sales since the last stream, right? These are the sales since the last stream. Uh, I decided to start keeping my mailbox again. Um, so that's kind of easier for people to see. Uh, the stuff that I sell. And lots of things have been getting much, 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 much better. Right? Much, much, much better. So I kind of want to talk a little bit about this. Um, we did do a lot of ink sales. You can see that out of my million something gold, 569,000 gold in sales for ink in the last three days. So ink has just been really, really solid. And right now I have almost none on the auction house because it's sold like kind of really fast. Um, I, I, I've seen that Matt has been kind of struggling with selling uh, some of the ink. And I see other people too, right? And I think the trick is to really just post it every 12 hours. Like not skip a beat because um, this, this is kind of how you can do it. Also, <laughs> Matt leaves. Matt... I've been bullying Matt about the ink on this stream a little bit and on Discord. Uh, so so that's why he's leaving right now. But it's okay, Matt. Please come back, Matt. Miss you, Matt. So 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 yeah, we did get a lot of uh, of sales from ink. So I'm just going to collect all of it. But I don't know exactly how much quantity, but it's over 10,000 of each type, I think. Oh, he's back. He's back. We got him back. We got him back. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna collect all uh, all of the gold from the ink here. Uh, if we look at the other sales, uh, something that was very very interesting is the portable. Uh, well, we have a portable party platter. That's cool, but the portable yak wash, right? The portable yak wash um, is something that you get from uh, buy. You can buy this with time walking badges, right? And these are the first two that we sell so far. Um, so I was very, very happy to, to see some sales on this. These are 500 badges. So if you look at the, um, they're an average of maybe 13,500. So the, the average price that we got is 13, oops, 13,500. 
If you divide this by 500, which is the cost of the badges, you'll see that it's about 27 gold per each badge, the time walking badges that you get. And since when do you do like the first, um, the first dungeon that you do every day, uh, 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 not every day, but every uh, every time walking uh, week on each character it gives you a quest that gives you 500 badges. So uh, these are only purchasable during the Pandaria uh, time walking. Yeah, for, for me, like uh, last month time walking, it took a while, but I did sell two. Uh, I only bought like nine, to be honest. So it's not like, um, it's not like um, that important like for me that this is that I, I didn't transfer this on other servers as well this is just on one server for me right now uh but i was pretty happy uh, that this happened also we sold another uh, portable party platter here uh pretty good item to sell uh and yeah we we did sell a lot of uh, of other things so we can go into it so i think that we did see the duck stuff fluffy this is uh this is a tailoring uh I believe this is a tailoring. Uh, crafting cost is extremely low for this, so that's that's like a hundred gold to craft these. Uh, so those were okay. Uh, the dragon scale, yeah, we did sell a lot of dragon scale expedition tents. Uh, the price is kind of fair. Like uh, the crafting cost, uh, I believe it's about a thousand gold. Maybe it used to be more expensive to craft these because they had these. Uh, Paul Strider's items. I don't remember uh, sinews. I don't remember how it's called. Uh, but yeah, we did sell a lot of those. So that was some good sales. Uh, the hard yeah, I I I kind of want to show you this. This was a uh, this was something that was pretty interesting. And for this, I'll need uh, my add-on right here because this could be a nice um, be a nice thing to do. So let's type here the user. So uh. About nine days ago, I bought all of these, all of these here, the 526 uh, users, Hearties 2. I bought them for 11,800 gold, and now they sold for basically double that price. So um, I bought them for 22 gold, and they sold for like uh, something like 50, 50, 45 to 50, I believe. So that was a pretty cool thing. Uh, that was a pretty cool thing um uh, yeah 45 and 50 so so i was pretty happy with this and, and the way that you can kind of track this why what why is this item uh more expensive this week is because of the barter bricks uh system so the barter bricks if i kind of show you on my uh on my auction house here um i do have a an auctionator shopping price for the items for the the barter bricks so all of these items are part of the barter bricks things so, 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 so sometimes I kind of see um, some of these items being very, very cheap. Um, for example, like in this case, it was the users too. It was like for very much cheaper than this. So we did buy only 500, but uh, those were super profitable. So I was pretty happy. Um, also, sometimes the, the children's rank two are pretty good. These enchants, uh, I've been having success with these enchants. Uh, from time to time, you can just kind of buy them at this price. But right now, uh, right now, since the chromatic dust is so cheap and at such a big quantity, I wouldn't really go into it too much. Uh, even though there is profit to be made, let, let's be real. There's profit to be made. Sometimes the elephant dorados, I'm pretty sure this is higher than it used to be. Like if we take a look at the... Um, Isle Finn Dorados. I'm pretty sure that earlier this week they were like uh, much, much, much cheaper. Um, yeah, I don't know. Not really showing here. They've been like, I feel like they were at, yeah, they were at like 50 gold recently. And now they're like 69 gold. So there's also the fact that Isle Finn Dorados are, are like basically one of the main ingredients for cooking. Uh, so this could be like, this is always going to be kind of relevant. Uh, at some point, it was over 100 gold. I don't know if this is going to kind of make a comeback, but uh, good thing to know. So, yeah, that, that's kind of how I did that flip for the user uh, stews. I was pretty happy about that. Um, So, let's see here. Also, okay, let's see if we have uh, other things here that I want to... Well, yeah, there is some Vanguard, uh, some Vanguard leg plates and Vanguard breastplate. I'm not really happy with it. It's not a, a, a shitty price for Vanguard Breastplate, but it's okay. It's not great. Uh, Vanguard Leg Place is an amazing price. So this this is Transmog that drops in Um 
So that's always nice. Uh, I'm trying to see that. Well, I, I guess we'll go one after the other. Yeah, the the dust the dust spirit is a pet that you get from uh, um the what's it called the the souls right the 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 earthy souls. If you do the earthy soul farm, uh, you'll get sometimes pretty rarely a dust spirit. And there you go. We sold it for uh, seventy six thousand. This is a pet. Uh, and this is we sold it for the um, at the rank uh, level twenty five pet right. When we have these expensive pets, we always double them to twenty five. Uh, square holders. I don't know if we have more. Let's see. Nope. Square holders is a jewel crafting item. Uh, this recipe is from uh, Zulgarub. Uh, this was a new introduced recipe. It's a really cool recipe actually. It's for like these uh these sunglasses right. It's for these uh, sunglasses. If you look at the square holders, right? It's like these kind of greenish uh, gold. Uh, they're like kind of goggles, sunglasses. It's kind of a mix. But look, I think they look pretty cool. And yeah, the crafting cost is like 200, 300 gold. So uh, pre pretty good in that sense. Uh, the Twilight Clutch Sisters is one of the pets um, that we are... Uh, having in our list of pets to level up, uh, this I believe is an undead or a dragon. I don't remember, but yeah, this is uh, this is just a pet that was level one at about a thousand gold. We leveled him up and sold it for this price, so that was very good. Uh, let me see if we have some more high society. High society top hat is a recipe that's got changed. Okay, now it's way, way, way more available than it used to be uh, back in the day. All right, if you look at the um, High society top hat pattern. Uh, right now in my realm, they're like 200,000 gold, so you might not want to invest that, but yeah, you look here. Uh, this pattern used to be in the millions, and now it's like 200,000 gold on average on every realm. I'm pretty sure that on some realms, it's like a, there's a realm where it's 125,000 gold. So this is a pattern that I absolutely uh, like so far, and I think it's been pretty successful for me. Uh, the crafting cost is about 800 gold. Uh, this is an island expedition transmog. Uh, this here is a Nazjatar transmog. Uh, the Gnoltet is a leatherworking uh, toy that you can craft. Uh, the Mallard Mortar is a jewel crafting... Uh, no, 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 not a jewel crafting. It's an um, engineering uh, toy that you can craft. And this is like a thousand or two thousand gold to craft, so this is a pretty massive profit. Uh, the Chatterstone is a, a toy that you can craft with jewel crafting. I think we have more that I see. So two Chatter toys, uh, Chatterstone here, very very nice. You do need one blood of Sargeras for these ch Chatterstones, so make sure to uh, to be careful with that. Um, this this is a a pet that you can buy for pet charms. I believe this one is 50 pet charms, uh, the Sand uh, Stinger Wasp. So, pretty good price on this. Alvin the Anvil is a craftable uh, pet uh, that I sold for this price. You need one soul of uh, Earth and Soul for this, so that's uh, pretty cool. Um, we can kind of clear all of the glyphs right away. We have two glyphs here. There we go. Need to craft more glyphs right now. We kind of ran out. Uh, the blue feather is a is a pet that you can buy with pet charms. I think it's a hundred pet charms, so it's not a good return on these charms, but that's okay. Uh the ceremonial, right? The ceremonial. I think it's the only one. This is a pretty uh, stupid sale. Okay. Uh let me let me show you why. Okay, let me show you why this is a pretty stupid sale. Um, because this it, it's a pretty funny one. So basically. Um, oh, it's not showing the, the sale. As, did I collect the gold? Did I collect, yes, I did. So it should show. First, I just collected it, but yeah, you could see that I just sold. Uh, I sold it for 5,000 gold, right? Uh, I bought it. I mean, I bought it for 5,000 gold, and you just saw that I, I, I saw like that was like one day ago, right? One day ago, I, I got this for like. 5,000 gold, and the, the very next day I sold it for 33,000 gold. So that was kind of a ridiculous, ridiculous price here. Uh, I don't know why it's not showing. This is uh, this is sometimes happening, and I really hate that it's not showing all the data. 
Because right now you did see that I picked up the, the gold from this, but it's not showing in the thing. Uh, okay, whatever. Okay, so a Stormborn Wellpling is a pet that's like uh, 50 gold to buy, and we sold it for at level 25 for 7600. Uh, Crown of the Righteous is a jewel crafting uh, cosmetic that you can craft. Uh, it costs a few hundred gold, I think, to craft. Maybe a hundred gold to craft. Very, very cheap. Uh, the Swap Blaster is uh, toys from Waters of Draenor. Uh, these are extremely cheap to, to craft, like 100 or 200 gold maybe, max. Probably less. Uh, but they are kind of on a cooldown that you can craft them. You just need to kind of have a garrison for this to really work. Uh, so that was pretty good. Uh, Leather Love Seed is... Uh, we have more than one. This is a very... Um, a very easy recipe to get you you can just go and buy it from a vendor and this is a jewel uh, a leather working recipe leather working recipe from a legion uh so there you go give me those uh beautiful golds uh we can look at this uh this is a speed gear that we got for a little bit of a cheap price but that was basically my minimum price or roughly that uh but still this is like 500 gold to craft so that's pretty good um Rhinestone sunglasses, uh, amazing item. Uh, Alvin, uh, we should have probably picked up more than one Alvin, uh, but we already saw this item. Uh, Illusions, uh, Primal Air, this is an enchanting recipe. This is a pet that you buy with pet charms. Uh, this is a new trinket that you can craft. This is Transmog at a pretty garbage price, but we had like too many of these, so it's not too bad. There's a transmog from uh, Island Expeditions, so we can kind of get rid of this. Uh, the This is a pet that I leveled, uh, again, I bought for like a few thousand gold and sold for a, a, a big chunk. It was nice. Tusker Beanbag is a um, leatherworking toy you can craft this expansion. Barbaric Longcloth, um, I believe this is a flip as well. That went pretty well for me. I think I bought this for like 5,000 gold, so a really, really good price. Uh, this is a pattern from uh, Zulgarub. And finally, the Fiery Warax, which is a vanilla transmog that I don't even know where I got it. I think it was from dungeons like uh, maybe Dire Mall. I could see this being in Dire Mall, maybe. And there you go. So, uh, that was like a lot of gold we collected, like uh, over a million gold. So, that was... Uh, uh, my sales went really well. I think uh, Ink was... a Obviously, Ink was a really, really big chunk of that gold. But... Um, uh, I did change uh, my operation for uh for the the craftable item, so I kind of decided to go with an operation that had uh a crafting right. Uh, like, let me show you the operation. Like a minimum goal, a minimum profit of a thousand gold. Uh, this way, uh, every time I make a sale, I make at least a thousand gold. I think that this is kind of fair. Uh, sometimes you could put it at less than this if you if you want to make uh that's like my minimum price. I don't post it for one million gold profit. I, I this is like the minimum that I'm willing to accept for this, right? This is like the minimum that I'm willing to accept. Not that um I think it's really worth if it's not like uh like I, I wouldn't do these items if it was always just for one thousand gold profit. And it's not like a bad thing to get a, a, a thousand gold profit, but I think uh, you could get this to lower and like uh, also have like for crafting I have like these um these operations that are more towards like um a minimum percentage of profit. Lots of people see like to see a percentage of profit when it comes to different items. Hmm. But I guess it varies from uh from people to people. Uh but yeah. So uh super score day. Uh, this is where I'm gonna empty, get out of this account and go to the other one, right? So, so what is Super Square Day? Uh, right now, this is a combination of two things, okay? Uh, the first thing that it is, actually, do, do we even have a garrison on this guy? I don't think, oh, we don't have a garrison, so we'll need to do this on a different uh, character, that's okay. Um, but yeah, it's a combination of two things. The first thing being... Uh, the pet battle a uh, bonus event, right? So this week, um, your pets will get earn experience at double the usual rate. So this means that you have a hundred percent XP boost this week. 
uh, from from pet battles. So this is like really really cool. Uh, this is the first event that happens. The second event is actually in your garrison. Okay, uh, in your garrison, uh, there is a pet battle uh, deity that you can do. Right, uh, pet battle deity that you can do. I think we'll go on my mage to do this then, and we'll need to. Yeah, let's send this to the mage. Actually, this character will need to go to like Dalaran. Let me actually. We're gonna prepare some pets. Uh, uh and, and yeah, just what is the, the 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 super score day? Uh, this is probably one of the best opportunities to to make uh to level pets. It happens very very rarely. Like if we go to the actual website, we can kind of show you uh how often this happens. But give me a second. Uh, if you go to power leveling pets like this, you can see when the super score days are happening. So right now, um. On NA, it's today. And the one, the next one, we don't know when it is, but it's after June, right? So so this is pretty rare. You can see, like, uh, the first time of the year for EU is going to be on May 21st. So this doesn't happen very often, right? This doesn't happen very often. So, um, so yeah, today's the day. And it's not, it's very important to, 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 to make people understand this isn't that good, okay? This isn't that good. It's good. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. This is good. But why I say that this isn't that good is because uh, lots of people will wait months to level pets. And you don't need to, le to wait that much because there is other situations where you can make just as much, uh, just as much good uh, stuff happening. So... I think that it's important to kind of keep that in mind, right? It's important to keep that in mind that it's not like uh, your only opportunity to actually, you know. Uh, yeah, we can make more of these. So, yeah, right now I'm kind of selecting uh, what pets I'm going to level today. Uh, so, yeah, let me just get a bunch of pets. And once we do this, we're going we're gonna to decide uh, which one goes next. Okay. So let's start with this. We're going to mail this to the character that does this. Right now, it's not available. It's, it's in uh, 13 minutes. And I know exactly what we're going to do uh, during that time. So this is going to go uh, right here. This. Go. Okay. Research. There we go. And now let's just send all of the stuff that we can. Recent uh, herb herb herb. Go. And there we go. Last batch probably. Two more. There we go. Recent. Recent. Up. Oh. Ah, come on, man. I can't collect today. What the fuck? Okay, there you go. Uh, so now, uh, what we're going to do during the time that we have to wait here is we're going to do our Shadowlands mission table. Shadowlands mission table uh, is very, very quick to do and gives us some pet charms. Pet charms are not going to be like a real factor today, even though I'd like to kind of show the alternatives, right? I, I would like to show the alternatives to Super Squad Day today because uh, as much as Super Squad Day is one of the things that people really, really like, uh, for me, it's very, very important to kind of show the alternatives to it because uh, it shouldn't be like that, that people wait uh, this long. Uh, it, it shouldn't be like that, that people just wait this long to level their pets, right? There needs to be alternatives for this. Uh, I guess, uh, oh, this guy is only doing this. Okay, whatever. Yo. Uh, so let's do our little, uh, let's do our mission tables here on uh, on this account. And uh, from there, we'll move on. There we go. Um, I hope you um, I hope you had the um, a good week this week. I've been like super busy. I made this uh, spaghetti sauce uh, with my girlfriend and one of our of our common friends. That was kind of a really really big amount of sauce. Uh, I was kind of I was kind of ecstatic with the amount of sauce that we made. Uh, there's gonna be a lots 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 of meals uh, for me. Uh, so that's gonna be very nice. Uh, with trees. Uh, yeah, exactly, exactly, Winky Face. 
Uh, wait, did I get a raid and it didn't work? Why did it? What, 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 what was going on right here? Let me see if I can uh, make this work. Oh my god, how you doing, Scully? Hello. Give me a second. Give me a second. Can we test this? Working. My my thing is not working. Why is this not working? All my alerts are not working. Well, thank you so much, Scully. How you doing? It was very nice the other day. Me and Matt, we raided you. And uh, it was a pretty good time. Uh, you've been having issues with some stuff as well. Yeah, let me uh, let me try to reset my thing. Because uh, right now, everything is going to crap. Go and reset this. And we'll see if this works. Uh, well, how you doing? Thank you so much, guys. If you don't know uh, Scully Wally, uh, he streams on Twitch and YouTube. So make sure to go and give him a follow. He does goal making. He does collecting. He does it all. Amazing, and uh, and definitely you want this. So let me let me try and thank you for the follow, uh, maniac, uh, uh, manic crazy gold. Thank you so very much. Uh, let me see here if this works now. Let me see if this works. Doesn't seem to work right now. Try this. No, all of my stuff is not working. Why is this not working? You. Um, well, I guess today we're not going to have alerts. Is this, uh, is everything down? Is every, is there people here? <laughs> From one broken street to another, only on Twitch. Oh, uh, maybe it's a Twitch issue then, right? Maybe it's a Twitch. Hello, uh, the bear fan. Hello, Aruta. Uh, hello, Winky Face. Hello, everyone. Hello, that new. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening right now. Uh, but hey, we'll do, uh, we'll do, uh, <laughs> you think you're here? Uh, well, my YouTube chats, my, my YouTube chats work for me on Botrix, but, um, all my alerts don't work for some reason. It's like it doesn't have the authorization or something. Maybe that's what it is, but, uh... Let me see here. Uh, thank you to Xaders for the follow as well. Very appreciated. Welcome to the stream. Well, oh, this one works. You see this? Uh, thanks to Xaders for the follow. This is part of the thing. Is this a sound issue? Let me see. What is going on here? Let's actually try this. No, this doesn't work. Why is this not working? Hmm. It's like all my sound. Uh, did I delete this? No. So weird. But uh, thank you everyone for the nice generosity and welcome, uh, welcome readers. Uh, currently we are doing uh, our Shadowlands mission tables. Uh, before, uh, before, uh, before doing the Super Squared Day. Super Squared Day is uh, yeah. I did see your new layout. Yeah, I did see that you had a new layout. Oh, it's already done on this one. So yeah, we're kind of relogging to all the things. I don't know what's going on here. I might have a... Maybe it's because of that? I don't know. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's keep going this. I'm going to keep doing some testing on my side. It's always uh, not super nice to have these uh, these issues. But hey, it is uh, it is what it is. Not a big deal. Um. Yeah. Maybe if I, there's like, you could see like the, the, the alert, like, um, one of the alerts worked, uh, right now the, the Sky Birda bought a ticket and there was no alert as well. Um, I don't know. Cause like, you could see that the thanks for the follow is actually an alert from the same program I'm using. So it looks like the program is, is working, but not everything is working. I don't know if there's an update for it. See if there's like a, an update. Check for updates. Nope, it's up to date. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's just keep going. I mean, we don't. Uh, we technically don't really need alerts, but it would have been nice. There you go. So we're gonna do our uh, our tables. It's super screen day, and uh, yeah, uh, for um, yeah, uh, you guys. Uh, this is the page. So on May twenty first is the next day for EU. Uh, for us, it's today. So, uh, so yeah, hello, Eleven. How you doing? Nice to see you. 
Uh, so we're collecting a lot of these pet charms very, very fast with the Shadowlands Mansion table to get all of these pet charms. Uh, I'm just going to go to the characters that have um, Shadowlands Mansion table and already there. Uh, it's starting in like six minutes, so we cannot uh, we cannot do it right away. We're, we're not just going to do Super Square today, but it's one of the things we're going to do. Uh, I'm all right. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. i um, feeling great. Uh, it's been... Uh, it's been a very nice few days. I've been very, very busy, but uh, a good kind of busy, you know, a good kind of busy. Uh, so here we completed our weekly quest uh, right here. So there you go. Let's go and collect the rewards. I don't know if this character, I don't think this character has fully maxed on renown. So he's just going to get a renown here, I think. Yeah, he's just going to get a renown. And he's, oh, he's one away from renown 80. And we're going to go, we're going to start getting some raw gold on him. Very, very nice. Next one. And there you go. How is uh how is Mr. Uh the Stinger going? I know Mr. Stinger is amazing. Yeah, uh, by the way, uh make sure to buy uh your uh War Within giveaway ticket for 750 points. Uh this is um this is a ticket you can buy once per stream, and this could be the last stream of the of the month. Uh so this means that in the next stream we're gonna do the giveaway. Um uh, the, there might be a stream this weekend, right? This, there might be a stream this weekend. I'm still not uh, sure. I need to wait on some information before, like, confirming. Um, but, yeah. Better yet, don't get it. Uh, so I have a better chance at winning. Yeah, that's something you can do. You can try and psych people out. <laughs> but, yeah, this is a giveaway that uh, is going to come back also in April. So in April, is going to be uh, another War Within uh, giveaway. This month, it was an epic edition. Next month, it's going to start as a base edition, and you guys will have the opportunity to uh, to upgrade it to an epic edition. So there you go. Uh, mm. Yeah, um, is, it, is it going away, uh, Feed the Sun? How's, uh, what's happening? Did you go see a bunch of doctors or... Uh, Mononucleosis. Oh yeah, that that's a that's a doozy. Oh, hang in there, okay, people. People survive from this. You will. You will survive. You will survive. Hang in there. I believe in you. <laughs> uh, he's at work right now. He's been trying to work a bit uh, to get some overtime for the eclipse on the eighth. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here the the schools will be closed for that or something like this. I don't know. I've been drinking lots of coffee. All right, let's go to the mission table here. And there we go. Beautiful. I right, I've been uh, I've been like so busy in the last few days. It's been a bit uh, it's been a bit crazy, a bit crazy. But I'm happy. Like I'm happy to be streaming today. Uh, I'm working on some. Uh, I'm working on a on an update on a spreadsheet that we have for. Um, or premium users and i think it's going to be a very cool thing that i will be able to show on screen on stream uh very very soon but i'll need to find uh some time to kind of finish it uh it takes some uh some time to do uh also we're gonna release the april uh sub goals uh this weekend um that doesn't have the day off so you would have to take the time off oh, okay uh, to see it fully eclipse. Yeah, I don't know. Like, you just need to not look at the sun, basically. Is is that how it works? Uh, okay. I guess this one doesn't have a mission. Oh, we already did it on this one. Okay, I remember. We already did this on this one. That's why it's uh, like that. There you go. Joe, um, yeah, Super Square Day is about to start. Uh, and I'm going to show you kind of how this works. Uh, that we could kind of showcase our little strategy before we even start because that's kind of relevant uh, to kind of show you uh, how you can participate in this event if you're from the America region, obviously, right? If you're from the America region right now, you have access to kind of leveling lots of pets in a very, very short amount of time. It's not something that is never available, right? It's not something that is never available. It's... um. It's available like today as like the easy mode version of it, right? Uh, but it's available like most days of the year. Uh, so it's, it's not like, and this is something I really want to kind of put a lot of attention to, right? 
it's important for me that people understand uh, what this is about. So this this super square right now is part of a battle, okay, in the pet menagerie of Drainer, and it is a deep diary and puzzle. Right, this is the name of the thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link this to you guys. If you want to follow with me, uh, the link is in the chat right now on both YouTube and Twitch. Okay. Now, uh, you might not have the bone shard and the enchanted broom. That's absolutely possible. But here's the thing: there's a lot of different strategies in here uh, that you can use to make this happen. Now. What I would suggest is to always go for a strategy that has a little bit of time. You can see the first strategy here is a minute and 21 seconds. This one is a minute and 12 seconds. So technically, this strategy would be better. This one is a, is a minute and 6 seconds. So really, really uh, depends on what you want to do. So in this one here, you can see 1 minute and 6 seconds is very, very, very fast. Uh, we're just going to make sure that we have... I'm not sure we have the Torghast. Uh, let me see if we have the Torghast. Yes, the Torghast Lurker, we don't have it. Okay, never mind. So we don't have it. So we'll go to a different strategy. Uh, I know we have this strategy here. So it's a minute and 14 seconds. So I could just probably use my my strategy for uh, this one, right? With Anomalous. So in my teams here, I will go Deebs. And this is this is basically my strategy that I use, okay? Uh, so in the third slot here, you put the pet that you want to level up. Uh, for example, in this case, uh, we could put an Anibisap Idol right here. All right. Uh, now, this happens in your garrison. This is not going to happen for any garrison. I believe you need to have a rank 3 garrison for this to be available. Room and Bone Storm for the win. Yeah, I think I have this one too, but I think the ones with... Uh, the, the, the broom one is a little bit like slower, so you want to go for a strategy that's a little bit faster. And since we're in my garrison, I can always send kind of some missions. There we go. Get some freebies in here. I don't do a lot of uh, garrison stuff, but it can sometimes be. Uh, we, get, we do get a little mount here. That's always nice. Um, like getting Apexis crystals. I could buy stuff with it at some point, maybe. And uh, yeah, this, this, don't really care. Beautiful. So this is sending. All right. So let me show you kind of where the location is. Uh, so as you get out of your garrison, it's, uh, it's um, I don't know exactly where it is. And uh, the garrison is not that big. So if you're from uh, a horde side, I don't think it's going to be a big difference, right? Yeah, you want to, if you can chop a few seconds for every battle, it's always nice. Uh, hello, Marie. How you doing? Hello. Um, so yeah, uh, you can do kind of the, you can get the quest, right? Uh, because this is where uh, things are happening. So you can see here, uh, what you have to do is kind of right click this little paw. All right, and there you go. So now you can do the strategy. Now, if you don't have, if you don't, um, if you don't have pet battle scripts and these teams like here, what you can do is kind of follow, if you click on the strategy that you've chosen, like for example, this is the, the strategy has chosen it kind of shows you here all of the what you need to press which ability every time you need to do but if you have the pet battle scripts what you can do is just press uh your keybind and right now i'm not even looking at the screen and the battle keeps on going because that's kind of how it does right you just press a button and it does the action that you put into what's called the script right uh into the script uh, you can just press this button and press this button and press this button and everything works. So it is very, very, very nice. Ah, uh, nice to see you too, uh, Marie. Uh, how does the man in the moon cut his hair? Eclipse it. Uh... Oh my god, automation called the... <laughs> Alright, Christy. How are you doing, Christy? Nice to see you. So yeah, right now, I, I'm not even looking at the battle. It's just going to keep happening, right? And I kind of want to show you what's going to happen uh, to my pet after this, right? The pet was a level 1 pet, okay? Uh, the pet was a level 1 pet. So we'll see what happens after I um, I finish this battle. Which shouldn't be too long. I think he's going to die here, right? 
Getting my gold. This is my gold. There you go. And so, uh, let's take a moment here to kind of see what happened to the pet. So, uh, the pet is now level 17. He was level 1, right? He was level 1. And after one battle, he's now level 17. And here's, um, here's something that's really cool about this. Is that, yeah, you can, oh, I can just uh, complete the quest here. Happy. Uh, here's the thing that's cool is you can heal your pets right away by talking to this NPC, which is uh, a Leo the Lioness. Yeah? And you can just start right back. Okay? Go. We'll do the exact same battle as many times as we want to level some pets. So that's just kind of 24 hours if you want to level as many pets as you want. So. Uh, this is the the noob way. Uh, 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 it's not like as a as a bad thing, right? But this is kind of you don't need to have uh, pet charms for this. You don't need to have um, the safari hat for this. You don't need to have anything for this. So this is why this method is very very beginner friendly all you need to really have as a garrison is t and two pets right two pets that kind of fit whichever are cheaper like right now the ravenous pridling is maybe like under ten thousand gold at level 25 and the anomalous is usually one to two thousand gold uh pet manager up to rank two okay okay well uh yeah there you go pep menagerie to rank two uh, so, so it's not like this kind of crazy requirements. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, something that you can level a bunch of pets. It's not, it's not something that I would call like super, um, much, much, much different than the other strategies in the world. Um, and something we can actually check and that I absolutely want to check. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to heal up and let's take a look at my pets now. This pet is now level 24. Okay, which means technically right now, what you could do is do a third battle to level this pet, right? He's just missing this. Um, but in this case, for me, I'm not going to do that, okay? I want to kind of show you here that this could be better if you have the Safari hat. Uh, Safari hat, which is a toy that is a little bit annoying to get, but it's not that bad. It can take a few hours to get. Uh, but this will give you 10% experience on your pet battles, right? Which means, uh, if we use it, this is kind of a buff that kind of stays there. Uh, you'll see that we'll get uh, more XP from our battles, which means we will be able to level our pets in two battles instead of three battles. But there's alternatives. There is alternatives to this, which I will show in a moment, okay? You don't have the hat. Uh... And you have some pet charms that you can do from either wall quests or Shadowlands mission table or from killing a rare in BFA. You could buy some lesser pet treats uh, for five pet charms, right? And with this level lesser pet treat, uh, you'll be able to level your pets in two battles as well. You don't have the safari hat, right? Let's take a look here. We'll do this battle again real quick. Be very very happy there we go let's go to the second pet oh yeah it is a bit of a um it, it's grindy in a way like leveling pets but uh you know as this is a gold making uh channel you might be kind of wondering where you can kind of make the gold here i'm sure that you've seen um some cheap pets are always going to be more expensive if they're level 25, right? Um, so yeah, let's take a look here at what my level is now. I'm pretty sure he's going to be a little bit higher than level uh, what he was. You see, he was now at level 17 again with the hat. Let's heal up. Yes. Right, let's heal up. Do the, level, the second battle, and we'll see if we can actually level in two battles here. Good morning, Barla. Uh, I'm doing pet battles today, too. I'll just log in. Can you please share your team scripts? I'm using Broom and Bone Shard. Uh, so as I kind of showed, like, if you're using the Broom and uh, and Shard, uh, this would be, I believe, this is the strat right here. And I can kind of link you the... Um, I can kind of link you the page 
Uh, so you can kind of check uh, the script is right here. There you go. So this is gonna, if you're gonna be doing this all day, uh, you definitely want to have a script if you ask me. Um, if you're not too sure how it works, I can kind of show it to you if you want. But um, yeah, it, it's a pretty simple thing. Right now I'm really just um, pressing uh, my space bar, which is kind of my key that I chose to kind of automate uh, these battles. Because it's not something where you press like one button and the battle keeps on going. Every single action you need to press on a button to do it, right? Uh, otherwise, it stops kind of doing the battle. I uh, have the broom burn shot, but it sounded like yours was faster. I'll be doing conferences all day at work, and we'll do battle in between. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds pretty cool, Verla. Um, but yeah, if you have this sort of, um, how can I say? There is many, many different strategies that you can do for this. So uh, the, broom, uh, the broom and bone shot works. Uh, even my strategy is not the best strategy. There is like these kind of... Um, better strategies to do. So now if we take a look, my enemy Sapphire Lord, instead of being level 24, is level 25. So we leveled in two battles here, if you have the Safari hat, right? I'm gonna, going. I'm gonna heal and revive my pets. And if we look at the, if we look here, right? This is the item I was talking about. This will give you 25% uh, XP for an hour. So if you have five pet charms, but you don't have the Safari hat, you can use the lesser pet treats here instead of getting the hat. So this way you can level your pets in two battles if you want. And just like that. Uh, only has one breed, but will, uh, it will be the same speed as the rare level 25. Cool. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that if you look at like the speeds, I think the best one would be here. But this is from an unobtainable pet um, or something like that. So it, it's a little bit annoying. Uh, other strategies like uh, you can see... I think the best one is right here at 1 minute and 6 seconds. After this, right? 1 minute and 6 seconds is very, very fast. We can take a look because there's a lot of different ones uh, that are kind of fast if you have like. But um, I think that this one, uh, we could actually change it to have 1 minute and 6. You know, this one here. Uh, this is uh, These pets are a little bit more expensive. It kind of depends on your budget, really. Uh, but Broom and Bone Shot is a, is a pretty cheap, cheap, cheap way. Uh, to do this. Uh, so as my pets are done, it's important to remember to kind of switch uh, the pet that you're on, right? Uh, switch to the to the next pet. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to go collect some of the pets that I want to level for today. Uh, so right here, we do have a bunch of pets. And I want to level a lot of these, right? Because these, actually, let's just get all of these. Uh, mechanical pets for me is my best breeds of pets. I really want to level a lot of mechanical pets right now. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go and put this in here. And this is one of the pets that um, you can do. There you go. Uh, you can create a queue for leveling. Uh, a, 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 a quest for leveling? What? 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 What's the follower notification clip? What? Was there a follower? Because I didn't see it. Are uh, you thinking about something else? Uh, can you level with this as well? Like, I mean, uh, kind of level uh, your characters, not your pets. Is this what you mean, uh, Malmustin? Because that would be pretty cool. Uh, this character obviously is level 70, so it wouldn't work. Uh, in the Discord. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't see it, Matt? It was pretty good, right? It was pretty good. Uh, he had the he had a different one too. Let me actually make you listen to the other one, because the other one uh, I didn't clip it, but it was pretty good. Uh, let me uh, let me get it. Uh, is this the one right here? There you go. Thanks for the follow that you gave to this man. Now watch your gold grow. Cause you follow his plan And if you're lucky You can see the cocaine Oh, leveling queue, nice Okay, got that one Which is like from Let Your Love Flow Nice But then I was thinking this as well Like when the name pops up For the follow, it goes This guy's gonna be rich For following this gold-making bitch this is good. I like I like this. Well, we don't have to lot. use bitch. We can use something else if you want. I like the when he says bitch. 
There you go. All right, let's do the second battle here. So you can see it's a, it's a pretty fast, but yeah. Um, okay, so the, the 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 pets auto rotate. Ah, that's pretty. That's a good system. I actually take a look at it after this battle. I'll take a look at the at the thing after the battle. And you can level characters via these trainers, but not super squad. Sadly, they, they think they had the XP turned off in Garrison. That would make a lot of sense. I know the uh, Garrison was a way to make a little bit of XP. At some point, there was like these missions that would give XP. I think. Um, also, like the treasures were always like kind of massively good in Drainer for leveling. But I tell you, I'd be doing some random stuff around the house, and your sub button song kept popping in my head. It, it just wouldn't go away. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I put the worm inside your head. I'm sorry. Uh... I'm sorry, uh, Barla. <laughs> I, will, I will play it for you, but right now it's not working, right? Right now it's not working because uh, apparently... Uh, I'm not sure if it's Twitch having issues. Or if it's me having issues. Uh, I know Scully was having issues earlier. And now I'm having issues. So I'm kind of thinking maybe it's Twitch. Alright, so let's take a look at this uh, Q thing that you guys are talking about. Um, Making a special uh, that's not what I wanted. This is the... This What's your story? Go. Alright, so let's take a look here. So there would be a Q. Is this like a different add-on or is it just part of, uh, of remaps? Let me try and find it. Export teams, import teams, load random pets, summon random pets, teams, team herder. What the hell? Um, okay. Uh, down here. No, here. Ungroup teams, favorite team. Uh, our targets. A Q. There you go. It's a Q. Okay, okay. Um, so we could put like um, this one. Can we just kind of drag it into the Q? Yeah, okay. So this one here. Uh, can we just remove it from the Q? Yeah, remove leveling Q. Yes. Uh, okay. So let's try. Let's try the system now. Um, we could definitely put a sandling here. Uh, I guess we could level these pets too, right? There we go. There was this an iron start now. Put an icky. Just for kind of testing purposes, I would like to put some more Anubis saps here. We could put this one too, and this one. Uh. Here also, yeah. Ah, okay, so the ads are here too, so my, my notification for uh for ads is not working either. Uh so that's annoying. So right now there would be ads. Okay, so um since uh since there is ads, uh now now how does this work, right? Do I need to kinda of start a battle? Uh if I press Q. Uh no. Okay, whatever. Uh let me just do my little exercising here since uh since we got ads right now, we're going to do some uh, some push-ups on the wall. Oh, no, we're going to do some stretching, actually. Not exercising, just some stretching. So not stretching like I'm doing right now, uh, but stretching like I'm about to do. Uh, someone tell him how to autofill the queue. I gotta tell uh, ya, Canadia, the mustache is a nice addition. It makes you look younger. Easily dropping 5 to 10 years from your apparent age with that thing. So, now, you look like a young 54. A young 54, fuck you. I don't care what I look like to you, okay? I don't care. I'm uh, I'm beautiful, and it doesn't really matter my age, okay? My age is just fur, and, uh, and it's the same thing for all of you fine people, right? It's good for all of you nice people. All right. This. Oh, yeah. All the stretching. Get the juices flowing. Get the juices flowing. Oh, uh, yeah. Oof. Now go like this. Oh. Oh. Uh. 
side. There you go. Dance time? No, I'm not dancing. <laughs> not now. Maybe later. Not now. Maybe later. All right. Ugh. <laughs> Booty full? Uh, if you ever tried G4 leveling pet battle, the spot where the leveling spot uh will be, you can right click and put leveling pet here. Okay. Uh, we'll check. We'll check after the ads. We'll check after the ads. Uh, there you go. Uh, let me just do my legs. Uh, <laughs> Scully said something. Uh, I was uh, when I raided him. He said something along the lines where he kind of went into my stream and saw me like this, and he didn't know what I was doing. He thought that I was kind of showing my legs. Don't listen to Dave. Your drawn-on mustache makes you look like a fancy French chef that is in his sixties. <laughs> Yeah, but 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 like he, he, Scully saw me like this, right? Scully saw me like this, and he was like, "Uh, are you like showing off your legs?" No, I'm stretching my legs right now. Okay, I am stretching my legs. I'm not showing off my legs. All right. Uh, so we're almost done. The ads are over, though. Thank you for your patience doing the ads, guys. Guys, there we go. Uh, so let's get back in here. All right. So, so, so what? Let me read what Eleven said. Uh, it will then add each leveling pet in your queue. Uh, once the current slotted pet hits level twenty-five, but he has level twenty-five. So maybe I need to kind of manually put the first one. Let me see here. Let me see. So what if I do this for now, right? I'll do this and see what happens. Let's try this. Let's try this. There we go. <laughs> the young 60. Oh, boy. I wish you could bench to spin the wheel until we hit chicken. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Sure. Uh, was there some? Okay. I'm just making sure because, like, right now, uh, my alerts don't really work, so uh, it's not like stressful, but it's kind of annoying. I'll try to do it during my break. I'll try to to kind of fix it. Uh, when hadn't from Zufu that are meant for leveling, have it set to add leveling pets already. However, if you have them manually, you remove that part. Hence why I will explain it this way. So like I I, I need to kind of auto queue. I I don't want to run to level all of my pets. That's kind of the thing. I want to level specific pets. Uh, there's many pets that I don't care about leveling. I just kind of got them, you know? I don't know if that's kind of what uh, people are saying. Yeah. Go. Gonna be rich. For following this gold making bitch. At the pets in queue, unless there are none, then it will do one remedy. Okay, okay, okay. There you go. We got this battle done. So now let's uh, heal up again, and just like this, we're gonna level these up. So now, um, there's a lot of people that might be like, uh, "How do you actually like make gold with this method?" And this is something I could kind of show uh, with showing my sales data, right? Uh, I could kind of show you some sales data after this to kind of show you. A little bit of uh, of prices where I got these pets to sell, right? Uh, I think that's a very, very re re relevant thing to look at when it comes to pets, right? Um, see, uh, let me give you the best example of why a pet like Anomalous sells, right? You can see right now that we're using Anomalous and Ravenous Prideling, which are part of a list of pets that are very relevant to me. Um... So basically, everyone that's doing this today probably bought either an anomalous or maybe bought a bone shard, right? People doing this for the first time. Um, and believe me when I say I have those pets on my auction house right now, right? I have these pets on my auction house right now. And there's a very good reason for that. Um, people are doing this to level all of their pets or some people are. 
uh, sometimes just doing pet battles for achievements or collection or all of this, uh, all of the other things. So now we did reach level 25, but, but it's not, it's not switching pets though. So I don't know if I'm supposed to, uh, if I queue up a battle again, will it switch the pet? Let me just try this. Is it going to switch the pet? No, it did not switch the pet. So let me forfeit. Uh, and let me heal those up just to make sure. Um, so I'm kind of confused here. What do I need to do to make this go here? Uh, man, to leveling and how to set to. Oh, okay, okay. So it's uh, it's something that you need to put in your scripts or. Something that you have to put in the script, but once you have the pet to level manually, remove the automation. So if you choose to right click and say put level in pet car, you can rehab automation. Okay. Um, put level in pet here. Okay, okay, okay. Put level in pet here. There you go. So these are kind of going to queue up now. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, thanks, uh, Eleven. I think I think we got it now. I think we got it. Uh, but let me open my second account so that you guys can kind of see some uh, some s recent sales data of pets that were usually um, were usually as level one. They're not worth a whole lot, but at level twenty five, uh, they are right. And we can kind of go into the how much gold per hour we're making while doing what we're doing right now, right? And this is something I really like to do personally, right? Um, to kind of look into the gold uh, per hour uh, ratio because um, I think that can give a better perspective to, for people, right? Of uh, how much is there to make here? Like if they're, if they don't know, or like, um, obviously with my sales data, you have to understand that my sales data is usually pretty much higher than a lot of people. Um, but uh, I think that you cannot really look at this from only this perspective, right? You cannot only look at my sale data. I, I, I don't have the sale data of other people, right? That's kind of the thing. I can just show you that I've been constantly selling these pets for a pretty chunky price. And that's on multiple different servers with different kind of populations, right? Uh, so in here, we'll do this. Now, every every pet, I think you can easily level a pet in about three minutes doing this, right? In about three minutes, you can level this. So you can level 20 pets per hour, like, very easily uh, with this method here. But uh, let's take a look here. We can kind of start looking at the at the pet data here. Uh, but uh, let's take a look at mechanical Pandaren and Dragonling. Okay, so uh, the mechanical Pandaren and Dragonling, for example, costs... 500 gold to craft, right? We did craft some today. And you can see right here that we're selling this one for 11,000 gold, this one for 6,000, this one for 6,000 as well. I think the Iron Starlet recently was a great example of this. You see, I bought them at level 1 for these prices, leveled them up and sold them for these prices. This is kind of what uh, I've been doing recently. So hello, uh, Boombasku. How are you doing? Uh, so, so, so this is kind of an easy, really kind of a ridiculous way. For for me, I make like pretty uh, solid gold when I do this. You try and find another pet. Maybe there was the Twitch. Uh, yeah, the 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 this uh, clutch sister that we sold uh, today, like uh, a few minutes ago. Uh, we bought for nineteen hundred. We sold for about six thousand gold. So that was pretty good. Um, let me try and see other pets that I'm thinking of. Anomalous, maybe. Yeah, we did sell an anomalous uh, for this price right now. Anomalous is something that you can buy for like 50 gold. Uh, so this is a really big chunk of gold that you can make. But let's say, let's say in a world where you can make a thousand gold for leveling a pet, which is, uh, you can make more than a thousand gold for leveling a pet. I don't, uh, if I would only make a thousand gold for leveling a pet, I would probably not do this. Uh, but since you can level easily 20 pets per hour, let's say that you only make a thousand gold. You would make 20,000 gold an hour doing this, right? 20,000 gold an hour is a, is a really good chunk of gold. Uh, but 
If you can make 2,000 gold per pet, which is not that hard. I, I think it's kind of realistic to make 2,000 gold per, per pet. Uh, then you're making 40,000 gold an hour doing what we're doing right now. If you're even more efficient because you can level more than 20 pets an hour, uh, well, you can make more, obviously, right? So, also, it's not the only thing that we're going to do regarding pets today. I kind of want to showcase other things. And, like, uh, I think it can be discouraging to wait for this event to happen, like the Super Squirt Day. Because it's very, very rare that this event is here. And people need to know. People need to be aware that there is more uh, strategies to leveling pets, right? More strategies to leveling pets. So, there you go. And right now, uh, you, it switched the pet. Yeah, it did switch the pet. That's really cool. Uh, so let me take a look uh, at what are today's. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, the, the 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 pet battles in uh in here. I kind of want to see. We got stand up to bullies, training world watchers, and Illidarian. Is there one in here? No, get out. Uh we got Iliosis. I don't think this is one of the, the ones that gives this. Let me let me take a look here. If we look at the... Mm, let me take a look at all of the taming. Uh, so all drugs, rubber crate, uh, fight night, Tiffany Nelson, the beast bidding, Sir Galveston, snail fight, um, dealing with satyrs, beasts of burden, uh, any was it training with the night watchers? Was it training with the night watchers? I I'm gonna take a look again. It was training with the wa night watchers and stand up to bullies. So what about training with the night watchers? Let me take a look here. I'm gonna find the information that we want. So, in Legion World Quest here, uh, we're going to take at uh, Training with the Night Watchers here. And yeah, this is a high XP. And this is basically the strategies here that are available. This needs a breed. Uh, but this one here looks very, very easy. I have these pets right here. Uh, but this is a level 7. We don't want to level a level 7. We want to level a level 1. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have a Micromancer and an Anomalous, but this is a little bit slower. Uh, this one looks pretty... Oh, this is a level 1 again. Let's take a look at this one here. I think this is the pets that we currently have. don't think we have a level 25 PP uh, bronze wall playing right now. There you go. Okay, let's take a look here Uh, if we can import this, right? Actually, let's uh, take a look. So, let's... Uh, no, that's not what I want. Um, can we remove kind of how the oh, this is here? Uh, so let's import the team here. Let's go like this, save, and okay, let's see here. Um, training with the pet watchers. We need to kind of write a script. Can, can we not write a script here? Oh, we already have a script. I guess that works. Okay, so let's go to um, to this place because I kind of want to showcase this right now. That um, And I think this works. I think this is repeatable, but let's take a look. Okay, let's go take a look. And I kind of want to showcase that this strategy here that we're doing uh, with the Super Squirt is not the only strategy that is available. Okay, so let's go into uh, Azuna right now. Since I can go pretty easily with this character. This is my portal to Azuna right here. Oh. And beautiful. Okay. So. Uh, this is the quest right here. So let's go towards, uh, towards the quest right now. This will actually give us bandages. Which is pretty garbage reward. Even though the bandages are kind of needed. Right? Uh, uh, the pets are healthy. Oh, this is not a blue version. I don't know if I have a stone on me. Doesn't look like I have a stone. I mean, I could go get one. If this is an issue that this is not a blue version, I will, uh, I will find a, a solution. Uh, right here. 
Where was it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So let's try this here. The battle. We'll see if this is uh, good enough. Uh, but if not, we will kind of make it happen. And the scripts is not here. That's what I thought. That was that's what I thought. Uh, for some reason, it was not kind of showing up properly. Let's get the script in here. And it it's not letting me right clip this right. Uh, delete. Yes. Why does it not let me right click this? Okay. Let's try this. Save. Uh, let's heal the pets. Do this. I cannot. Ah, oh, they're already healed. Okay, cool. Try this again. It's gonna work now. No, it's not working. Why is this not working? This looks like something where I need to reload because right now there's like an issue with this. Let me. I cannot. Let me reload. Let me reload because this is not. Uh, this is not normal for me right now. This never does this usually. So let me try here. Maybe the rematch string was kind of wrong in a way. Copy this just to make sure. Work complete. Okay. And now. Uh, training with the Night Watchers. This has a script right now. And for some reason, why can we not right click on it anymore? Is it because there's a queue now? Let's actually kind of delete the queue or something. Uh, empty queue. Is this the issue? Uh, training. But we cannot, um, is this with all the teams? Yeah, this one works, right? So let, let, maybe if we go from here, get out. Okay, let's try this. Try this. We'll find a solution. Uh, so training with the night watchers. I can't. Why can we not right click on this one? Hmm. Purchase pet charms from this trainer. What? What does that change? Let's actually just put something like a different pet, maybe? What's happening here? It's not liking me. Uh, ah, this is not the right. Why is this even? Save. Okay, is this the even the. the, the okay. Oh, this is a Kinodon. Fuck, I fucked my. Mm, mm. I cannot even select it right now. I cannot even select this. I cannot even delete it. Okay, and I when I look when I click on this 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 is kind of super bug right now. Let me see if there's like an update on this. There's, there's definitely an issue right here. Definitely an issue right now. Oh, I might know what it is. Just because no, it's not that. Let's see not now. Let's update all. Is there a okay? You can always select these nuts, yes. Uh, but not these ones, right? I really want to grab these nuts, but it's not working. Uh, let me try to freaking reload. Let me try and like... Okay, this here I'm going to close. Just to make sure there's not like some sort of crazy issue. I'm going to log out. Okay, I'm going to full log out. Come back. We're going to grab these nuts. Should be okay now, right? It better be because Canadian would get Super Saiyan mad. Mm. Come on. Okay. Let's try this again. Because the first time it does this to me, maybe it's the string that's wrong. Oh, maybe it's because the Micromancer is not a rare quality. I doubt that that's the case, right? I doubt. Let me actually talk about no, this. Good luck, friend. All right, let me see now. If I can even right click on the strategy, right? Training with the right. I cannot even right click it. What's going on with this stupid strategy? I cannot use it. I cannot. What the fuck? Let me try and import this, right? Uh, Look, it's crashed. What the fuck is going on? Okay, import teams. 
paste here. Save. And now I cannot I can still not freaking get the script in here. Huh. I am confused. Are there are comments about this. Ah, the blue micromancer. Maybe that's the issue because it's not the correct. Ah, oh, maybe that's why. Okay, let's let's go and upgrade uh this stupid pet, okay? Let's go and upgrade this stupid pet. I'm pretty sure I have pet chunks on this. Yeah, we have pet chunks. Let's go and upgrade this uh this uh this pet right now. And we'll see if this is the issue right now. Because this is uh this is very, very um intense, right? Very intense. Go in here. And this is kind of the vendor. Any pet stuff for sale? We'll buy one of these uh, blue things. And uh, here with the micromancer, we're going to use it. Oh, look, look, it's flashing. You see this? It's flashing. Look at my cursor. What is going on? Let's uh, read all this. Did I freaking crash the, the entire world right now? What the hell is going on? Work complete. All right, can we can we maybe do it now? Is this gonna? Okay, we did it now. Okay, and now can we can we have our, our things now? Training with the Night Watchers? Uh, it's still not working. Okay, let's try to... Um, I really don't know what's going on with this thing. Oh, boy. I, and I can't even delete it, right? I can't even delete those. So I'm really confused here. Let's go again. Import it a third time, maybe. Right? Uh, and it's... I cannot import Import teams. Go like this, right? Save. Overwrite existing copy. There we go. I cannot write anything for this again. And I'm fucking pissed right now. Not pissed, but you know. It's kind of stupid that it's not working. Well, I wanted to showcase this. I think we're just gonna move on because right now it's not working. But yeah, the, there is these wall quests, right? I can I can kind of just show you as a as a thing. There's a few wall quests. Like this one is a wall quest that you can do to level your pets very very fast, J exactly like what we just did with like the garrison one, right? Uh, super squirt as it is like a great thing. You don't have to wait, right? Uh, these wall quests are not up every single day. There's like a rotation. I think there's thirty seven different ones. And about 10 of them are, like, good, right? Or, like, good for uh, Sir Galveston is another one that works very well with some very uh, reasonable pets, right? Um, and there you go. So this one was one of them as well. But uh, right now, it doesn't seem like a, we, we have this issue. Uh, sadly, there's not another quest that we can do today to kind of showcase this. But it's not a big deal. Uh, but I guess I want to do this. So I guess we can do uh, a little bit more of what you can do with uh with how to level pets because I, I for me this was kind of relevant to show you first of all the first part that i kind of wanted to show you is uh the 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 one in the garrison right now i kind of showed you the one uh with the legion wall quest but like if you look at the um, in the same website here if you look at uh power leveling guides uh this is basically what it will say like the first strategy is squirt Second was the Tamers from Legion, right? And this is where you can kind of see what you can do. Uh, the other possibilities is just Walls of Drainer Daily Quest, but it's not. this is just not great. Everything else is just not great, to be honest, in terms of, like, leveling with battles, right? Leveling with battles is not where it's great. And hello, uh, Neutral. Thank you so much uh, for uh, the follow. Welcome to the stream. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, otherwise, well, uh, enjoy the stream. So, 
Um, there we go. So let's remove this. So there is other ways to level pet that doesn't really require battles, okay? And this is what we're going to show you on the... Actually, let me... Uh, uh, actually, yeah, we can go. We can go. I, I can kind of show you another way that you can level pets right here. And that doesn't require you to do any battle. And doesn't require you to have any pets. And that's basically... That's basically it. Also, yeah, I think I need to remove something. Okay, I'll need to switch this up during the break. But yeah, so um, let me open my bags and I'll kind of show you some of the things that I'm talking about here. So right here in my bags, you can see some of these stones, right? Uh, these aquatic battle training stones, for example, that gives 2000 XP uh, to a battle pet in the aquatic family. And here there's undead, uh, magic, flying and so on right so you might be wondering well how do you get uh, these stones and the way that you get them is with pet charms but let me actually show you uh with an example of how you can actually get those leveling items right um and how they actually work so we're gonna go to dalaran again there's other vendors around the world right i'm just gonna show show this one right now what uh but right here oh, whoops okay right here uh you can uh buy these mystery bags okay and i'll show other items after but mystery bags like this let's say when we buy a uh, hundred right uh or ten i guess because blizzard um uh, so in here when you open these little bags uh you'll get these stones right simple as that sometimes you get two stones in a bag sometimes you get one it's an average of 1.33 stone uh for every bag so just like this you can kind of get all of those stones so how do these stones work uh let me show you with the pets right so let's say that i want to level uh let's change the this here let's say that i want to level an adventurous let, let's try actually to find a, an aquatic pet right oh this is uh this is let's say that you want to level this fallen pet right uh what you can do is take the aquatic since this is an aquatic pet, you can just kind of... I put this in my auction bar personally because it's just faster. And you can press on the pet and you can see now he's level 11, level 13. This will take you like 12 stones to go from level 1 to level 25. So just like this, as you can see, this was very, very fast to level this pet from level 1 to level 25. So now you might be wondering, how do you buy these mystery bags, right? Well, for this, you need polished pet charms. So there is two main ways of getting these polished pet charms. The first one being uh, right in, in in everywhere, almost every like uh, recent expansions, there will be these world quests like this one here uh, that will give you polished pet charms. So what you can do, these world quests are very difficult if you don't have any pets. So this is maybe not the best thing for you. But this is one of the ways that it can work. And later in the stream, we will actually do some of these, right? Uh, we will actually do some of these uh, later in the stream. Uh, as you can see, we can do it. It works also in Dragonflight, right? You can see here there's a quest for 20 pet charms. Uh, and they change every single day. So if you have the, if you can do only one battle, uh, you can do it every time that it's up. And you can do it on every single character that you have. And it also gives like a substantial amount of experience on your character, not just your pets. Uh, it doesn't really give experience to your pets, actually, just your character. Uh, so there you go. And the other way is the Shadowlands mission table, right? Uh, the Shadowlands mission table can sometimes give you pet charms. And this is something I will have to probably uh, go on my second account to kind of show you some Shadowlands mission table. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go on my other account. Uh, so that you can see, um, you can see like some, some, uh, because I've done my, my challenge mission table on this account. So I'll go on my second account to kind of show you the pet champs that you can get, uh, from doing the challenge mission table, right? Go. Beautiful. Drink some water. Hmm. So yeah, uh, as it will take you 12 stones. To um to level a pet, uh, on average it will cost you about eighteen pet charms to do this. So as you can see here, this quest here gives me twenty. This mission, not a quest, 
gives you 22 pet charms. So this is basically leveling a full pet from right here. So what you can do is just press my start button right here. And there you go. It's going to send more missions. And you might be wondering, like, for people who played Shadowlands, you might think you need a lot of anima to be able to run these tables. Uh, but with kind of my technique that I use, I never have to farm anima. So it's really just to log in once a day, right? Once a day. Or if you want, you can do it twice a day. And there you go. You just kind of collect. You press this little button. Uh, obviously, if you want to see the full strat, I can kind of link it in the... Um, in the chat right now if you're on youtube well it's on my youtube channel if you're on twitch well right now the video is linked in the um in there and you can always uh subscribe to my youtube right uh uh-huh and you can see here another 21 pet charms and just like this we're going to send some uh some quests again and we didn't have more but there you go so you can just kind of do this little rotation these tables are not very long to set up uh, the first one takes a little longer, but after that, it can take you like something like 20 minutes to set a table. Um, and then it's set up forever, right? You just have to log in daily to send missions. Uh, I know some people, are, I've been doing it in the past with the app, with, you know, this little app that you can have. Uh, but I'm not really a big, um, it doesn't have like this add-on here that is the TLDR add-on. You can see another 22 pet charms right here. So, so if you kind of do this once a day, these pet charms are definitely going to pile up real fast. There's 24 here. There you go. So yeah, this is something that will really, really pile up. And these pet charms, if you don't want to level pets, they can be used for other things that are very interesting, like buying pets, you know? Buying pets that you can just slap on the auction house. Uh, so yeah, you can definitely turn these pet charms into gold uh it's different for like uh for people but yeah um it's a it's a very very fast way to to make lots 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 of gold you can see like 24 uh pet charms here it's very easy to get like 50 gold per pet charm right so if you do something like 50 gold times the 24 that we just got uh this is basically giving me 1200 gold right here right uh, and even in, in a world, right? Let's say in a world where you're really, really getting like very, very cheap uh, pet charms at like 20 gold each, right? Uh, this is still 500 gold, right? And when you think about it, look how much time it took me to get this 500 gold. Look how much time it just took me to log into here, press a button and log out and boom, 500 gold. Right? In a world where you only get 20 gold per pet charm, which is kind of ridiculous, right? It's kind of ridiculous because it's so easy to do so much more than 20 gold per pet charm. And to make like, for me, it should be kind of unfair that I get like this amount of gold just from doing like a little login like this, right? I just logged in and just made like another 20 pet charm and... It shouldn't be this easy, but it just kind of is, right? And there is, like, some methods to do this, like, super, super, super easy mode. Um, in the form of, like, uh, you just buy pets that you put on the auction house, they eventually sell, and that's it, right? That's all that you do with your pet charms. You don't have to put a lot of effort into your sales and stuff, right? So right here, we'll have our last one. And there we go. But yeah, you can have as many of these mission tables as characters as you have. You just need those characters to be level 60 and they're kind of good to go, right? There you go. All right. Uh, so there you go. So that's done. Uh, so yeah. So the other thing that I kind of wanted to showcase here. Ah, oh, I didn't want to exit the game. I wanted to log out game. Okay, we'll go on the other account then. God damn it. <laughs> do you do you am I the only one who does this right where I want to log out but I misclick and I click on the exit game am I the only one who does this please confirm me and say that I'm not the only one who does this I'm sure some people will say you're the only one who does this but uh I'm sure there's gonna be someone out there that's gonna save the day and tell me no Canadia you are not alone I do that all the time thank you bedpan thank you very much 
Uh, how are you doing on the snore fest that is Plunderstorm? I, I haven't done a lot of uh, Plunderstorm. I don't think it's a snooze fest at all, though. Uh, the snore fest, not a snooze fest. But yeah, I, I don't think that it's uh, it's what you're saying. I mean, um, but uh, I'm sure that it's like uh, it's like for me, it doesn't really change much, right? It doesn't really change much, but uh, yeah. So, uh, this character here uh, needs a lot of XP. So, what we're going to do to get this XP is we're going to do some wall quests with this character to make some gold. So, this is for me a little bit like I want to make gold while leveling, right? And to some extent, leveling is a form of making gold. Because having more characters leads you to more opportunities to make gold. So that's kind of how I see it. Right now, while leveling, we're actually making gold. Um, five accounts, I'm always closing the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. It's it's so freaking frustrating, like, that you have to kind of... I, I don't really know how there's really a solution for me. I know that I made, like, kind of my cursor bigger than what it usually is, I think. And that's... The, the reason for that is because my resolution... My, my resolution... My resolution, yes, words are hard. My resolution can be a little bit uh, not not working well with the small cursor. I kind of lose track of my cursor if it's too small. So that with the bigger cursor, I kind of misclick more. So let's take a look at the wall quest here. I definitely want to do this one here. Uh, the Enoch is something we did last time, so it's a really good one. So. Uh, there's a lot of different quests that you can do for uh, for gold and uh, also um, like stuff like pet charms, which are really, really, for me, the best item here. Um, in here, you can also do the dragon riding wall quest, right? So we can try and make a little bit of a path where we do these dragon riding uh, horses, oh right? Did I fight? Did like this? Maybe fight? not this I one. Farted, guys. Sorry. And this one Happens. here. And you had a little fight, right? Super square day all about. Uh, the Super Squirt Day is about leveling pets mostly. It's, it's only about leveling pets. Um, basically, you can level a pet in about two to three minutes on that day. And basically, anyone can do that. Uh, as long as they have like a garrison. Uh, is there other... Like uh, having the hat helps because it makes it faster. But about, about from this, a pretty simple kind of way to make... Uh, a lot of stuff here. So, as we are doing this, right? As we're doing this, I did showcase it. If you want to kind of see exactly what it is, uh, my VOD will be there right after the stream, uh, right? Um, and this is very, very rare that this is happening, right? This is very rare that this is happening. So, right now, today, it is happening, right? It is happening, but it's it's really not every day that this is happening. Uh, this is a pretty rare event, and I don't really recommend this event too much. Um, just because you have to wait, like, all year to get it, right? You have to wait, like, uh, sometimes months, several months. Like, the first time in the year 2024 for EU is in the month of May, right? So, so you know, it's kind of crazy. Uh, so, in here, I'm going to have a dragon racing. Let me just see something real quick. There we go. All right. So let's go in here and let's try the course. So this is a way that you can make XP and gold. This is what I like the most about this right here is the combination of XP and gold. Um, XP for me is a form of currency that gives you gold, right? Uh, as mentioned, this is something that for me is really, really relevant in your goal making to have uh, so, some characters, right? So, so... Lots of people, right? Lots of people um, are having what we could call an alt army, right? Having alternate characters that becomes like a bit of an army. And, you know, lots of... Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Lots of, uh, of methods that are um, kind of hard to do. Um, not, not hard to do, but like you can only do them on one character right if you want to repeat it this maneuver or whatever it is 
you want to do it a second time, the only way that you can do this is by having another character, right? So, uh, these methods, these things that you can do, are usually leading to lots of gold, right? Um, for example, uh, I'm sure that some of you are aware of something that is like uh, Dracotis, right? Uh, Dracotis was a method of making gold uh, that was really, really... Uh, like one character at a time could only do this, right? And you could do like every seven day, you could like redo it on that character. So lots of people kind of got into this method by simply having many, many, many different characters. And it's not the only thing in the game. I mean, we just kind of showed right now, we just kind of showed the, um, what's it called? The, the Shadowlands Mission Table is another one, right? The Shadowlands Mission Table is another one. So, you know, that's always kind of nice. There we go. There we go. Did I miss this one? I feel like I had it before. There we go. All right. I don't know if we got gold. Yeah, we did. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Uh, hello, Mama Dumpling. How are you doing? Lurking, lurking. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's take a look here. And we'll go get these pet charms right here. So this is the, like the, the world quest that we're going to do right now. We'll do another dragon riding right after. Uh, these dragon riding world quests will give you about 500 to uh, 550 raw gold. Uh, and for me, what I'm almost more interested in is there's two other phases you get from this, right? Well, well more than this technically, but for me... It's the Dragon Isles uh, supplies that you can get right here that you can turn into a pet that you can sell on the auction house. Uh, so that's always nice. And the other thing that you can get with these are actually just, yeah, the raw gold, but the XP, right? You can level up your characters with this method, which is always like what I like uh, very, very much. In this case here, we're going to use the Enoch strategy and we'll see if this works, if this is kind of back to working. We'll see. I uh, just wanted to say hi and show some love and support. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Mama. Something always appreciated. Uh, let me just here. There we go. Let's keep going. And there we go. Joe, we are going hard right now. Yeah, this is a pretty uh, simple thing. Again, this is something that is not available to everyone. Like, uh, the, the Dragon Riding World Quests are available to basically everyone. That I think you need to have a little bit of a reputation to unlock them. Uh, there's still the expansion, but after this, um, after this, it's pretty much anyone can do this, right? Yeah. Dead, right? No, it's not dead yet. Yes, we still have... Oh, now it's dead. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, and there you go. We got 20 pet charms right here, uh, which is great. So we made some kind of natural ways of making gold. We got like the raw gold here. We got the pet charms that we can turn into gold. And uh, that's only like two of the factors in here. So it is kind of substantial amounts of gold that you can make just from doing the world quest, right? Just from doing the world quest, you can make like a substantial amount of gold. But this is kind of not my main way. At least for me, this is kind of not my main way. It's really just the leveling and the pet charms are for me like kind of the best incentive of doing this, right? And it's also like quite a bit of fun, at least for me. I know it's not for everyone, but um, I think everyone finds their fun in different things. I know lots of people like having this kind of alt army kind of stuff, right? And there's a, there's way, way, way faster way fa faster ways to level, right? Uh, for me, it's very, very clear that there is faster ways to level. But uh, as someone who's been playing WoW for a very, very long time and has leveled a lot of characters, uh, something that for me has always been the case, and I know it's not the case for everyone, I do not like questing, and I do not like doing dungeons that I've done like hundreds of times before in the form of like time walking, for example. Is uh, Time walking is not like that bad or but like you you can see sometimes people are just doing kind of the dungeon finder as a as a way to level their tunes and the only reason i think that people are doing that it's not really because they find it fun it's because it's very efficient to do that it's a very fast way to kind of level your tunes right 
a very very fast way to level your tunes to do just the dungeons right so for me uh as much as this is the the fast way it's not really fun and i play games that i want to get fun out of my game so so if a game is if i have to do content i really don't find fun to get from point a to point b uh i'm gonna try to find a different path to get the same result and this is what we're doing with something like what we're doing today uh for me it's very very uh clear that we don't want to have this sort of uh, situation where we're doing a lot of content that we don't like i've seen lots of people being in the set in that situation where they do um where they do stuff that they don't uh like you know so so yeah i think that it's important for me to really always have this sort of content I really enjoy. Uh, but it's different for everyone. Um, do you think they will continue the tethering alchemy cooldowns in the war with him? Was Dracolis a success? Hmm, that's an excellent question, uh, Pumba. Do I think they will do it? Uh, I think that's yes. Uh, is it a... Is it a success? Hmm... This is um I don't know. It's a it's a kind of a tough one, right? So let's talk about them as two different entities, right? The tailoring cooldowns and Dracotis. I think I want to, to talk about them in two different entities. Okay? Uh and there's a reason for that. Uh tailoring was needing a lot more knowledge than alchemy. And they came in at different times in the game. Where knowledge was a little bit easier to get later in the expansion. Uh, when Dracolis kind of dropped on the world, right? So, I think uh, that, yeah. So, so, the barrier of entry for Dracolis was smaller than the barrier of entry for Tellering Cooldowns. Because uh, at the start of the expansion... Uh, there was not a lot of knowledge that was available to players and they needed to kind of grind like crazy to get all of the knowledge available to get the maximum value out of the tailoring cooldowns. Very, very few people did that. Uh, but the people who did got heftily uh, rewarded for it. Uh, as for Dracotis, um Dracotis was... I, I don't know if I would read your Dracotis. Um, a little bit like what they did in Najatar when there was this new material with Zenentid and Osmon Osmonium. Um, they had the Zaralek Glow Spores, right? Um, so the new material was Zaralek Glow Spores. Was Zaralek Glow Spores a good system? I think it made gathering kind of exciting a little bit, but the zone was kind of too small. And I think that the Zaralek, uh, the Zaralek, the Zaralek glow spores were in general just terrible, terrible uh, things to farm, right? Uh, it was very even like if we don't talk about the potential bots, right? Uh, the Zaralek glow spores were just a really bad system. So there's kind of two parts into the um, into this, right? That that's going to be the new reality of WoW too. Uh, if they do this next expansion, people will be way more prepared for it, okay? So let's say that they do another Dracotis, right? Or another tailoring cooldowns. I think that people will be very much prepared for this because people saw how much people... Lots of people made tons of gold with Dracotis and uh, tailoring cooldowns, right? Is the system a success? Uh, okay, so let me tell you how I would quantify a system to be a success, right? For me, a system that is a success where is where people want to do it. I don't think that people wanted to do Dracotis. I, I just don't think that's the case. Uh, same thing with the tailoring cooldowns. I don't think this is something that people really wanted to do, right? Um, so yeah, let me change my title actually. Um, wait, 
Let's go with this one. There you go. Um, a success. Like, you know, Dracol is a success. I think we cannot say that Dracol is a success. Um, I think that if you're... It's like there's two different parts to the Dracodis system, okay? There is the weekly cooldowns, uh, or like uh, daily cooldowns if you want to call them that, but like the, the cooldowns that stack, right? Uh, I think this is a system that people usually enjoy, uh, but unlocking those were like really tedious and annoying, and in a different era of World of Warcraft, I think that Dracodis would have made more sense. Uh, if you look at the old uh, kind of daily cooldowns, like uh, the transmutes of the past, right? Like uh, Living Steel in Pandaria, right? Uh, so in Pandaria, you could not really have an alt army. You could, but it would take you like years to level up your alt army. Um, it, like it was really, really hard to level a ton of characters back in the day. Nowadays, like... People can level kind of non-stop, right? People can level kind of non-stop and get like uh, one one new character to max level every single day. They could get like 300 characters in a year without too much issues, right? So, so like, then you could have like 300 crafters of Dracodis uh, a few weeks into the patch for one person. To me, that's bad. Okay, but how do you fix that? Now that WoW is the way that it is, should the barrier of entry be a character? Or should the barrier of entry be uh, something else, right? Uh, because this is all, this is what professions is always been about. It's the barrier of entry. Um, I think that uh, having more characters is a kind of a bad thing barrier of entry personally that's an opinion right it's it works out for lots of people but like having an alt army by definition means that you play the game a lot in general right uh and i'm always been an advocate for people who will play the game more casually that has like these four or five characters that just want to kind of enjoy the game and make gold and i look at this system and i'm like this is now very, very hard to calculate for people if they are even making gold with Dracodis, right? Uh, with the new profession system. That has nothing to do with this, but like, uh, yeah. Uh, Artisan Metal was supposed to be the barrier of entry. Yeah, but this is something that can kind of be countered by alt armies again. The metal can be obtained by your alt army. And your alt army spends the metal to make some gold, right? Um, here's the thing that they could do. And that would be kind of crazy. But with the warbands, what if you could only craft cooldowns once per account, right? And I'm talking Babelnet account. Okay? Which means you could only do like one cooldown of the codes per day per person. Not per character, per person. Um, then I think that it would make everyone do something like Dracodis, right? Just like a little bit back in the day, right? I think it would be the same thing. Like back in the day, a lot of people were doing Living Steel, okay? And I mean a lot of people were doing something like Living Steel because... People had only one or two characters that could do it, right? Uh, because it was really hard to level characters back in the day. But a lot of people were doing this. Um, same thing with the tailoring for the bags, right? Or or even like the, the garrisons for the bags and stuff like that. The alt army kind of stuff really started in, in Wallows of Drainer. Uh, people would make their own Dracodis for personal use. Yes, they would do it for their personal use. And some people uh, would eventually have too many and put them on the auction house and there would be an economy, right? Uh, that would give people a reason to go and do professions because Dracodis would be very, very, very expensive on the auction house, right? 
your quotas would be very, very expensive on the auction house if you had a system like this where you can only do this once per, per account. Now, don't get me wrong. Lots of people will riot if you if Blizzard does this, right? I think that the gold-making community would completely riot if Blizzard were to do something like like uh, cooldowns can now only be crafted by one character. But look at the behavior that it created that you can do this on every single character. It's a toxic behavior, if you ask me, right? Uh, don't, don't you think it's a toxic behavior to see, like, people leveling uh, a shit gun, like 300 characters, right? What is the point? Okay, let, let me ask you this. What is the point of having more than one uh, warrior, right? What is the point of having more than one warrior? Well, there is an argument for saying, well, I would like to have a dwarf warrior. I would like to have a human warrior. I would like to have a um, a night elf warrior or whatever, you know? That's, yeah, okay, the race, right? You can have different races, but what if we could just change the race, like, in the game or something like this? For me to have to level a full character again to get, like, the second version, a, a different race... Seems a bit stupid. Like, that's the only reason and very, very few people will need that. So now, lots of people have more than one warrior nowadays. And it's not because they want to have different races of the warrior. It's because they want to... I don't know. They want to... Some people like leveling, right? There's always this part, right? But it's something that you cannot do in Final Fantasy, right, by the way? Uh, you cannot have more than one ninja or one, more than one... Uh, uh, warrior, whatever, you know, you, you cannot have more than one because it's one character can just switch to any class, something like this. And I think it's a better system, you know. Uh, people in uh, in Final Fantasy do something like a daily quest on their only one character that can do daily quest, right? There's only one person who can do the daily things, so that's it, right? And I think it's a more healthy behavior. Right? Doing like a million characters leads to burnout. It leads to just terrible gameplay. Right? Uh, addicting gameplay in a way that it's just like, okay, so I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to craft my Dracotis uh, for the, I'm going to craft my, yeah, I'm going to craft my tailors, right? I have a hundred tailors right now. And for the next like five hours, I'm going to craft some tailoring bolts. Uh, I don't think that this is like fun gameplay at all. It's just you go there, you press the button, you repeat, and then once you're done with all this, you level more characters to make more taters. It's like, err. I, I, but like, that's kind of why the game is today, right? Uh, guys, we're going to take a little break uh, because uh, it's a two-hour mark. We're going to continue next Ramus after this and the world tour in general for making gold and leveling. So we will be right back, okay? I'll put uh, I'll put some music for you, and we'll talk more about this. This is a very interesting uh, subject, I think. Joe, so, this is not the scene I wanted. This is the scene I wanted. So we'll be right back.
right. We are back. Welcome back. Thank you for your patience during my little break. That's always very, very appreciated. Hmm. I got myself some food, got myself a nice little beverage. I like getting myself a nice beverage, let me tell you. Let me tell you how much a good beverage makes a whole difference in everyone's life, right? So, let's keep going here. All right, let's keep going. Um, So, uh, I didn't really mention, I kind of just came to Nax Ramos without really telling uh people what was going on in max ramus but max ramus is uh becoming like one of my favorite farms and we're currently doing a challenge to try and get a million gold in this a beautiful place called max ramus so as the title says like gold making world tour it's because right now i don't like to kind of chain uh max ramus right uh to maintain kind of my sanity levels very high uh what i currently do is I just do Nax Ramus uh, with other things. So I do a little bit of a rotation since for me, Nax Ramus is fun. Some of the other things that I do, I don't find as fun. Uh, for example, like uh, Dragon Riding World Quests are not like not fun or like pet, pet charms. Like this is something I'm not a big fan of actually doing pet battles, especially in the current format where I just kind of enter scripts to kind of win the battle, right? Uh, but I still do it. I do it because it's so fucking easy to do it this way, right? If I had to think about, like, my strategies for doing pet battles, it would take, like, very, very long. Uh, but it would be probably more fun, right? It would be more fun because I would feel like um, I'm actually working to get, like, uh, the stuff that I get from doing uh, these, uh, these pet battles, right? So, is this like a... I mean, I could just not use this and le like actually learn how the things work. But here's the thing that I don't like about the, the pet battle system in general. Is that I, I don't know what the computer is going to do, right? And I would need to be extremely knowledgeable in this. Uh, in like every pet, what they do and learn all of this. It's like learning a new... Uh, a whole new game, right? A game that from the start is not I'm not a big fan of. It's like someone who plays Hearthstone for the first time, right? Well, uh there's thousands of game uh thousands of cards now in the game. Um so are we gonna are we gonna like uh need to learn like a thousand different cards? Right? It's like it's it sounds like an overwhelming task. Just like right now, there's thousands of pets and hundreds and I know thousands of pet battles as well, like different pets in the game. It's like it's a lot. It's a lot and Yeah, I, I kinda just won the rewards. I also kinda wanna showcase this, right? This is uh one of the important things for me, uh probably the most important thing, is to actually showcase this, right? This is what the channel does, right? This is what my channel does. We want to showcase different methods of gold making. And I think that pet battles are a way to make gold. Um, but I'm also a big advocate of doing things that you like doing. Like for me, I like doing Nax Ramus. And for you, it's not something you might enjoy. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, it, there is this sort of uh, of balance that needs to be done with uh, chores. Like, I, I see a lot of... Uh, I don't know, like, puts the word chore in his stream, and it kind of triggers me, right? It kind of triggers me. It says, today we're going to do some chores. As, I don't know, it's like, ugh. feels terrible to do... To have this word in my video game, right? feels terrible to have this in my video game, right? It's like... A chore sounds like something you don't really want to do, right? Sounds like something that you have to do. Like, you know, I have to do the dishes because otherwise uh, there's going to be crawler, uh, like freaking spiders everywhere from dirty dishes. And I don't like spiders. There you go. Uh, and I want to have dishes to eat from right now. So it's, if it's not clean, I cannot heal, uh, eat from it, you know? Hello, Wolfie. How you doing? Nice to see you as always. So, so yeah, there's a lot of uh, 
there's a, there's a, some big factors here and there for like uh, having to do a chore. Like for example, um, another one that I wouldn't call it a chore though. It's like exercising, right? I don't really call exercising a um, a chore, and even like doing the dishes, right? I, I, I think the word chore just really sounds like something that you have to do, but you don't want to do. I want to do the dishes, right? And now you might be like, are you fucking crazy? Doing the dishes is fucking boring, blah, blah, blah. This is not how I see doing the dishes. I see doing the dishes as taking a moment uh, of my time to make sure my environment is... Uh, is pleasing me, right? Because it there's always the choice of not doing the dishes, right? There's always the choice of not doing the dishes. And sometimes, yeah, I don't feel like taking care of myself and taking care of my environment. Uh, just like everyone. Right? There's always moments where we don't really feel like taking care of ourselves or taking care of, um, of our environment. Uh, and that's kind of what exercising is for is too right sometimes you don't feel like exercising because you find it boring and you don't really want to do it you have to do it right you feel like you have to do it i don't have to exercise no but you have to make a choice do i exercise or do you not exercise right and here's kind of my my other kind of way that i put this right um do I want to exercise or do I want to be stressed about not exercising? Do I want to be uh, feeling like shit because I didn't exercise? Uh, do I want to um, die earlier in my life because I didn't take good care of my body? Um, or do I want to exercise? You know, so like the choice becomes like a little bit more realistic to me. It's not like these things are not false right uh it's either do i want to chill or do i want to fucking get my shit together and do the things that i really want to do to have a better life do you want to have a better life or do you want to sit on your ass is basically the question bro you okay blink twice if your girlfriend is beating you and you made chores we'll send you help no no no. Uh, my girlfriend actually does the chores with me sometimes or whatever you call the chores, you know. Hello, Mike. How you doing, man? But yeah, there, there is this thing with um, with the, uh, the, the 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 chores is um, yeah. Um, for example, you could see like I, we're playing badminton. It's a very good way to exercise, but it's definitely not a chore. We actually fucking love doing it, and we're not doing it for kind of doing the exercising part. We're just doing it because we like playing the game. But it's actually really good for our body at the same time. So combining these things, it's kind of the same thing with World of Warcraft, right? Some people think that they need to, they need to get some gold, right? They need to get some gold, or they need to get uh, a certain percentage in ATT. They're slacking if they don't want to fall behind, and blah blah blah. You can decide like like this, like but like for me doing Nax Ramas, for example, is is just not a chore at all. It's I actually enjoy this. I like farming and opening the tokens at the end. And it's repetitive, right? It's it's becoming repetitive, but I like this kind of grind that this kind of always results into gold at the end. And to me to put the word chore in here, it's more like uh, what are the things that I really want to do and what is the path that I need to take to do this, right? To get this so you know and right now my i don't know i just want to have um I, I guess like yeah it's just more about the strategy and just kind of the the path that you take to reach the goal that you want right and the path is just as important as the goal for me you know uh as much as i would like to make like a uh, hundred million gold this year or something like that which i will probably do right uh i don't really care about obtaining the gold or not i care more about the process of obtaining that gold right it's so much better for me if i say at the end of the year that i didn't make a hundred million gold like i'd want to do but that um 
I had a lot of fun and lots of people enjoyed watching what I did. I think this is way more a win than to say at the end of the year, uh, I got the 100 million gold, but holy shit, I would never do that shit again because this was fucking boring and I hate it, right? Uh, I don't think this is kind of how I want things to go. Uh, but yeah, everyone can kind of decide what they feel is the is the best thing for them, right? There we go. We're going to do this character is going to be done. Very exciting times to play. And we're going to do another character that needs to get some XP here. So there we go. We're going to delete this. And something that we also do is we send the materials that we got uh, from this. So, uh, okay. Well, I guess someone wants to get banned. There you go. Bye-bye. Uh, let's send this to... It's the body. I keep forgetting. There we go. And we got 19 scraps out of this one, which is really, really good. We're going to show you also, like, how much... Um, how much we made. Right? Wait, I want to be famous. Oh, I'm sorry, Trident Nielsen. I'm sorry. I should have. Uh, I should have waited to see if other people wanted to be famous. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so, so sorry. I I should have known. I should have known that you wanted to be famous, uh, Trident Nielsen. I should have known. So, yeah. Uh, this is my little goal-making world tour that we're doing today. So, I, I like uh, I like doing this, right? It's been a long time since we did the pet world tour, right? Uh, but right now, we're doing, like, the world quests. Because I need to level some characters. I need to stop kind of... Fucking around with the character leveling. And I, it's not that I'm fucking around too much, right? But I'm definitely kind of taking my time with leveling the characters that I, need, that I want to level. Not that I need to level, that I want to level uh, till the end. You missed your opportunity. Well, you'll never be famous now, uh, Trident Nielsen. That's it. You had your chance. You had your chance. No more famous for you. Uh, I kind of wonder, right? I kind of wonder. Because it's kind of... That's kind of fucked up because some people actually buy uh, all those things, right? The followers and the uh, and uh, the fake viewers, and um, I mean, to say that it has no impact at all on your kind of growth, it's kind of not organic growth, right? I feel like um, you know, there's a lot of people that say that. Um, there are some good streamers that are, have like zero or one viewer, stuff like that, and they just need that little boost to kind of become famous. But like, streaming is not, not like that, right? I don't think it's like that. Uh, personally, right? I, I, I don't see how this kind of works at the end of the day. Maybe it can give like... um. So let's say that you buy like, I don't know, a thousand... A thousand, uh, a thousand dollars worth of followers and fake viewers for I don't know that goes over like your full month, right? I went here. This is not the first place I wanted to go, but here I am. Whatever. Um, let's say that you do that, right? Um, I mean you're gonna get some uh, some stuff out of it. You're not gonna get nothing, right? Some real people are actually gonna show up, and maybe they will like you and stuff, right? But I kind of wonder, right? I kind of wonder. Maybe, you know if these companies, what they could do, these companies that sell the boosts uh, like this, they could track who does this and they could kind of reveal the information as blackmail. Like, you know, if someone actually becomes successful, they could be like, hey, uh, remember when you bought like uh, followers and shit? What if we reported this to Twitch and uh, or reported this to like your social media and stuff like that, right? Something like that. I don't know if they could like blackmail like this. Know, uh, they would kind of ruin their business probably, right? Because their reputation would be fucked. But I feel like they have kind of a little bit of an, an information. I don't know. Is it shameful to buy like followers like this? I don't think it's shameful. But... I think that, I don't know, there is this sort of, um, lots of people want to not work 
to make like lots of money, right? That's kind of uh, what people want. And I don't know if this even exists, right? They see streaming as this sort of super easy thing to do that anyone can do. And it's so, so, so not a lot of work. But then you look at streamers that are like super successful and they do this like 60 hours a week, right? As much as, yeah, they make tons of money, it's still like fucking 60 hours a week. Kind of fucking crazy sometimes, right? And they have people working for them. They have to go to fucking meetings. Maybe not like, uh, I, I feel like uh, the, the really, really big ones. I don't know. It feels like every job is always kind of hard. There's no like easy job. I don't think there's an easy, really easy job. I mean, like, I feel that it's not like, it's not necessarily that it's all the jobs are, are hard either, right? It's like, uh, it's not hard to be a streamer. It's just like, I don't know. There's this sort of thing that people want, thinks, uh, thinks of some jobs as being these kind of super, super easy thing, right? Every other job than theirs is like super easy, right? And I'm like, I don't know. I, I feel like this is some, uh, some potato. So yeah, so coming back to like buying followers and buying like fake viewers, I think this is probably people that think that it's super easy and all that they really need is to give a, a, get a little kick at the start, right? Get a little kick of fake viewers at the start. People will come and then they will shovel money down your place, right? And that's going to, yeah, probably just delusional people. I don't know. Feels, feels really strange to me. That, but, I mean, there is a lot of these things like that kind of work. Um, to kind of scam people. It's like, um, I, I I think that for me, selling followers is a scam. That That's kind of my thing, right? Because I, I couldn't see like any situation where buying followers and buying uh, fake viewers is going to end up with a success for you, right? I, I, I don't see how this is going to become like a positive thing for you. Uh, if you're talking about like uh, winning the lottery kind of thing, right? Like uh, really everybody wins from doing this, right? Uh, but yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? I, 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 because like surely these bots that come in here to sell those products actually find people who buys them, right? Otherwise these bots would not exist, right? So th there's actually people buying this. So I don't know. To, 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 to me, it feels like, uh, really feels like uh, there could be some sort of a uh, better way. It's like shove money at the problem, right? The, the problem is, uh, oh, I don't have, uh, we are all bots yet. <laughs> the, the problem is you're not getting like uh, the viewers you were maybe hoping for when you started streaming. Or you're not getting the followers and you think that the the solution is to shove money at the problem, right? Like, uh, I see like people kind of starting streaming and they need to have their uh, Elgato fucking stream deck to, to be able to stream, right? As if they need that, right? And they need to have this, uh, this big, big, big UI and these amazing alerts and all of this shit, right? Oh, that's what you need for streaming. And it's kind of... I feel like the to some extent, like something like... I, I don't think that uh, like a stream deck is a, is a scam, but I don't like this sort of uh, a thing where people say that you need like a, a very good camera, a very good mic, a very good stream deck, a very good uh, computer to be able to stream. While like there's literally like... People with thousands of viewers who have don't don't even have that, you know. Annoys me. There you go. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I get triggered pretty easily. What's up, uh, semicolon? How you doing, man? Uh, are you are you uh, you must be close to getting your uh, your gold cap, right, uh, semicolon? You must be pretty close if you're not already completed. 
I'm kind of excited to see like uh, I haven't really watched your recent uh, YouTube videos if I'm being honest but uh, you want the kitty deck what the fuck is a fuck is this emote oh you want a meow deck ah is there a meow deck so we can have different sounds of meows is that what this is Uh, you're not you're not close to the did you spend again? Let me call him. Yeah, you spent right you mother uh spent way too much. I was close but did some giveaways. Ah <laughs> get fucked. Yeah, this is uh this is my life that you're living right now, Semi Colin, okay? You are now me, alright? That's the people are like, yeah, this is why like people are like, oh why don't you buy this and that? That's because I'm fucking spending already too much, okay? <laughs> yeah, people are coming in here. Oh, yeah, you, you have all this gold. Why don't you buy this and that and blah blah blah? It's just like fucking. Mm. You know what's a very very good way to make gold, guys? Is to spend less gold. You're gonna make so much gold with this gold farm. Spend less gold is the best way to make all the gold. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Alright. Yo, we got a little bit of a drop here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was reading this post. Um... <laughs> uh, turn money into gold. Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's a difference between an investment and spending right there's a difference between an investment and spending like i buy when i buy uh hearthstone packs with my gold this is not an investment right but like if i buy i don't know some pets that are cheap uh to resell them in a year yeah that's an investment that's fine but it's like yeah if you want to see your gold grow it's like yeah, it can take a lot of time it can take some time sometimes i'm very happy with canadia from the past you know uh, Canadia from the past sometimes buys some things and it's really good to sell them later for a profit. Um, but yeah, I'm never happy when Canadia in the present uh, spends gold. You know? But uh, it kind of depends, you know. Um, I'm excited for the new season to just start, you know. The new the new season starting is just going to be a nice little fresh air. It is apparently on the PTR. I don't know if this is going to have more content in this patch. Because there is 10.2.7 that is coming at some point too. It looks like... I don't know how long we'll have to wait for, um, for the season 4 to start. In the 10.2.6 patch, it was saying that... Um, it will be several weeks before season four. But I could see several weeks being like four to eight weeks, right? Something like that. I would doubt that it's under four weeks. But I would also doubt that it's over eight weeks. I think eight weeks would kind of be the maximum amount of weeks uh, that we will have to kind of wait for season four. Uh, but obviously I could be wrong, right? Obviously I could be wrong. Too far away. Come on, boy. You die now. Okay, now we wait for the little guys. They're coming. They're coming. But yeah, it's like, uh, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of, um, of wait time right now. Like, the patch was, like, a little bit more than one week ago. So, I mean, I could see it at the end of April to see kind of the next patch, right? I could see, like, at the end of April to see kind of the next patch, but it uh, could be kind of longer, too. It's really hard to estimate, actually. I, I think it's very hard to estimate when exactly it's going to be. Uh, but maybe, I don't know, maybe it's going to be very uh, sooner than we think. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, when, when do you guys think that Season 4 is going to drop? When do you guys think uh, that uh, Season 4 is going to drop? I'm kind of... I have like... I don't really have a, uh, a... A date in my mind, if you will. I, I don't really have a date in my mind. 
that would make like a lot of sense. I must get closer. But uh, it, it, I, it could be it could be heard of April. I think I think that it would be very logic if it's end of April. But uh, it could be in May. Could technically be in May. Uh, I wish next week gonna get the mo that money. Yeah, I mean it would be if it's next week. I'm probably gonna make a good chunk of profit. I mean, the herbs are being kind of. Uh, uh, have you seen the price of the herbs, uh, semicolon? Like, right bark was kind of through the roof the other day. Uh, we saw Bubble Puppy and Saxifrage going up in price. Even Hawk and Bloom to some extent. Uh, so, like, all of the herbs have gone at least a little bit of, like, a, maybe a 20% uh, on more uh, jump, right? So, I could definitely see uh, a bigger jump even, right? I'm kind of really... Excited to see what happens. I think that um, I don't. I, I, okay, so at the start, I thought that season four would have lots of gold to be made with the flipping of the mats. Now I'm feeling a little bit less uh, towards that. I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, with the with the phase uh, the next phase of uh, season of discovery is coming out uh people are doing plunderstorm i don't know do you think that the uh, right bark will stay high in season 4 yes uh most maybe even higher than what it is right now but it kind of depends i think that um i think that we'll see in the next few weeks even before season 4 okay uh, the way that we're going to know is how many people are farming herbs, right? How many people are farming herbs is going to be the answer to the right bark, right? Because if nobody right now goes herbing, if nobody goes herbing, uh, the price of right bark is going to be through the, through the freaking roof, okay? Um, that is why right now right bark jumped in price, right? This is the actual reason why right bark is so expensive right now. There's not enough people gathering herbs, and right bark is pretty useful. Not that useful, right? Not that useful, but still pretty useful. Uh, it's used for flourishing ink, it's used for burnish ink, it's used for some flask and potion. Uh, you think that the legendary. I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's the case. I know that Rune Right Bar, Cosmic Ink, stuff like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Rune Right Bar is really probably one of the main things. Like, a bit before that, Cosmic Ink was basically not selling, right? Cosmic Ink was basically not selling before that. So maybe you have a point here. I don't know. Um, But even if uh, we could prove that, it's like, um, yeah. There's a, yeah, but... Mm. Yeah, the, the demand for right bark went up, right? But um, but if there was more gatherers, I the price would go down. Uh, I feel like uh, if the if there was more people, like if if there was okay, right now, uh, if people are gathering more more and if the price of right bark is still high, uh, you would see. You would see the price of items like Awaken Order, uh, Awaken Frost going drastically down if that was the case. Because let's say that you're farming right bark, you're farming it in Azure Span, right? And in Azure Span, you can get Awaken Frost and Awaken Order quite a bit. Uh, so I think that if people were gathering a lot, you would see the price of these things going down. And they did go down, uh, in, in all fairness. They did go down, but you will also see this the price of something like uh, Bubble Puppy and uh, and Saxifrage to go down as well. But the prices are not going down really, right? There was a little bit of a of a drop for Awaken Order and Awaken Frost, but I think that people um, people are 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 kind of not using them as nuts, right? So the the demand for Awaken Frost. And awaken order drastically went down, and that's I think that's why the price is going down, right? I think that's why the price is going down. 
Uh, while something like, um, what's the name of that item? Uh, something like, um, right bark. Uh, yes, there is new, new, uh, important things with it, but like, yeah. I I think that there's just not enough gutter. Because like the, the price it's like ten times the price. Remember the right bark was at like four or five gold at some point. And now it's like no, this is not what I want to do. Actually, we're gonna do uh we're gonna use a cloak here. We're gonna go and do the wall quest on this character as well, because we forgot to do the wall quests. But but yeah, I, I think that there was a lot of uh not confusion, but it was like um, right back like ten times the price means that yes, there is a new item for it. But at the same time, uh, not so long ago, like right bark was down to twenty two gold, so half of the current price, right? Like a week or two ago, right bark was at twenty two gold, and now it's at like over forty gold. So it's like the 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 region kind of ran out of materials again on the right bark side, which means maybe some people kind of stopped gathering. So let's do some of this and do this. Yeah, it's probably several factors. Probably can contribute the right bark increase uh, to one thing. Kind of probably a combo. Yeah, it, it's probably a combo of things for sure. Oh, we got a, a red lumberjack pattern. That's pretty good. We're gonna send this to our um to our banker for Nax Ramus. Yes, 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 yes. And we're gonna vendor the rest. Go done. And we're gonna mail the items that are kind of important for the goal making here. Uh, it's probably several factors. Probably can't contribute. Uh, the right bark increase by one in particular. Probably a combo of legendary change in the man from one right bark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, it's um without like Blizzard data, we cannot really see, right? We can only speculate right now. So there's not going to be a definitive answer of this. We can only give like I think that is because like less people are gathering and yes the increased new thing and like all of these will be factors but to the you have, you have to understand like right bark um you look at the right bark right now in the auction house right something of me. uh right bark uh i mean to to see this at like 44 gold and probably more like 50 45 uh when it was four to five gold like very not too long ago um and look at the quantity available it's not a lot of quantity right you go like to to if you check the full quantity, there's only twenty three thousand of this one, right? Uh, this yeah, twenty three thousand of the rank two, which is probably the most popular. Uh, well yeah, you can see the quantities here. There's less than a hundred thousand full right back right now in the auction house, right? That there's only a hundred thousand or less right back on the auction house right now. Let, let's actually see, let's actually see uh the 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 the, the data on this, right? I want to see this. The, the 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 actual quantity of the herb uh over time right i want to see okay so look at this look at this uh, in november there was seven almost 800,000 right bark and then the quantity really really dropped and recently it went kind of from 200,000 to 100,000 but yeah this is when you you can see this is always the same pattern okay the red line goes down and the blue line goes up. See, the legendary got introduced like a long, long time ago. And yeah, the, the, the quantity was pretty stable for some time. And then as the quantity went down, people, it went up. I think that something that could have happened here is I think someone might have bought like 100,000 right bark here when it was like 20 gold. And now it's 40, 45, right? So maybe it's it's the work of someone who wants to make a profit too, right? Because buying a hundred thousand right buck is not that much, but it takes a long time for the for the auction house to kind of come back from this, right? All right, let's look around here. Um, so let's do some wall quests with some leveling and some good things like this. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. 
And I believe these are the four world quests we're going to do today. Let's go. But yeah, I think, uh, yeah, there, there, there's a lot of factors for sure. I, it's not really, uh, this is all speculation again, as I said, you know, uh, we don't know. Um, There we go. Let me see here. Okay, let's go to the Dragon Riding World Quest right here. Sorry, I was typing someone. Uh, there we go. Okay, so let's keep doing the little world tour here. We're going to start with a Dragon Riding World Quest to make some massive XP. With exceptionally I mean, uh, for, I, I like these types of quests instead of like, uh, you know, the, the typical uh, World of Warcraft quest format of uh, you do like a quest and then it unlocks three more quests, which unlocks three more quests, which unlock this big quest to kind of finish this and then you unlock three more quests and uh, so on forever. And yes, there is some variety to this, right? Uh, for sure, there is a lot of variety to this. Uh, but for me, it's just this is not the format I've ever liked. And uh, yeah, I like being able to do something like and, and, and you know what I think it should be for Dragon Riding World Quest? You know what a change that they could do that I think would be really, really better? Excellent. You know what they could do? Instead of having to go in here and talk to this NPC, right? Instead of coming here to come to the NPC, let's say that you go into... Um, let's say that you go into... Um, actually, I do have the racing belt. Let me actually show you what it could be, okay? Uh, where's the racing belt? There you go. This is what it could be. You could just see a circle like this, right? You could just see a circle like this when you're flying and maybe just, it, it could be like in the air, right? It could be like in the air. Let me see. There you go. You could just see this while you're flying and it would be like, oh, if you go into this circle, you're going to start a dragon riding wall quest. I think this would be so much better, right? I think this would be so much better. And, and obviously, it's not a big difference, right? It's not a big difference. That's not, it's not about being a big difference. But for me, it would be like, okay, so now if I go there, uh, if I decide, like, I always have this sort of a hint, right? I always have this sort of hint, right? I'm just flying around doing whatever I do. And oops, I see a circle. Should I do this, right? I was not planning on doing this. I was not planning on doing this, but here it is. Should I, do I want to do it, right? Do I want to do this dragon riding world quest? I think that would be so much cooler. I mean, it's not a big difference, obviously, right? But for me, uh, here's something that does happen. There's a quest like this. There's two quests like this, okay? The banners, you know, the world quest with the banners and the world quest with the bugs, right? Where you just kind of fly around and sometimes you see the banners. And this is like my favorite world quest in the game. Right? The banners is my favorite wall quest of the game, and then it's the it's the little bugs that you can fly over. And I know it's not the case for like everyone. Oh my god, these are so confusing now. Because I don't have these. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. Where is the last one? I don't know because I have the two types of circles. Is this like the, the real one? I think this is the real one. There we go. Okay. Oh no! Come on, man. Canadia, I'm disappointed in your... I'm very disappointed in you, Canadia, today. It's because I had the other circles from my toy. Look, this is a circle here. Okay, stop blaming me, guys. I blame I blame the racing belt here. I blame the racing belt. God fucking damn it. Alright, now let's do the Enoch... Uh, the Enoch thing. Pet journal. Uh, let's heal up. And this is already set up. So... We have this pet battle to do. That's going to give us some nice, juicy pet charms. And there you go. Uh, trees are my worst WoW enemy. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know you know what I think should be there too? I think that there should be something that you can fly in the air and see everywhere in the world. These world quests that sometimes pop up. I think this should be not even on the... You know what it should be? You know what would be really cool? Is if this was not a world quest, right? Let's say that there is no more world quests like this, right? That you just go to this place 
right? And you, if you happen to fly by this place, there could be a circle in the air. And if you go through that circle, you start a little event that just popped up for you, right? That just popped up for you, maybe not for everyone. And there you go. It would be your event. If you want to do it, you can. If you don't want to do it, you don't do it. Yo, all right, let's start this and kill some uh, some stinky, uh, some stinky, whatever that is. What is this? Is this like a, a fish? It's like a fish goblin? Uh, no, not a goblin, but a fish demon? Oh, this is a fish, right? In the, in the fish kind of category. It's like a fish reptile, maybe? Because, uh, I don't know. The fish on legs. That's weird. <laughs> Trees are your voice enemy. I mean, that's a good one. Oh, boy. Go. Is this done yet? Yay, we did it. Beautiful. All right. Uh, let's do this. Ah, why did I use this? Actually, I didn't even need to hear this. All right, so now this guy can go back to... Oh, no, we have one more world quest to do, right? Yeah, yeah, right here. There we go. So so we did the map last time, and it gave us like 77,000 uh, XP in a very, very uh, small amount of time. So that was like really good. Like, it was nine minutes, I think. I think we were doing something like 500,000 experience per hour uh, doing world quests, right? Doing like the wall quest, we were doing something like 500,000 experience per hour. Which I don't know how good this is in the grand scheme of like making uh, uh, of leveling characters. What I can tell you though is that we also made during these nine minutes, I think we did over like I think during the nine minutes we were doing something like three or four thousand gold, right? Oh, not where I want to. Okay, we holy shit, this is not easy. Oh boy. What a bad start. What a bad fucking start. And this is a very long one if I remember correctly. Alright, so let's try and get some uh some action here. And we go. There we go. I like uh, I like this. These are so chill. It's so it's so much different. Like I really hope. You know what I would like? Uh, the beetle races from uh, from Guild Wars two. You know, uh, or, or like they should have more of these. Uh, they should have more of these uh, of these uh, like dynamic mounts, right? Uh, apparently there could be like some sort of ground dynamic mount. I would fucking love this shit. Or maybe even an aquatic, uh, an aquatic mount, uh, a dynamic mount would be amazing. Uh, I think that the travel like this is just such a big, big boost to just making the game better. Uh, for 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 someone like me, you know, I know it's not like for everyone, but for me, it's just such a big boost. And there we go. I don't think we got gold because we started so bad. Oh, we did get gold. Nice. Uh, do you do any pet battle in other zones? Uh, I did at some point, but not currently because, um, it's like, it's not that it's bad, right? It's the, the reason why I don't do it. It's not because it's bad. It's just because, um, I don't, uh, it, it kind of depends. There, there is one or two that I do, uh, near my covenants, right? I, I can see if it's up right now in Shadowlands. But sometimes if there is a very, very good one, very close to my covenant, sometimes I do it, right? These are the ones that I do. Uh, sometimes in Dalaran, uh, in uh, in uh, Legion, because Legions are the best to level pets, right? Uh, to level pets, the Legion wall quests are great. You can see here, uh, Night Fang, right here, is a very, very good one too, right? Uh, it's important to note that this gives less XP than the Dragonflight ones, right? So in terms of XP... Um, this just gives you less, but sometimes it will give you like 20 pet charms to just go here and do it. And it will also give character XP. I think it gives you like 5,000 XP for just doing the battle. 
I'm pretty sure I can do Night Fang, so let me just see here if we can do Night Fang. There you go. We, we could actually show you, because it's really very close to here, right? Night Fang is very, very close. So if you have, like, these kind of places where you're pretty close to a pet battle, uh, you... That's kind of uh, a kind of a classic thing in World of Warcraft is to reduce travel time, right? As you can see, the, the, the path is right here, right? It's right over here. So it was really, really close. So reducing travel time is basically doing things while doing things that you're already doing. So, for example, let's say that I'm doing my mission table. I'm right next to this, so I could do this if it gives me, if it gives me a good reward. Right now, this doesn't give me a super good reward. But this, this pet battle is a very quick one. So, uh, always nice to, to just do something like this. Oh, there you go. It's already over. Right? You see how fast this one is? It was like 30 seconds. And there you go. I got like a, a few thousand XP here. And I got some uh, undead training stones. So I could level like, uh, I could level like an undead pet. So that, there's a lot of, uh, of positive things about this system. Sometimes there's even like, uh, callings that can be with this, right? Right now there is none for today, uh, but sometimes there is some callings that you can do uh, that fit with what I just did. Sometimes there's like a calling in, in here and I need to do like, um, I could complete like all three callings by just in this zone. I need to do three wall quests while I could do a pet battle wall quest and parts of these wall quests, right? It's a very, very quick one to do. So it's like, it's kind of like a compilation of things to do, you know? It's kind of a bonus. Bunch of things together. Uh, so in here, uh, this is the other character. Uh, did we mail? Yeah, we did mail. So let's do this one now. So we have like um, all of these characters that want to level. Um, I want to level them before the end of the uh, expansion, obviously, right? Um, and I would really, really like to have like more of the alls. But as I mentioned, you know, we were talking about Draconis and the tailoring cooldowns, which are some of the very very good ways that were brought in this expansion for making gold uh we already did this so i don't think there's like new missions available but yeah there you go we already sent missions earlier but yeah i looking at this you know and we talk about having something like an alt army right uh, an alt army is a great way uh it's just a great way in general an alt army to make gold but is it something fun is a is a really relevant question for some people just playing world of warcraft in general and going to places and doing things is something that just kind of turns their brains off and it's a good thing in itself right um so in this sense yeah it, it can kind of work out to, to to just do whatever you want like an alt army uh if you like leveling i think if you like leveling i think that an alt army is definitely something that people should consider you don't like leveling, uh, like, leveling is a, the biggest part of the alt army thing, right? Uh, lots of people go through it, even though they don't really want to, but... I think that it's just... It's an option, right? You have different options in the game, and I want to present them to you, like, in, in when I do these streams, right? I want to present these options when I do these streams, and they're not always... An option that would fit you, right? We all have different things that we like, and I think personally that um, if I had, if I was not like streaming and showcasing everything, you know, I would do the, I would play the game differently. Uh, I I would play the game a little bit differently, but I would do a lot of the things that are just more fun to me uh, than some of the things. For like example. I don't think I would level more characters if I wasn't, like, doing what I do. I don't think I would level more characters because the only reason... I, I would probably pay for boost to level characters. Like, uh, I, will, I would have not, like, leveled these characters kind of manually, right? I would have done it with, uh, with boost from either players or just from Blizzard. Uh, we got some ads right now. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, well, we're gonna wait here for sure. Uh, but we're gonna switch to the full cam. And we're actually gonna do, uh, some training right now. So, if you want, you can join me. This is all things that you can, uh, you can do, uh, at home. You don't need, like, equipment or whatever. So, first thing we're gonna do is, uh, wall push-ups. Oh, that's a little bit. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, so wall push-ups, let's go. 
fun. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Let's go. Look at these muscles. Let's go. And yeah, don't forget to buy uh, your giveaway token like uh, Wolfie just did. All right, let's do some squats next. So this is, again, you don't need anything for this. So you just kind of stretch and you drop. All right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ugh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Ah, oh, that was uh, that was hard. That one was hard. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. That's just what you gotta do. And the last thing, we're gonna lift the jelly. Yes? Alright, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, and 15. Let's go. All right. That's awesome. Very happy that I stick to this every stream. At the end of the year, you know, I do about, uh, I do about three streams per week, right? So three times 52. This is the number of streams that I do per year, right? And now, if we do like 15 push-ups for every stream that we do this year, I will have done 2,340 push-ups on stream uh, every single year. And same thing with squats and with lifting of the jelly. So I think this is like really relevant. But uh, thank you for your patience during the ads. It's very appreciated. And welcome back. There you go. Okay, so let's get into it. And we'll do the dragon riding to start. This is done. Uh, I'm gonna remove this. There you go. Uh, go. So yeah, I like. Uh, I'm kind of excited to see at the end of the expansion how many uh, resources I'll have as well. The dragon life supplies to be able to make a lot of these quacky pets, right? That's something I could definitely eventually kind of farm, even in future expansions. I I don't know if they're gonna keep the 500 gold pouches. For um in the next expansion, I'm pretty sure that they're gonna reduce the amount of raw gold that World Quest give in the War Within. The, I'm talking about the World Quest in Dragonflight here. I'm pretty sure that they're gonna reduce this, right? So basically, um Yeah. I think that what they're gonna do is they're gonna make it that maybe it gives like uh 200 gold to do like a dragon fight world quest or 100 gold instead of like the 600 plus gold uh that's what they've been doing in the previous like uh previous like kind of contents so i would be surprised if they don't do something and like some maybe remove magpies right uh but we'll see let me just uh hmm i crashed a little bit but i was uh, i was kind of filling my glass of water there you go. So let's do the next world quest here. And it's go. An there we go. I like uh, I like this one quite a bit. These kind of uh wall quests like this. But yeah, I, I think um I think there's more content to be had with something like what we're doing right now. Uh like wall quests like this. I think that uh, what do you guys think of like the quality of the wall quest in this expansion? Compared to like uh, um, previous expansions, 
I think that this was probably the best wall quest ever in terms of like how fun they are. Uh, I know it's not everyone that uh, thinks that, obviously, right? But I think that this could definitely be seen as one of the best times ever. Uh, Enoch. Yeah. Uh, at least this is obviously like everyone has their own opinion on this. But I think that the, um, the pet battles, uh, are, not the pet battles, but like the world quests in general. The dragon racing world quests are great. I think everyone can agree to this. Uh, or most people can agree to this. Um, also, uh, I think the the taking the pictures, you know, going on the little raft and taking pictures. I think this is was a successful uh, thing in general. I think people like like those. I think they could be harder. I think that the they could be kind of harder, and you need to have timing. I think the camera could have better control. Also. Better options. There's also the climbing wall quest that uh, some people, I'm sure, enjoyed. Uh, what else was there as kind of these special wall quests? Uh, the digs, right? The digs in, um, with the Lomnifen. I think this could be a system that comes back with maybe some changes to it. I'm trying to think of like all the possibilities that could happen, but it um, can be a bit hard. Uh, so yeah, uh, after this, uh, these two next wall quests, we're going to do the next Ramos on this character. Uh, we're going to try to do next Ramos right now. It looks like we're going to do it on at least like five or six characters. So that's going to be great and get lots, lots, lots of stuff from it. I guess we could just kill them. I don't care. Okay, let's go uh, to the next place here for the last uh, dragon race that we need to do. This one is very long too. Uh, but yeah, I like it. Like, eventually, probably in a few weeks, I think that all my characters will be level 70. Which is always a, a goddamn great thing. I could technically do more uh, world quests than the ones that I do currently. Uh, but this is just like... I don't know. I think that it's a good amount of world quests. I, I need to do it on every single character that I want to level. Which is, right now, there's only four characters I need to level. And one of them is almost level 70. One of them is level 69 and he's at like 20% in. Uh, so he's getting very, very close to getting level 70. So soon we'll only have three characters to level. Uh, which makes it that it's going to be a little bit uh, faster to do this. So maybe when we only have three characters, we can kind of increase the number of world quests to kind of spend the same or similar amount of time leveling while doing these. And once I'm done with the four characters that I currently need to level, I'm not sure like what's going to be the next step uh, for leveling. But um, I was thinking of doing another gathering challenge, right? For those who weren't there back in the day when I did my gathering challenge, what I did is I went from level 10 to level 70 from doing a gathering only, okay? And this time, I would kind of do it a little bit differently. We would do kind of the same thing, okay? But instead of leveling one character, I think I would level three, three to five characters, right? Uh, so you might be wondering, why the hell would I do so many characters uh, to, to do gathering on? Well, because I want to do a little bit of a tactic with them, okay? I want to do a little bit of a tactic, uh, so the way that um, that rested experience works is that uh, you get so much more experience when you have rested experience. So what what I could do is to only level them when they have rested experience, right? Any tips for gathering on, under level thirty? Under level thirty is long and painful and probably is garbage in general. Um, but maybe. Maybe in the next expansion, that's not going to be the same, okay? So next expansion, Dragonflight is going to become the new leveling experience, right? Dragonflight is going to become the new leveling experience in the next one. So, what if, what if, um, we could do Dragon Riding from level 10, but only in the Dragon Isles, right? 
What if this were a thing? Then you could level up really, really fast with Gathering and Dragonflight. And then at level like 40, you could switch to BFA where you would make more gold and you would not have to fight any mobs, right? I think this would probably be better, but yeah. Uh, what were we doing here? So now we're going to do Nax Rhymas on this character. Let's go to Nax Rhymas now. The fourth or third character of the day for Nax? Yeah. Yeah, because right now, and this was like part of the challenge that we did with the Garen challenge when we did it. Leveling from 1 to 30, uh, well, well, from 10 to 30 was very slow and very painful and very, very not fun. Okay? Uh, ground mount is such a pain in the ass. Ground mount is such a pain in the ass um, for gathering. And if I, I think that you know what I think I would do. I would probably go in the starter vanilla zones. Um, like, uh, fucking get copper, you know, copper ore, where there's not a lot of big mob density and you just kind of go there and pick up the, the gathering from this. But, um, I mean, there was some information that maybe we could get dynamic ground mount. And if we could get, right, if we could get dynamic ground mount, um, on level like uh, one or level 10. That would be so freaking cool, man. I would be so happy. Uh, if you have two accounts in a dude, you can fly the sub level 32 and around and gather. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, in a world where you only do one character at a time. Uh, yeah, obviously it's not an option. But yeah, it's actually a good option that you mentioned for sure, for sure. For sure. It's just, um, I... This is just something I don't do anymore, is have multiple accounts really on stream. Uh, not because it's not good, but I want the things to be accessible. In the past, I would always stream with multiple accounts, and I felt like uh, lots of the people could not do what I was doing. And this is something I'm going to bring back, probably some content at some point, that can be done with multiple accounts, that, or what, that would benefit from having multiple accounts. But yeah. I don't even need to do it with Dragon Riding. Yeah, you don't even need to do it, yeah, for sure. Uh, kill this guy. Yep, you died now. There you go. This Warlock is so freaking slow. I hate Warlock. Uh, even with Burning Rush, it's still freaking slow. And you have to heal because... Uh, I don't like... Uh, I don't really like the state of Warlock, I would say, probably. Maybe, maybe it's just me. I don't know. It's like, um, maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Let's just walk here. Cause, uh, yeah, a little bit of this, that, but, but, but yeah, I think that, uh, it's, it's more for the leveling. I, I'm kind of curious to see how much gold we can make, but for me, it's more about how much time it takes from level 10 to level 70 doing only like, ga doing like only gathering. Uh, but we'll see. We will see. Uh, let's try and actually heal up here. It's not gonna work, right? Ah, uh, fuck this. Fuck this shit. Okay. This Warlock, man, is such a freaking garbage class. Sorry, it's just Warlock is not working for me it's just so slow compared to like my monks i love my monks can i have a monk now oh yeah i wanted to have a really like different class and i didn't have a warlock so this is my only warlock in the currently right i only like uh i have a level 13 as well right something like that but this is my only warlock right now and eh, i don't like this warlock too much I'm glad he's not one of my crafters. All right, let's try on something like this. There we go. It's just, you know, I, I think everyone has their own kind of preferences for sure. For me, my preferences, my preferences are just not Warlock. <laughs> And today is the complaining day of Canada, so today I'm going to complain about Warlock. 
you know? No, I mean, I, I know lots of people like Warlock. It's just for actual content like this, right? Content where you don't need to have a rotation. It's just, you know, you just kill stuff that gets one-shotted. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Warlock for that kind of things, you know? Obviously, I might like the gameplay quite a bit if we were doing, like, uh, Mythic Plus or, um, or Raids or whatever. Uh, but for this, ugh. Not my jam. Go and we need to stop doing this, right? Otherwise, we're gonna die. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm excited to uh, to reveal some of the rewards we're gonna get next month with uh, with the sub goals. Very excited to see uh, what we get here. I mean, this month has just been incredible for uh, for subs in general. Um, you compare this to like previous month and it's not even like close. Obviously, like we got a lot of gifted subs, right? We got so many gifted subs. I was just so generous. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think next month you're going to like the rewards that I'm going to put in. And yeah, there's also going to be the, the giveaway again for the War Within, uh, that's going to be in there. So, uh, so yeah, um, very exciting times to be alive. Uh, there is a lot of entries this month for the for the giveaway for the epic edition of the War Within. Um, so yeah, really excited to kind of pick the winner again. Really exciting times to be alive. Okay. And yeah, I, I think the giveaway is going to stick until the release of the next expansion. It's been like something like since December that we've been doing this giveaway. So it would just be like one more, uh, one more, right? Go. Uh, a, a few more, like uh, a few more, I mean, not one more. Where the fuck? So yeah, April and then probably there's going to be like maybe three or four months before the next expansion after this. I we need to really check the the roadmap. But I think it's it was showing like end of summer or something like that. Oh, they just turned my problem. Okay. Ooh, Navy. Apparently, I think the the nerves for Hearthstone have been announced. I'm gonna look at that. Uh, let's take a look here. I'll check after the stream. Actually, I don't have time right now. Hmm. I would love to see like some uh, some new forms of uh, dynamic flying. What 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 would you like uh, for people who played? Uh, I know there's people who played uh, Guild Wars Two in here, but I would like to see something like the rabbit. But it, 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 I don't think it would work in World of Warcraft. But fucking hell, or the beetle. I think the beetle is the most realistic one for uh, for World of Warcraft. Uh, but yeah. Oh my god! Stop fucking pulling me. Oh boy. Okay. Going. Uh but yeah, I think uh the beetle, it's like there's something called beetle beetle racing in uh in Guild Wars 2. It's so fucking good. I wanna see this in uh, in World of Warcraft. I hope that Blizzard just keeps copying other MMOs. We could have like player housing and um and other cool things, you know? I would like to see a new profession, like a carpenter profession, would be so freaking cool. I would love to see the part, the carpenter profession. It's been so long since we had a new profession, right? I need a new profession. When was the last new profession? Was it like there was an inscription in jewel crafting that were kind of new? But what was the latest, like, new profession in the game? You cannot hide we'll from me. Hmm. Uh, did Legion have a new profession? I don't think so. Did BFA have a new... No. Uh... Upholster? I don't know. Was it, like... Jewel crafting? Archaeology and kata. Ew, that's not really a profession. That's a garbage thing. Really? Oh my god. 
I mean, to some extent, I don't think it's really needed to have a new profession. I feel like there's enough professions, but I think it would be it would give a bit of a fresh uh, a breath of fresh air for me. To have a oh, you know what would be cool? What would be really really cool? Or uh, maybe maybe it would be like too powerful. But what if they added like two new professions, but now every character could have three professions instead of two? Personally, or, or you know, I think what would be just the best thing ever for me, that the best thing ever is that you could have all professions on the same character, right? Let's say, let's say, okay, here's how they could do it, right? What they could do is like, if you have every single recipe of your two, of your two professions, or like every, like, or maybe a certain number, let, let's say that you have, Let's say that there's 200 like jewel crafting recipe, right? Well, if you get like uh, 150 recipes, then uh, you can get another profession slot. That would be so cool. Because I would like to have this master crafter that can just craft everything, right? Uh, one character that can craft everything. That would be the dream. Oh, this character is so slow. I, I think that would be the dream. At least for me. Like for the that would be my goal making dream. To have like one crafter do everything, that would be just so convenient. Oh, uh, I, I mean the, I, I like when they uh when they kind of unlock things like this, right? I like when you can unlock features of the game, right? It's like, if you want this, you have to unlock it. I like these kind of things. Uh, not for everything, obviously, but for some things, it's nice to have something to kind of work towards. Uh, but not like something like flying. I think that flying was a little bit too important in the game to put behind, like, these achievements. I think that was bad. I think that was bad. But, like, something, the small things, you know? Like, uh, unlocking Dragon Riding World Quest... What? Oh, like all of the accounts unlocked from the Renown of Dragonflight, I think were really cool. I really like this kind of stuff. Really, really like this kind of stuff. So, you know, having more, uh, I would really like it. Yo. Having uh, more of what they did with the Renown of Dragonflight, I would be very, very happy. I think that they did lots of go good things kind of in the shadows in this expansion. Lots of things were in the shadows, and they were like really good things, if you ask me. There we go. Come on now. Oh my god, why is he always so far? Ew. Oh my god, he's at the other end again. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Try this. Patchwork want to play when you have Beautiful. Let's actually do this while we wait for the mobs to come to me. Go. This guy did the wall quest, right? So after this guy will be, I think, this is the fourth character that does it or the third character? It could be, the, I think it's the third character that does it for today. So we'll get at least 12 attempts plus the ones from the, from the actual banker. And there's a, I'd be, I think we're going to do it maybe on six characters in total for, um, for Nax Ramus, maybe even seven. Oh, we got stun. Fuck. Uh, can we, can we loot? Thank you. Oh, <sighs> but yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, we're getting kind of closer every time to get the, I don't think we got many like big sales in our last, uh, from our, uh, from our banker from Max Ramos. We get many sales, but at the same time, we don't have a lot of things to sell right now on my banker from Max Ramos. We've been like so screwed on the, on the tokens so far, uh, from all of the stuff we got in Max Ramos. It's becoming a bit of a meme. How little lamented pieces we're getting, and how little everything really. It's been uh, it's been rough. 
The times are have been have been hard, okay? We've been through some hard times. But hey, we're getting through it. Getting through. Go. And we keep on going. And we keep on going. <laughs> Bit of a silly thing, but yeah. Uh I wish um I really wish that we get the uh, we get season four like maybe at the end of this uh, of April or before maybe. A little bit before the end of April would be pretty good. I think that would be I think something I would really, really be happy about, but yeah. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, but it's just uh, it's always nice to have new things. And maybe some uh some can we could see the content from ten point two point seven, right? Uh ten point two point seven is also coming. Uh maybe there's gonna be some cool things in there, you know? I could see it happening. Hmm. Yo. Get some help in here. Oh. So we have like uh, three bosses left now. Uh, this one, the dragon, and uh, the Vesuvius. Re I don't know what. It is. There we go. And now we wait. Ugh, exciting times to be there. Let me see here. Okay. All right, let's see here. It's this. Okay. Uh, and okay, we can now access this boss. Right? There we go. Boom. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing Nax Ramus after the one million gold challenge. Uh, maybe we'll switch to really kind of doing some more gathering. I, I mean, at the same time, we might not have time to do like a, a, another challenge after this because. Uh, beta is gonna drop at some point, uh, and we're gonna explore a lot of the beta. Uh, also, uh, new content like season four. Maybe there's gonna be new content and new things that are gonna be in the game, so we just don't know. I would like to see. Um, I would like to see some uh, some new things in the in the patches before the war within. Uh, but we'll see right now. I'm just gonna do refining of a lot of the things that I currently do and yeah Yo. All right All right Okay, so this is the last place here and we have one more boss left to kill on this run. Go. We're gonna try to rile these up together. There we go. go. I don't know how many scraps we got, but these scraps are I don't know. They they, are, they say that they're 140 gold each right now. And these are 75, so stuff is going a little bit lower than usual. I know that last time I'll show you my sales in a little bit um, on my demon hunter, but yeah, the 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 price of the scraps and the uh, frozen runes have been going down a tiny bit, right? Not that crazy much, but like maybe something like uh, fifteen percent. Thank you so much for the sub, uh, Musky. Uh, right now my um, my alerts are not working. Okay, so I cannot really I, I can give you like the kiss. But without the song, apparently. So, here's a kiss. Mwah! Thank you very much, uh, Musky. That's very, very appreciated. And it's now uh, four months. Yay, four months. Let's go. Uh, but yeah, I, I will take a look. Apparently, this could be like a Twitch issue, not necessarily a, a me issue. But um, I'm, uh, it is a, there's a really big chance that it's a me issue, to be honest. Uh, but we'll check after the stream. Check after the stream. Um, also like for, for the next stream that we're going to do, uh, it's probably going to be, um, 
it's not gonna be until maybe next Tuesday, okay? There is a chance that I stream this weekend. I am doing great, thanks. Uh, <laughs> thanks a lot. I'm doing great, Muskie. And uh, it was my pleasure to kiss you today. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there's a good chance that the next stream is only gonna be on Tuesday. Uh, I do have lots of stuff to do uh, in this weekend. So there could be a stream on the weekend as well. So we'll see. It's also a chance on Monday, technically, if I do like an early bird uh, earlier uh, in the day. Uh, but this will all be uh, updated in my Discord, so I can always uh, link my Discord if you want to know. Also, I think you can put notifications. The, the stream's not over. It's just I mention it sometimes. Uh, but there you go. Now let's sell all the stuff, and we're going to mail our goodies to our banker. But yeah, we still have like a few hours to go still today. But I like to kind of mention when the next stream is going to be uh, from time to time. Uh, because, yeah, it's uh, it's always this sort of... Um, there's always kind of updates on this, you know. Um, we do we are working on another project as well uh, that will kind of complement what we're doing here on Twitch. Uh, but there's going to be a new thing coming up real soon that I cannot say what it is. I'm very, very excited to kind of... For the day that I will be able to kind of reveal this information. Uh, let's go here. Send uh, recent demon hottie. This, this, and this. We're getting more scraps uh, than usual, which is always great. Uh, let's exit this account and go on the other account uh, to continue uh, the little wall tour right now. Because I do have a, another character to level on the other side. So we'll see here. And we have we have the evoker right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. You know what we could do for the gathering challenge is to level evokers, right? I could maybe uh, get some evokers for gathering. Oh my god, that would be fucking smart. I need to level some evokers because they start at level sixty basically. So I think that would be great. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to put this on my list of things to do. Uh, gathering. There you go. Hey, what's up, DJ Shami? How you doing? Nice to see you. I'm pretty sure we already did this, right? Yeah, we Oh, we have more. Yay, beautiful. Okay. Um... Yo, this character, I think I'm going to dump my anima before starting the rotation. All good, nice to hear. Yo. Uh, so I think this, start, this character is going to start with the wall quests. Huh? Any tips for leveling lower characters? Working on like 25 of them now. Um, Tips on leveling characters. Um, Well, obviously use the heirlooms, right? Use the heirlooms, the six heirlooms. Um, that's one of the things that you should do for sure and upgrade your hair rooms. Uh, maximize rested efficiency. Uh, so rested experience will make it that you, uh, rested experience will make it that you can make, um, double the XP for the same kind of stuff on some things, right? Like gathering maybe, uh, so I would say that gathering efficiency, um, in some cases, um, if you have two accounts, it's probably really good to utilize that. If you're having like this many characters, probably multi-account will definitely make it uh, a smoother experience and like faster experience because that's a lot of characters we're talking about here. Uh, yeah, you boost your own characters with another account. Yeah, lots of people do this. Um, it's something you can do. But, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, doing the, if you're, if that's not what you want, though, um, there's other options, you know? It's like, um, well, like, why, why do you, you're working on 25 of them. Like, personally, like, I like, right now I'm doing things that I like, right? Uh, I'm doing these wall quests. And I'm not rushing to level these characters, right? This is something that sometimes 
people do. I'm not really in a rush to do anything in this game, as this is a game, right? Um, I have things that I want to accomplish, but I'll accomplish them when I accomplish them. Right now, the, this game is always going to be there, uh, as long as I, you know, this game is always going to be there. So it's not like I'm not in a rush to do things, right? Uh, it's like I'm not in a rush to reach like a hundred million gold. I'm, uh, I'm just like in this kind of situation right now, and it's going to be whatever, you know, like maybe at some point, um, give me more, but, uh, I'm not in a rush to do it. It's more about the process for me. Like, um, it is a bright day with this, this is kind of a, how I could say it is like, uh, you can level an infinite amount of characters. If you find a way to enjoy it, right? You find a way that you enjoy leveling characters, you'll level as many characters as, ne as that you need to level up, right? So find a way that you really, really enjoy, and then you'll be able to level up all the freaking characters that you want, right? If you're leveling characters to do, to reach a, a, another goal, and you don't enjoy the process of leveling 25 characters, like, considering that a character will probably take you at least 10 hours to level, and probably more. Uh, that's at least 250 hours that you're speaking of right now. Which is like probably months of doing something that you don't like. And that leads to depression, right? That leads to depression, so don't do that. <laughs> um, hey, Bro Knight, how you doing, man? Nice to see you. Uh, they get some XP from Garrison. I'll just jump on them to help them burn rested when I can. Okay, okay, okay. So it's kind of a passive thing, right? Uh, what could be like a passive way? Like, I think the dragon, the dragon, uh, if they're not uh, at level 60, you cannot do the dragon racing. Uh, but maybe the pet battle trainers or the pet battle wall quest from the older content are going to be a nice experience for you, right? Uh, nice experience. Or maybe if there is some wall quest that you really like, maybe from BFA, there's like the turtles. You know, in BFA, there's like the, the turtle who made it to the water wall quests. Some people like those. I don't. But you don't need to do any combat during these wall quests. So, a little bit like uh, in Dragonflight, the the taking the pictures, you know? Taking the pictures wall quest can be uh, kind of an option. There we go. Uh, is this it? Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, I'm going south next, yeah? Uh, let me just get Enoch. I will read check in a second. Thank you for the follow, uh, Shukaze. Uh, welcome to the stream. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, but thank you very much for uh, the follow. Yeah. And enjoy the stream. Um... Drainer, uh, Drainer Treasures is still work in World Quest. I know World Quest works, but I don't know about the Drainer Treasures. If they, I think they still give some XP, but not as much, really not as much as before. Uh, so there could be technically a way to gain levels from this. It kind of depends. These are like Drainer Treasures are a one-time thing, so it's not something that's repeatable, like World Quest, for example. Uh, but so, something that you can do. Is have this um, something you could do is maybe go to if you want to spend like little to no time. Is sometimes there is a wall quest in Legion Dalaran, right? For uh, for pets with pets, it happens almost every day that there's a wall quest for uh, a pet battle wall quest in um, in Dalaran. So you could use your Dalaran Hearthstone, do the wall quest, and use their Hearthstone on each character. To bring them back to where they were. I don't know where you want to park them. Uh, but this this could really work for you. So this could be nice. Um, sorry to ask. But anyone know a place I go to design a logo for free? Uh, you could do Canva. I think Canva could work for a logo. It was maybe Gimp? I don't know. Uh, Can Canva has a free version. So you could do something there. I'll type it... Uh, I use Canva. I have premium for Canva, but uh, but I think the free version has lots of things. It's just you have to be careful not to use kind of copyrighted, uh, not copyrighted, but um, 
premium features, right? They have like premium designs that you cannot use. So you have to always do, uh, do I have the wrong, I have the wrong team, right? Or something what happened here. I messed this up. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ugh. Let's try this again. Maybe I have the wrong script. Did I? Let's see here. Try this again and we'll see if it crashes again. I did see my uh my 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 mechanical pet do something weird, so I don't know. Let's take a look again here. There we go. But again, he is getting kind of smashed here. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. Or maybe... I don't know what happened here. Yeah, it's super squirted. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did do some super squirting uh, uh, at the end here. Earlier today. What the hell is going on? Why did he switch? My pets are kind of switching places instead of doing stuff. Let's uh let's remove ooh, this. There's something ooh, wrong with ooh, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seven a. M. Waking up in the morning. Gotta be fresh. Gotta go downstairs. Gotta Take have my bowl. bowl gotta cereal. have cereal. Seeing yeah, everything. everything. The time I'm is going. Ticking mm -hmm. on and on. Everybody's rushing. Gotta get down to the bus stop. Gotta catch, catch my, my bus. bus. I, see I see my, my friend. <laughs> Sitting in the back seat. <laughs> Gotta make my mind up. Which seat can I take? It's not Friday today. Not Friday today. But you gotta get down on Friday. It is an excellent day yeah, he, he, this was the Friday. Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> the fuck, super squirting. Yeah. I, I'm thinking of having a, a squirt command uh, on, my, on my channels, right? Having a squirt command, but it will just give a link to when the next super squirt is, right? Like a super squirt uh, tracker. But it would be nice to have a squirt command, you know? So it would be like uh, kind of a double meaning, if you will. People will people could ask in chat like, hey, when is the next super squirt? And I could be like, oh, you can do the squirt command. To see when is the next uh, squirting uh, event, you know? <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> Everybody needs a squirt command, you know? If you want to real, be a real streamer, you know? You gotta have the squirt command. So... Boom. Alright, this is a long one compared to the other ones, but uh, this guy's gonna go to Nax Ramus next. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this one too, but it's he's not as bad as the Warlock for doing like Nax Ramus. Everybody's rushing. There we go. So we're done. So I I, I don't know what happened with the um, with the, the the pet wall quest, but that was uh, that was a bit annoying. There you go. Uh, now this character is gonna go. Oh, this guy doesn't have the. Okay, so this guy will have to kind of fly manually to the other place, right? Let me see if there's like a... Let's use the tower, because th we actually have to fly back, because this, this character doesn't have uh, the cloak. Let me see the reputation. We need to get like a thousand more reputation uh, with my guild to be able to buy the cloak that teleports you to Stormwind, uh, which is not that big a deal, but still, uh, that would have saved us some time to have it. Uh, let's use the little tower here to bring, to go back, uh, which one is the closest? Probably this one, a little bit of a safe time. Uh, what other is that that shows the teleport? It's a Tome of Teleportation, I'll type it, uh, Tome of Teleportation. 
Uh, it's a pretty cool add-on. I like it. Uh, I I got it like very very recently. It was suggested from uh, from some people from Matt. Uh, Matt got it suggested by someone else, and I saw it on Matt's stream. So it's kind of floating around, if you will. There we go. So let's go into the thing here. And there we go. So now we'll be able to go to next round is next. And there we go. Uh, so we'll have at least like uh, six characters uh, who has done Naxxramas today to get like all of the goodies from there. But I, I really hope we finally get another Lamented Pieces, right? I'm starting to lose my shit over the, the Lamented Pieces right now. We've been like so unlucky. It's uh, it's not uh, it's not fair. Life is unfair, and I'm very mad. We we I want to get some massive loot. I just want to get. Uh, you know, girls just want to have some fun. You know, they just want to have fun. There you go. Keep going. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I feel like I suck sometimes at dragon riding, and I need to get my uh, my dragon riding game uh, going better. I don't know. I feel like I'm. Uh... It would be kind of a smart thing to invest time in being more efficient at dragon riding, uh, because I'm probably gonna dragon ride a lot until the end of days. So if I'm just faster every time I dragon ride, I think it would be kind of logic, right? To put to invest some time in that department. All right, let's go here. We go again. So this is, I believe, run number four of the day. And we'll see here. Yo, so this is actually pretty decent. Yo. Too far away. I see my friend, my friend, sticking in the back seat. Looking at the back seat, gotta make my mind up. Which seat can I take? <laughs> God damn it, semicolon. Look at what you make me do. Look what you make me do. Look what you make me do. Oh, look what you just made me just make me do. Make me do. <laughs> Uh, going from Rebecca Black to uh, Taylor Swift is uh, is a classic move. There we go. All right. <sighs> I need to be less stressed. You know, um, something uh something happened recently where I was like, sometimes when you focus too much on the objective, you kind of forget to enjoy yourself while you're doing something fun. Like for example, right, um. I think that cooking is fun, but the end goal of cooking was to actually get my spaghetti sauce. But I was like so freaking focused on getting things done that I kind of stopped enjoying kind of the process of cooking. So, uh, so yeah, sometimes I really need to kind of just focus on having fun instead of being like super efficient and, and, and stuff like that, you know? I do this like a lot. So There's something I need to really kind of calculate a bit more. It's not easy being me, you know? All right. So yeah, this is run number four of the day, I think. And we have the demon hunter that we want to run today in Axe Ramos. Uh, there is another character that we have to do at least. And yeah, we'll go from there. Let's just start with this and then we'll go from there. I know that right now I'm working on uh, another spreadsheet. And it's not something that's extremely useful, right? Uh, but it's an inscription uh, spreadsheet. Uh, you know how my inscription spreadsheet for like... Um, for Dragonflight, I show it like pretty often, right? The ink from Dragonflight. Uh, well, uh, I've updated it for the ink of BFA as well, but I was not satisfied 
uh, with the actual result of uh, of the, the the of the one. You know, I was not super satisfied with the actual result of the BFA one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the I'm gonna redo the BFA one, but I'm also gonna do the Shadowlands inks as well, right? We could technically do the 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 inks also from um, from Legion, but Legion has this kind of uh, R lots of RNG to it, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do Legion, but we'll see. Uh, we'll start with BFA and Shadowlands to have them to my liking to see like the gold per hour from making ink, because there is opportunities, right? I'm not making this just to get some data. There is some opportunities to make gold with uh, inscription. Uh, from Shadowlands and BFA, right? Uh, by just really um, milling some herbs and crafting ink. and But it's not always profitable, right? It's not always profitable. You mill the herbs, you make ink, and sometimes you lose gold if you don't look at the prices correctly. But uh, also, it's not something that has like this kind of Im incredible sell rate at times it has a good sell rate right it's materials at the end of the day and region-wide materials uh but i think this has like uh some potential it has some uh, decent potential Yo. there we go uh go Beautiful. Yeah, uh, Evoker is pretty slow for running this. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of doing like Evoker. I wish they made this this thing that I just did, you know, floating in the air. What's the name of the ability? Deep Breath. I wish that Deep Breath was, uh, was an ability that would process like much faster, right? I think because right now like this, it's like super slow. You see how slow this is? I wish this was going kind of faster. But I don't know. Okay. I understand. Whew. Going. I see my friend. My friend. Picking up the back seat. I'm going to my. Gonna make my mind. Which she can I take? Oh my god, I hate this stupid dragging me everywhere. You guys die now. Get out. Uh, is there no speed gear like good uh, good old BFA? What do you mean, is there no speed gear? Uh, I mean, there is a Dragonflight speed gear and there is Shadowland speed gear. Uh, but it's not necessarily like... Um, uh, there is a speed set from just shot and stuff. I hear that there is, they've changed some of the enchants from the past. Like, you know the enchants for um for the boots? Apparently now they've changed the requirements for this. I'm not sure how this works. But now you could have any item level uh, boots instead of having level uh, 50 boots. You know? But I haven't really investigated this, so I'm not too sure how how it really happened. Oh boy. Hi. Oh boy. Uh, I, I thought Gear had a speed stat. Yeah, yeah, there is a speed stat. There is a speed stat, but um, basically the BFA, you want to use the Azerite pieces to get the speed stat that you're speaking of, right? Uh, if you want the uh, later in the stream, I could go on my uh, speed to do it and kind of show you uh, some of the items that you can actually use for this are kind of useful. Okay. I know, and the Dragonflight has a speed stat on it, and um, and yeah, it's basically all of the wall drop uh, gear that goes up to 424 item level. Technically, a uh, raid BOEs can also have speed on them. Uh, maybe there's going to be like a, a potential for this. Uh, but I'm not too sure when that's going to happen. Uh, but there's something you could kind of keep track at the end of the expansion when everybody sells like the BOE. Uh, but we'll there we go. 
Um, I'm actually going to take a little break since we're uh, basically closing in on the four hour mark. We're going to take a little break. And when we come back, we're going to continue this and open all of the tokens from Nax Farmers to maybe get some massive good drops. And I would really like it because I like massive good drops. So on that note, I'm going to put some music for you uh, nice people. And I will be right.
All right, we are back. Thank you so much uh, for your patience during my little break. We can continue in this incredible place that is Nax Ramos. And 
Um, yeah, we're gonna open all the tokens pretty soon. Um, something that we could do also maybe a little bit later is um, I could show you some of my um. I, I did I just started the stream. We did show like the mailbox, right? Uh, we did show the mailbox, but I kind of want to uh, update kind of my uh crafting spreadsheet like my personal crafting spreadsheet right um something that you can make kind of your own it's not something that i'm really sharing right um there is like a tsm group that has like all of the stuff that i craft but i kind of want to make some changes to it right i want to make some changes to it uh right now i don't really like the way that it operates so uh so we'll see if we can kind of make it better so that we can, uh, yeah, we can make um, uh, not not really more gold, but be more organized. I like being organized uh, with many many different things, uh, including like uh, th this is why I use spreadsheets. Like spreadsheets really kind of lower my anxiety in general, um, which is kind of why I use them. I, I like data as well, so 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 there's like multiple reasons why I like spreadsheets. Uh, but yeah. Having like um, this sort of uh, plan, right? Uh, I feel like when you know where you're going, there's like less mystery about kind of what's coming up. Uh, and that makes it like uh, less stressful. Mystery can be stressful, right? If you don't know if, uh, if you'll do something or if you fail at doing something and you kind of look at the data to kind of understand what went wrong. I feel like this is like essential to kind of becoming like a... A better version of yourself, if you will. That's definitely something I, I want to kind of uh, do more and more uh, with my life. It's just become like always a better version of myself. So, let's see. Why is he always at the other end of this shit, man? It's so far away. Why are you going away, stupid? What's his name again? Patchwork? Uh, I hate this Hearthstone card also that is Patchwork. Uh, apparently, they, they announced the nerfs. I kind of want to see what the nerfs are for, uh, for Hearthstone. Let me see if I can find them while people are coming my way. Uh, let's see here. Uh... Come on. Ah, yeah, there it is. Take a look here. For people who play hard songs, it'll take a moment. But yeah. Uh, this is now a format. Yeah, this card was broken. That's still, it might still get nerfed, to be honest. This is one attack. <laughs> nice. That's a, that's a big fucking thing. Uh, okay, this got removed the Wind Fury. That's smart. Okay, this is not a big nerf. Uh, uh, now light. Oh, they changed it so that you don't have lightning bolt anymore. Nice. Uh, this is now five. This card was broken. Oh, really? They they kept the effect, and now it's okay. And this is changed. Okay, to be stronger. Well, okay. This is. I think it was six mana before. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And this, this is three damage, really three damage, whatever. Um, okay, I, I can kind of show you something that I do, uh, and, and that's why I have like lots of dust on there. And hello, Daynard, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Otherwise, well, enjoy the stream. Uh, I can kind of show you what I do to have like dust in the stone. Is I, I don't really dust my cars in general. Let me actually show you. Oh, there is an update here. Let's update it. But uh, well, what I do is um, I really just, every time there's nerfs like this, right? Every time that there's nerfs like this, I just kind of disenchant everything that I can. Uh, that, that gives me like full value. We'll see if I actually have the... Uh, I'm pretty sure I have like lots of these cards. Uh, what's your new expansion favorite deck? Ugh. Right now, there was like Control Warrior that was okay, but it's like... I'm not, um, I play Battlegrounds way more than I play Standard, you know? Hello? 
I play Battlegrounds way more than I play Standard. So what you can do in the in here to kind of dust the cards as you do here, you type refund and see I have like nine plus of these. So this is going to be a lot of dust because I didn't dust them before. And with this dust, you can kind of craft cards. So very nice. This is why I have like a bunch of dust here. And like I'll, I'll show you after like the cards I have in craft. How many of this do I have? Damn. Yes, get out. Okay, let's see the next one. Oh, we have a, a golden one. That's 400 dust. Uh, we have a golden one of this too. Gold 100 dust. Uh, this is 40 dust, 40 dust. This is... Ah. Yo. Beautiful. I'll show you like the extra cards, how many extra cards I have. It's pretty crazy. Uh, this one was a good card. We might just recraft it at some point, but I don't really care that much. Ah, uh, to be honest, this is... now uh, we can dust it. Maybe we'll never use it. I'll just recraft it if needed. And there you go. So, if you look at my crafting here, I could get like 27,000 dust if I crafted it, if I dusted everything. But I'm not going to do that. So, there you go. That's what I do. Back to World of Warcraft. Back to work. Back to the good things. But yeah, my favorite deck, I, I don't think that, um, so for me, Hearthstone has kind of lost um, my attention when it comes to standard format. I'm kind of tired of the, okay, so we uh, start with like uh, 30 cards and we have 30 health. And what we're going to do to update the game is just have new cards, right? So it's like... It's been like that for 10 years, right? One of the best changes in the game for me was the Prince Renatal, where you have this change where you can make a deck where you start with 40 health and 40 cards, right? Which is nice. Uh, it, it, it wasn't that good. It kind of reminds this sort of thing where it's just always this kind of same hero powers from the very start of the game and it's just like fucking hell i feel like this game could be just so much more and we're kind of stuck with this stupid format of being like oh yeah you cannot do anything else than this format and you know what's the most frustrating is that they literally release a hundred different modes with tavern brawl but you cannot replay them Right? You cannot replay any of the Tavern Brawls. All of these cool modes that they made, some of them are really, really fun and could have their own little meta, meta right? But yeah, I, I think that they should do this now that eSports is dead for them, right? I, I think that, yes, okay, the main mode is standard, whatever, but like this mode, like the eSports of, uh, uh, of Hearthstones are dead. There's no more like live events. Uh, I don't think they have a lot of viewership either. And I know it used to be huge, right? Uh, but when, when you do a change like this, right? Where you have replayable Tavern Brawl, for example, uh, it splits the, the player base, right? The, the, the player base would be split. This is why you can, uh, this is why people don't usually do it sometimes. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the BG, the Battlegrounds is the, the mode that I play the most by far uh, in Hearthstone. First of all, it's so much cheaper, right? It's so, so, so much cheaper than stupid, like, Hearthstone Standard, which is ridiculously overpriced, if you ask me. Um, but yeah, I think that... Um, I think that I would just like to see... The full possibilities of things that happen. It's just not happening in Hearthstone. It's just not happening in Hearthstone. Uh, for me anymore. And I played like since like the first day of 2004. In 2004 I started playing Hearthstone, you know. Uh, 2014, sorry. 2014, obviously. Um, so I was very disappointed when they never released something like a tournament mode. Or any kind of other really cool modes. The only thing that they released is Battlegrounds, which is has nothing to do with the original kind of way that the, the game was working, right? 
I would like to keep this sort of functionality with, uh, you know, you add cards to your deck, you craft the deck, and then you play the deck in a different um, setting, you know? Me too, since the start, but I don't have the Blizzard Balance like you. I'm kind of free to play. Yeah, and, and that's that's even a worse experience for you, you know? If I want a card, I can craft any card that I want. Uh, if you're free to play, this game is just so not, not for people, <laughs> you know? And, um, and it's just, like, so not player-friendly for that. Like, um... The, the 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 game is supposed to be this sort of wild world where you can explore but you cannot explore you can't explore unless you have money right this is just this sort of really frustrating things for this right you cannot explore like deck creation unless and it's not unlocked really through gameplay it's unlocked through money and that's kind of the it's always been like that for hearthstone for me that it was like yeah and that's one of the reasons why I, I started kind of really making lots of gold is to be able to pay to get like Hearthstone packs, right? But um, yeah, I did buy something like 4,000 Hearthstone packs with my World of Warcraft gold. And sometimes I still buy a few, but every time I buy Hearthstone packs, I kind of regret it. Uh, but now I have like over 50,000 dust, so... It's like, um, and I have like lots of things that I could dust right now. I still have my wild cards, you know. If I dusted all my collection, I would have 200, 300,000 dust. I don't know. I have a lot of things in there, so. Yeah. It's, I, I'm very lucky to be in my position for sure. Where I have like gold to play Hearthstone. Otherwise, it's just like this sort of, uh. Uh, all right, so this uh, character is done. Yay! There we go. Uh, I can't do about eight thousand gold per expansion playing casual. Mini set costs two thousand. Yeah, exactly. Right? It's uh, ridiculous how you cannot really get a whole lot. But hey, I mean, you you can choose to not play too. You know, you, you can always choose to not play. I don't know if you've tried the Marvel Snap, but I felt like Marvel Snap was kind of a cheaper, was so much more player friendly, right? Like, uh, you can really go, I, I think you can really go free to play with, um, with Marvel Snap. Uh, but I, I, I'm talking, I haven't played Marvel Snap in over a year, so I cannot really say if they updated the game in a way that it's not, uh, that is kind of not really, um, can I say? I don't know if they updated it. That so now that you have to, you have to pay money to kind of catch up. Uh, hopefully not, but yeah. It was kind of a. I like the mobile stamp. Uh, Legends of Rune Terra is great. Uh, I haven't played. I tried to play Legends of Rune Terra, and the game was extremely, extremely laggy and buggy. So I kind of just uninstalled it. So I don't know if this is still a thing. But it felt like a bit of a spaghetti code. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. That was... Uh, but it looked it looked really cool, Legends of Winter. I know lots of people... Uh, is this still uh, supported? Uh, did they still release content on uh, Legends of Runeterra? Because I, I, I know that they have kind of stopped the development of the MMO that they wanted to do. Something like that. Not too sure. Uh, why did I log into this character again? Okay, let's see. Um, I just don't know. Do we do another character? Let me just see the time. How? Because we need to do the last character, right? I think yeah, I think we're gonna do the last character here, my banker, and then we're gonna do a little something different in next, right? Uh, for now, yeah. Though they are about to stop it, uh, stop stop like the development of uh of uh of the card game. Yeah, that would make sense. I mean, I would assume that this is not something that's uh these kind of older live service games. Or it's really hard to kind of maintain uh, for them. Uh, it's kind of hard to maintain. 
um what you can do i feel all right so here uh we have since the last time okay since the last time uh, as you can see we got twenty five thousand gold in the mail we got all of these uh all of these things here and this is from the runs we did today um uh, we need to send ourselves four thousand gold something we can do right now actually let's do it right now so it's actually done Send myself the the four thousand gold there we go because we did like the raw the four thousand gold is basically the raw gold uh from the other runs uh, and yeah, just like uh, the captain here, uh, you can um, you can purchase your uh, War Within uh, ticket for the giveaway. Uh, this is the last day probably uh, to buy this ticket. Um, and you can buy multiple tickets, it's just once per stream, right? Uh, let me actually get those. Actually, I'm going to repost these real quick. Oh, maybe not. It's actually... Okay, so I need to send recent... Demon Holly. So we need to send uh, 4,000 gold for the 4,000 Ruggle recap. Oh, I'm actually gonna just kind of post these little Sorry. things here, you know. Go. Beautiful. Okay, yeah. so now we can go. The company is more focused on the MMO at the moment. Yeah, I think that they, they kind of released a statement about. They're gonna change how the MMO, uh, they're gonna refocus how they're gonna do the MMO. Like they're gonna do a new concept. They don't want to do like a copy paste uh, of an MMO, but in another setting, something like that. Uh, I thought that was, uh, that was cool. I mean, they probably have endless money, this company, right? They probably have endless money, this company. So it's like, um, probably why, okay? This, yeah. Let's uh, post this right here because we have these to post and then we'll do the update on the data. Something that we could kind of show as well. I kind of want to show some of this stuff. Uh, no, I'm going to manually post this, those, and these. Uh, I kind of enter, I'm interested to see here uh, the data from the previous kind of runs, right? I'm interested to see this. So this is fine. There you go. Okay. Um, so let's look at the data. I don't know if we've been doing this for a month or less, right? I just want to change all characters to none and just put this character here. I believe we have everything here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like this. So I kind of want to see the sale rate of Frozen Runes. Okay, so I want to see how much gold we made from Frozen Runes in... Because this is the data, remember, for, if we go to our next sheet, this is the data from uh, 39 runs, okay? 39 runs of Nax Ramas gave us uh, 447 runes. So, if we do here, uh, 447 divided by uh, 39 runs, this is the amount of runes we got per run, 11.46, uh, which is... Less than what we currently get. Currently, we're getting 13 per run because now I know exactly where they are and I remember to take them every time. Okay, so we always get 13 now. But I'm kind of interested to see here if we get like 13 times the 93 gold that we average sell them for. So every run, we would get uh, 1,209 gold for for uh just from frozen runes okay so this is something i find that is uh very interesting right so we could put this somewhere maybe uh, around here so frozen runes we get 13 the average price right uh this is not what i want uh let's put this somewhere else like here there we go this so the average price that we sold them for is 93 gold right so here at 93 gold. So uh, in here, we could have like the total. Let me just change here the price, uh, the amount, and this is the item. Okay. So the total is equals, uh, yeah, exactly this. So we're getting 1200 gold just from Frozen Ruins. And now let's take a look at the war torn scraps, right? 
So we got 576, and if we do like an average press here, 576 divided by the 39 runs that we did. Uh, so we're at four, uh, uh, almost 15 gold, but let's do uh, 14 times 77. So um, 14 times 77, and we'll put this here, war torn scraps. Okay, and what was the average price? We sold them for an average price of 166 gold, okay? Uh, 166 gold. So here, uh, this is the amount of gold that we get uh, from frozen runs. So right now, um, this is something interesting. Here is average gold uh, for mats, right? If we do the average gold per mats, it's going to be equals uh, the sum of these two things here. So every every run that we get, right? And here is the raw gold. Okay, raw gold is about a thousand gold every run. Uh, so, uh, gold from mats. Actually, the gold, um, mats plus raw is gonna be equals uh, this plus this. So th this is kind of interesting because every run that we do, we get about uh this amount of gold, right? Uh, almost 5,000 gold. So if you do like per hour, uh, you could do this times three, okay? You could do this times three, which would give us about 14,000 gold an hour just from these things. But now, something that's interesting also is that we also have all of these items that we get as well, right? This is not the only gold that we get, but like to say that just from the materials that you get from here and the raw gold, you can make 14,000 gold an hour, I think that this is some very, very cool information uh, information to have, right? Some very good information to have. And you can also see, like, the, the actual sell rate, right? The actual sell rate of these items is, like, 52%, which means uh, when I post it, 52% of the time it's going to sell, which is very, very high. And what's higher for Frozen Runes? Frozen Runes was 66% of the time that you post it, they sell. So very, very good numbers. Very, very good numbers. So, uh, let's go now to uh, Max Ramos on this character. This character will have all of the tokens from uh, the other people here. So, we had like already like these 48 tokens. So, today, uh, we're going to have five runs in total, right? We're going to have five runs in total, so 60 tokens. Uh, five runs, we have like four attempts per character. So, that's going to be 20 more attempts at getting uh, some very nice uh, transmogs and stuff. So... In this case, uh, this is going to be upgraded. Right now, we have 180 attempts at getting, like, these Lamented Pieces, and we only got two, so it's one in 90. Um, but today, we're going to add 20 attempts, and if we put in the date here, 0328, and we have five more attempts today, we're going to be now at 44 uh, runs in total after this, right? So, very exciting to see. Take a look. <coughs> so yeah, uh, the, after this run, uh, we'll be able to buy everything that we need to buy. And I'm very excited to see even more data. Um, it's like this sort of um, of slot machine, if you will. I like, I like this kind of content, personally. I know it's not like everyone that's liking this sort of things but for me i just really like this kind of um this kind of gameplay right where um lots of good things will happen. I, I don't know how to really explain it you know it's like you always get this guaranteed gold you know this fourteen thousand gold an hour is guaranteed gold that's already something that I know that lots of people will be very will be finding very appealing, right? Um, that you can get this fourteen thousand gold just from this. But for me, this is not why I'm here, really. Uh, even though, like, this is some very nice gold, right? Some very nice gold. This is not like the main reason why I'm here. I just want to get all of the attempts at getting these kind of big ticket items, like in the world of like transmog. Um. It's rare that you get these big ticket item sales, right? These items that sell for like a hundred thousand gold or something, 
it's pretty rare in the in the transmog world right so so you know it's like um to 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 to, to get them uh so often in here i say so often right but i'm more talking about the sales that you get in here right uh the sales in here like the the the, the lamented pieces sell very very fast compared to other ones of these like high like uh, very expensive items so so yeah uh for me it's a it's such a kind of disconcerting you know it's like it's it's not every day that i've seen something like this in uh in the game you know in the past there was like glorious leg plates if you will which we sold for 75k this week which was really cool but um uh they, they used to sell for more than this so when you had a glorious leg plates to sell you would make like this kind of big chunk and this is something that is slowly but surely disappearing from the game these big transmog sales there's still some big ticket like transmog items but there lots of them are now getting more and more over farm and um, because it's a it's a really nice feeling to to actually go and get just so much gold for something that basically anyone can get not not necessarily easily everyone can get but it it has this sort of uh, of thing that you like you know how you can make a lot of gold per hour with transmog well it's all dependent on when you sell the item which Obviously, lots of people don't do because it requires a lot of patience, right? This takes a long time to sell. And not everyone can kind of wants to wait so much to get their gold at the end of the day for the work that they do. It's like, um, it's like imagine, okay, if, um, if you were working at a job, okay, and um, at the end of the day, you don't know if you're going to get paid, right? At the end of the day, you just don't know if you're going to get paid. So it's like every time, um, let's say that I'm going to give you like $50 an hour for working, right? At my whatever, RNG casino company, right? Okay. But the way that I would pay you is that uh, you would receive your pay uh, somewhere in the next six months. Right? Every time that you work, you will receive your money somewhere in the next six months. So you could have to wait six months to get your money, just like you could get it in one day. That's the RNG of it, right? That's kind of what Transmog is. You don't know when you're going to receive uh, your pay, right? Your gold for, uh, for what you've been doing. You just don't know. But... It's a much higher goal per hour than if you were working at a $15 an hour job uh, that you basically receive your pay every time that you work, right? Or every week, whatever, you know? So it would be way more efficient to do, uh, to, 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 to get like the $50 an hour job. Uh, but lots of people don't want to wait like months to receive the, the the money that we got that they get yeah so that's a that's a pretty big factor for me I like this kind of pay model right I like that any day of the of the year I could come into my mailbox and there's like two hundred thousand gold in it and I don't know what it is and then I scroll down and I see that I sold this big ticket transmog and this is a really good feeling when you just Open your mailbox. Every time you open your mailbox, there's always this kind of uh, of excitement, right? There's this excitement of like, oh my God, what am I going to get today, you know? What am I going to get today? Oh my God, these guys are so annoying. There we go. I'm in here. Uh, oh my God, these guys are so annoying with the pulling. There we go. Yeah, th this is why I like the transmog market so much. You know, this is why I like the transmog market so much. Is this sort of uh, excitement behind it? You know, this excitement. I, I like this feeling of opening my mailbox in the in the morning, and I don't know what's gonna be in it. That's always better than to know that there's gonna be like, if there is like a, I don't know twenty k in my mailbox every day. That's cool, right? That's cool. But I prefer having. A few days where there's nothing in my mailbox, and this one day where there's like 
200,000 gold in my mailbox, you know? Always a nice... Um... And eventually, that's kind of the cool thing that happens, is um, eventually, you'll be in a situation where uh, you've worked so many days in a row that you also almost get money every day, right? You almost get money every day from Transmog. And that's uh, that's always really nice. So it's kind of like working and getting paid immediately, but it's not. Okay. You. This is our last run of the day for uh, for Dax Remus. After this, we're gonna switch to something else. And there we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really hope that today is gonna be the redemption day, right? I hope that we get two lamented pieces today, okay? Not one, okay? That's enough. That there's enough times where we 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 didn't get like we got zero too many times. Today I don't want to get one. I want to get two, okay? I want to get two lamented pieces today. So let's get two lamented pieces today. That is what I want. That is what I need. Please, Blizzard gods, make Canada happy today. Don't you want to see this little guy being super happy? Already that he has to deal with his mustache in his face? You know? I need to target something first. Oh boy. Come on, come on. So we are... I think this is like the second wing that we do, right? Yep. So we have like uh, five more bosses to go. I'm really excited to open the tokens today. Really excited to open the tokens. Go. So we're now at like, uh, I think it was 44 attempt, uh, 44 runs of Nax Ramas in total. Which is uh, quite a bit, right? I, it's kind of crazy to me because uh, I've seen like uh, Zenzerfall doing this on five characters at a time. But when you think about it like this, like five characters at a time, it's like he could have done, he could have done what I did in the last month or so in a day, right? With his characters, like five characters doing it at the same time. So every time I do one run, he does like five runs. It's kind of crazy. I mean, I, I I don't mind it at all. Like, I like... um. It, it would be more efficient for me to do this with two characters at the same time. But that's kind of fine. It's like something that... If I were playing more off-stream, I would do this off-stream. Uh, maybe once the challenge for 1 million gold is going to be completed, this is where I'll start doing it with two accounts at the same time. I think that this is what would make sense. I don't like uh, doing two accounts at the same time on stream. Uh, it's just not something that is as exciting for me. Yeah. Uh, okay. There is some of that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, sorry, sorry. There you go. I get distracted. Okay, we're good. Let's keep going. How many do we have now? Oh, we already had 16 Warthorn Scraps in this run. This is kind of crazy. My average uh, Warthorn Scraps per run is lower than this. And we're not completing and we're over the average already. Kind of crazy. I think that my average uh, Warthorn Scrap is going to go up over time. Uh, because at the start, we were not getting like, we were not getting as much trash uh, as we are doing nowadays. Uh, did I get it? Yeah. So this was a, a kind of a good change in a way. Go. Come on. Around here, guys. Come on. Are they like uh, are they like blind? These uh giant guys? They feel it feels to me like they're blind. Go. Okay. Hmm. So many things I'd like to get right now. We're definitely, uh, I, I'm getting close on getting like most of the things that I wanted to do before the next expansion done. Uh, we could definitely farm some more recipes. There's not that many recipes that I need to still farm. I really feel like I should farm. I know I'm behind on some of the crafting that I wanted to do. Uh, but yeah. Eventually this is probably going to get fixed. So...
Okay, right around here. So we're gonna open the tokens at the end of this run, so I'm very, very excited for that. I I, I really want to get like two. I want to get two diamonds to pieces today. This is what I want. We've been screwed by RNG too much. This is the time for redemption now, okay? This is the time for redemption now. This is no more this is no more a video game. This is now very serious business, okay? This is now very, very serious business. I want to get the goodies. I need to get the goodies, right? Um we just really need it. <laughs> uh come on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And just like that. Beautiful. Alright, you guys are dead. Now let me go over here. Oh, get the la one of the last frozen rooms right here. Ah, uh, come on, stop sparking me. And kill this guy. One die. There we go. And now we go kill the dragon. So we have two bosses left, this one and another one. Go. They're not turning. There you go. I'm um, very excited. I really want to get like this beautiful loot right now. So tired of not having it. So tired of not having it. Oh. There we go. Okay. Um. So. And, all right, so now uh, we have one more bus to kill, and it's right here, this way at least. Uh, once this is done, we're going to open all the tokens. I think I think it's time that we finally get our redemption, right? We, we need to get our redemption. Uh, I, I've had enough of this bullshit RNG. There's no more the time for games, Blizzard, okay? No more time for games, Blizzard. This is, this is my time, okay? This is my day. This is uh, this is it. Okay. So thanks to you, I have found a great way to farm the pattern for all in the anvil. Part all five accounts out of the bus and mill your heart out. Oh yeah. Oh, so you're milling. You're basically milling herbs at the location of the spawn. Oh, that's fucking. Yeah. This is what I am. Um, this is what I was saying this recently. Like um. Uh, there's a lot of uh, opportunities to make gold with camping, right? You can camp uh, a rare or a special, uh, any kind of special thing that you can camp um, to get either like a rare pet or anything that's kind of big, big, big value, right? And one of the ways that you can kind of maximize your time while doing this is to just exactly do this, something like milling herbs. You don't need like a station to mill the herbs of uh, of dragonflight. So yeah, this is really really good. Glad, I'm glad uh, I'm glad that it worked out for you. Um, with five accounts and twelve tunes on each account, watching and moving, just casually watch the screen. Yeah, I mean you're gonna mill a lot of herbs doing this. I'm telling you, right? That's a lot of freaking herbs from doing this. Like I mean. Um, you can probably the probably the best thing that you can do is Arkham Room for this, right? Arkham Room would be smart to do because Arkham Room is like there's like an endless supply uh that you're gonna make like good profit from. It's almost I think that for the duration of the full expansion, Arkham Room was profitable to mail. But at the same time, if you mail like a million Arkham Room, that's gonna give you seven hundred thousand pigments. And seven hundred thousand pigments is it only takes some time to sell, I assume. I don't know. I just say I buy like something like maybe 20,000, 30, 40,000 pigments a week alone, right? I buy a lot, a lot of the shimmering pigments because, um, well, I don't have as much time to mill. And for me, it's, it's time efficient for me to buy the pigments. So for me, it, it makes a lot of sense to buy the shimmering pigments most of the time just because I don't have all the time needed. But it, it's still like kind of a, in a way, it's a waste on my part, right? In a way, it's a waste on my part, but in another way, it makes sense to do it. 
it's like uh, I have to choose which craft I want to do. Do I want to mill the herbs or do I want to craft the inks? And for me, the inks is something that I don't need to stay at the computer to do. It's a really, really big deal in this situation, right? A really, really big deal. All right. So we are now going to open all of the tokens. This is this is my moment. This is our moment. We're going to get two Labyrinth of Pieces today for sure. Opium, for sure we're going to get two of them, okay? Two Labyrinth of Pieces today. I'm so happy that we're going to get two Labyrinth of Pieces today. It's going to be so good. So, so good. All right. Oh, there's someone I want to help. All right, so now we need to do something like this, right? So, this and this one, right? Glad I could help. So, the best field anywhere. Hurry back. I need to move it like. Okay. Have a good one. Time is money, friend. There we go. Okay. Yeah, what do you want? Too good. I got what you need. Time. Yeah, this is really fast. Glad I could help. See how uh, how I'm maxing the hell out of this. Let's go. Yeah, what do you want? Glad I could help. Hmm, Are we done here? We're almost done. Oh, okay, we're done. Okay, so we should have the 60 tokens. So with 60 tokens, we can buy 20 lamented leggings. Okay? There we go. Big moment. Big moment. This is the time where we get our redemption today, okay? Today is redemption day. It was not marked on the calendar, but today is absolutely redemption day, okay? We have these 20 incredible, unbelievable leg tokens, okay? And I want to get the two labyrinth pieces that I deserve. And we're going to get them today, okay? What the hell is going on? Okay, there you go. So these are our 20 champions, okay? Our 20 champions are going to give us the best day of our life right here, okay? So let's start with good stuff. All right, we start with these garbage leggings. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my chat here so that you can actually see what I get. All right? See here. See it now? Beautiful. Okay. <sighs> no. Not good. This one. This one. Okay. Okay. These are not good, but that's okay because the lamented pieces are coming, okay? You definitely see here we have the in. I knew that the inside, you know, the inside would be bad. So I started with the inside because the outside is going to be so good. Like, it's like uh, keeping your dessert for the end, okay? There you go. Now it's going to start being good, right? Right? Okay. Okay. This is actually sellable. We could, uh, we could get one for selling. This is actually sellable, but it's not good enough. Yes. Lamented. Lamented leggings right here. This is number one. We still have one more to get, okay? We still have one more to get of the Lamented Crusaders leggings. Finally, we got one, okay? Very, very juicy. Let's let's get the second one now. Uh, Merciless leggings is pretty solid here, right? Pretty solid uh, pants here, right? There. Merciless leggings. So now... Let's get our second lamented pieces, right? Let's get our second lamented pieces right now. Uh, the second uh, lamented pieces is coming. It's coming real hard. Got some jade leg plates here. Another really good pair of pants. So, so far we got three very, very solid pair of pants. Very nice. Master's leggings are pretty bad. And we got the vital garbage leggings. Okay, so now we have last four. Let's get another lamented right here. Let's get another lamented right here. Are you the are you the one? No, you're not. Are you the one? 
Is this is this lamented leggings right here? I think it is. Nope. But this is actually sellable as well. So okay, well, we didn't get the two pieces, but we finally got one. Okay, we finally got one, which means we can actually put this in here as the tree third quantity right here. This is gonna be now two hundred attempts, right? But very nice. We got J leg plates, merciful leg plates, leg arts, grand leg arts, and these are kind of sellable. So now. We're going to go in here and we're going to put all of these uh, new trends. Oh, we need to sell some stuff. Let me actually sell some okay, stuff at this know. guy. Get out, get out. Sell all of these because I'm not going to sell those. There you go. Beautiful. And now we're going to put them through our TSM in the team up things. We're going to put all of these uh, things in here. And we're now going to go to the um, to the auction house, right? To kind of update the whole thing. Oh my god, I'm happy about this. Ah, the the only thing that's kind of bad though is that uh, the lamented leggings are a little bit cheaper than on the rest. Like if we look at the actual prices, right? If we look at the lamented leggings right now, uh, there is some at ninety thousand gold. I guess they're hundred ten thousand gold in my round, which is a little bit bad, uh, compared to like many many other realms where they're like much more expensive. Uh, but that's kind of the part of the challenge. We kind of have to deal with our realm, right? Uh, the other two we sold for 150,000, so maybe this is kind of fine, right? Maybe this is fine. So let's see here. Actually, we will kind of edit. Uh, let's remove this back. Great. There we go. Okay. Uh, so let's see here. I kind of want to see what happens because I don't remember what operation I did for uh, the lamented pieces. Let's see here. I'll show the lament the piece is gonna post. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh let's post the rest. This is a skip, post, post. Skip, so skip. Go like this. And we're gonna go and post these, because this is something I want to post. Uh let me kind of see my operation for this. Um lamented. I think I put at 150,000 gold each. I think that this is something I don't want to sell for less than 99,000. even at 99,000, I feel it's a little bit cheap. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's actually sell uh, the legs that would not post. This is not that bad. I'm fine with posting this, fine with posting this, considering the challenge. It's kind of fine. Okay, now let's post this, and yeah, 110k. It's not too bad. It's posted by I'm Stupid, right? Great name, great name. Uh, we already have like 9,000 gold coming to you. So today we're going to stop at uh, 574,000 gold, right? Uh, 574,000 gold um, after 44 runs. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Um, and also it's kind of good to know that I think that we have like 10,000 gold coming here. We also have lots of uh, materials. Uh, this is going to give us a lot of gold too. So we have like maybe another five to 10,000 gold left in materials to receive. And we have a lamented pieces. We have cloud keeper leg plates. We have jade leg plates. We have uh, these sh these patterns here. The bulwark. We we have a lot of different things that are really really solid. So some merciless leggings too. So, so lots of good stuff. So I think that uh, very soon we're going to be able to to kind of increase, um, like how close we are to finishing the challenge. So, but yeah, we finally got a lamented piece. We finally got a lamented piece. So, yeah. Uh, the next thing that I kind of want to do, okay. The next thing I want to do is kind of fix this spreadsheet here, okay. Uh, this is not really um, a spreadsheet per se. Right? It's not really that it's, uh, that it's like not working. It's working, but right now, it's kind of overwhelming to kind of find what I need to farm and what I need to craft, okay? So I kind of want to change this whole thing, this whole concept here. I kind of want to change this. So, uh, first of all, I think that the barter bricks can go, right? The barter bricks, I think they can go because uh, we don't really track this anymore. This is more something that we kind of check like once in a while, right? So that's the first part. Now, um, the way that we could do this, right now, 
I want to put kind of a list of things to craft. For example, these are the things that I currently need to craft and I know I need to craft, right? Uh, so I think this is kind of how we're going to do this, right? So one thing that we can do also is remove the little check marks. I think we're going to remove the check marks. It's just not working for me. Okay. Just not working for me. Uh, this was a good system at the time, but right now it's kind of not working. Let's delete the column here. Delete the column. Delete the column. Okay. So. There is three things that I kind of want to see here, and these are the, 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 the restock for my cross realm, the pets that I need to level, and the things that I need to craft, okay? So I think they will have kind of their own little row. So here, you could have something like this here. Also, there is a little issue here. I need to, yeah, let's delete this uh, right now. It's not looking good. Uh, and this here is going to go like here. Now, let me do this. Yeah, something like this. Okay. And now we delete this. Um, we can just put borders everywhere. Go. Uh, so here, this is going to be actually, uh, we're going to put this here, right? We're going to put this here. Oops. Do. Undo. And we're going to put this in here, I guess. Okay, and this is going to be, yeah, let's just delete these three cells. Lift up. I'll change the title to spreadsheet work, probably, yeah? Spreadsheet work. So I know lots of people kind of, um, kind of like, um, spreadsheets, right? Uh, and I know some people, uh, kind of struggle also to make spreadsheets. So now would be a good time if you have questions for this kind of stuff. Now would be a good time to kind of get um to kind of get kicking if you want. Um, so here we have uh stuff to crap. Okay, so now what we could do also instead of having these color codes for the things that I need to farm, what we could do is have another characters here. Uh, I will insert it here. I think one to the left. And here we could put recipes to farm, right? So we could put them in here. So soul of the forge, stirrups, steamy, romance, elusive, pet treat, pallid bone. Uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, leather, pet bed, um, anima. A leash, magic lamp, elemental lord's tone, uh, tiki mask, primal mastery, pandaria fireworks, flamethrower. I'm not even sure what the flamethrower is, but uh, we'll see. Piloted Reeves. And we could have like an order of priority. This is how I could use my color code here. I uh, will get some ads right now. Um, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, while the ads, I think I'm gonna do another stretching session, right? Let's do another uh, stretching session uh, during the ads here. Uh, to kinda get get the, the juices flowing, right? So let's go into it. All right. Uh, Cause yeah, I, I think that streaming is just something that you need to sometimes uh, stretch. If I don't stretch during my streams, it's like I feel so bad after. You know? I feel so bad after my stream. So let's. Uh, oh, yes. All right. Let's start with the neck up and down. Right? Up and down. Left and right. Circle. 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 Right. All right. And go with the big circles. Go. And the other side. Obviously, it's something you can do with me if you want. Want to kind of better. There you go. Oh. Oh. All right. Let's stretch with this. This is the one that I really kind of struggle. Go. No. Oh. It's like I, I kind of lose my balance a bit like this. 
not too bad, but yeah. This. Ugh. All right. This was good. All right, let's do that a little bit of the hips. Go like this. Slowly but surely, uh, I'm, I'm I'm actually getting a little bit more flexible, right? I'm actually getting a little bit more flexible from doing all this, which is really nice. All right, let's go like this. Stretch them up. Yeah, I'm currently doing stretching. I'm not kind of showcasing my legs. Like some people have been thinking <laughs> in the form of like, fully, right? Ah, uh, there you go like this. Ooh, good. That was really good. All right. Beautiful. Ah, been playing, uh, I've been playing badminton a lot this week. And it's just been like getting better and better. Uh, the people I'm playing with are getting better and better as well. So it's, uh, it's really fun. All right. So that's it for the stretching. So we can go back to the spreadsheet. So while this is happening, we can actually kind of remove some of these. Like this. Uh, uh, delete cell and shift up. Delete cell and shift up. Uh, there it's uh, up. And there you go. The ads are, are currently over. So thank you for your patience uh, during the ads. That's very, very appreciated. And we'll keep on working on this uh, spreadsheet right now. So this is kind of how I want to update my little recipe list. So why, why do I have this list? You might be uh, kind of wondering, right? Why do we have this list is because... Um, these are actually I'm gonna put some of these so uh we want the Tosh Lay Station Canada uh trash and robot smoke flares we'll, we'll take a look in a second fifty two toy feel repair bot Five, seven, five. Okay, let me just get rid of this and I'll explain kind of what this spreadsheet is, okay? So these are uh, things that I need to craft, okay? Things that I need to craft um, that I can craft, actually. All of these here are things that I can craft, okay? Now, all of these here are recipes that I want to farm. Always need. So now, um, when you do a lot of crafted items, there's a lot of kind of restocking that needs to happen, right? In terms of right here, the cross run restock. And right here, right now, I need to craft all of these items right now. So this is something we could do actually like right now. Uh, I don't know if I have uh, stuff in here that's all, but yeah. Something that we could do is restock on some of these items. So uh, yeah, this is all fine. It's not what I wanted. Let me just do this, this, okay. So I think if we look at what we need to craft, right now the speed rings is done by this character right here. Uh, the way that I kind of function with the speed rings, okay, is I have my guild bank, right? And I have these rings. I put in my guild bank. When I sell one, uh, I take it out. And that's it, right? That's all that we need to do. Uh, yeah, let's actually put this in here. So, Dragon Scale Expedition Tent. Go, something we need to craft. So I can take a look here. Atomic Recalibrator, we could craft some Atomic Recalibrators as well. Um, atomic Recalibrators, there we go. Uh, let me see. Here, if this is already in here. This is maybe something we're gonna craft too. Um, this is something we could just move one side here, and we need to craft these Alvin pets. We are, uh, we only have one. We had like thirty. I, I could kind of show you like um, the Alvins. How many Alvins we sold recently? Like this is just in the last twenty-two days we sold all of these Alvin pets. Um, crafting cost for this is not very high. It's very very annoying to get this recipe. Uh, if we look at the last three months, right, maybe we can see how many we got. We can also see a little bit more of the sell rate. 
uh, of these items, but we did sell all of these in the last three months, right? So if you look at the sell rate, it's at 14% of the time that I post this, uh, it works. And you can see here 38 sales at 12,000 gold. Now, uh, the crafting cost, we're going to take a look at, uh, at the crafting cost. It's something that's always really relevant. And we can also look like uh, something that I don't think I put in here. Yeah, it's in here. Portable party platter is also part of this, right? There you go. Just one thing I wanted to showcase. Uh, Chatterstone is definitely something that should go on the list here because we've been selling them very good, very greatly recently, right? Uh, Chatterstone was something I was posting for too high of a price recently. Uh, and that was kind of causing me some issue. So, I don't know why. What happened here with this? That's okay. Um, so these are where the rings are. So right now I have the versatile and the masterful. So I need the quick and the one that gives crit, right? These are the three that I need. Uh, we could buy some more Sinvir T set, uh, for sure. Yeah, we could buy some Sinvir T sets right here. Uh, Sinvir T sets. Whatever. And we have more things I don't think we do. Uh, the portable yak watch was really good for me this week. I sold two of them. Uh, and these are just for future Canadian. There you go. So let's start with the actual rings. The actual rings, let me see here if I can do them. So do I have this stuff? Um, so we need to craft the deadly ones, the deadly rings. Do we have a crafter's mark? Okay, we don't have the crafter's mark. We don't have the pure hay, uh, pure air. So, since we need to craft a lot, what do we need for the crafter's mark for? This is what we need. So, it's something we're going to use the auction house to kind of replenish this. Right? It's something we're going to use the auction house to replenish this. Well, and uh, there we go. Okay. So, let's go right here. Remove this. And just like that. This is, we need a crafter's mark for So this is to craft like speed gear of Shadowlands, right? So this is a bit expensive, but it's not like too bad. Uh, I think we could get like 200 maybe. Something like this. And maybe get some Anger's Eyes too. Maybe 200 as well. There we go. Okay. Great. So this is good. The rest seems to, oh, we need some malleable wire. Something you can buy from the vendor. Um, yeah, we should probably go and buy it from a vendor. There we go. Uh, then we need to actually get the, the deadly things here. So we need the clusters. Clusters, oh, they're really expensive right now. So we'll need to manually do the clusters for this one. Let's check the quick one. Quick one or more reasonable. And since we need to make like 10, I'm going to craft 10 and get 10. Should be good. Okay. Yeah, let's start with this and we'll do like the if I type cluster here and I want to make deadly clusters to make 10 grab them here go to station and we have these seals. okay we should be good here we should be good um and yeah we need to get some malleable uh wires this is something that's really annoying like the dragonflight vendors don't sell the shadowlands mats or the bfa mats so if you want to do some crafting for these expansions you actually have to go back to these places, which is really, really not convenient, right? Really not convenient. So let's go to uh, Shadowlands to get our things. All right, let's go to Shadowlands to get the stuff, the malleable wires. And there we go. I mean, at least it's not like that. With the portals, it's not that long, but it's kind of an extra step that I don't really understand why it's even there, you know? They could just put, I, I guess, no, there is a reason for it, right? There is an actual reason for this. Um, but yeah, like, if you want, like, players to buy the correct things for the current expansion, if you put all of the items in the vendor, this could be confusing for new players. Like, which wire am I supposed to buy here, you know? Uh, I think this is the vendor, yeah. Okay, so here we should get, oh, it's nine gold. I wasn't saying five. I know I know that this could be like cheaper in my covenant, but right now I just don't really care. Let's buy a thousand. And this should be fine. There you go. I think this should be fine. Okay, so now uh let's close this and we can make how many crafters mark? What are we oh we need to go to the mailbox to to kinda finish the rest, right? Go to the mailbox, get the things that we just bought. 
And there we go. And yeah, Crafters Mark IV is what you need to craft here, okay? So this is something that you could do. Uh, we need to craft uh, 20 uh, of these rings. So let's do 20 of the marks, right? And this is a pretty fast thing. Also, what we can do at the same time um, is I'm going to launch my other account so that it's uh, we can start the crafts on my other account as well. Since some of these crafts take a long time, uh, you'll definitely have some downtime when you do crafting. It's one of the people that don't like uh, crafting is usually because of this, is to have to stand in front of the window while it's crafting. It's one of the things that when you have uh, one account can be tedious. This is why I like to have these kind of big, long... Uh, crafting sessions, right? Uh, to make sure that you kind of value your time better. That makes sense. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, so we should be done here. So now, uh, the deadly. Oh, we need to craft the. Okay, let's go back here. Uh, cluster. We need to make 10 more uh, deadly clusters. So let's do 10 more of these be able to do the rings and i think we'll be able to do everything there's another item that we need to do uh this guy needs to go to valdraken while we wait so this is more of the actual like what canadia would be doing off stream right uh replenishing my stuff that i'm crafting you see these cells these cells usually happen when you maintain everything that you need to have on your auction house right um this is really really good what the fuck is this what is this? How? Is this new? Dented leg plate? It's like a... What is this? I've never seen these items before. Like an old kind of armor set? Kind of shitty? Whatever. What is this? Okay. Uh, so now... The actual rings. Also, oh, we're missing some from here. We only bought 10. Okay, let's go buy more on the auction house. Now, that's going to go back on the auction house. Whoop, don't buy. Full. And we're going to finish these rings. Uh, so this is speed gear from Shadowlands, right? Uh, these items are actually still desirable. So this is really, really nice. There is something I wanted to check for the speed set also. On my list of things that I need to do. Um, there was some speed sets changes in the most recent patch, okay? Apparently, right? Apparently, I haven't really looked into this, but this is what I heard. So I kind of want to take a look at what was said about this. Um, okay, so now we need to open this. And we need to open this and get 10 more of these clusters right here. There you go probably overpaying but i don't care um now we need the pure air uh pure air sales extension okay so this is what you need to make the speed gear i don't have the recipe for this but the crafting cost is very similar to this so it's not a big deal to buy it and the recipe is extremely annoying to get this recipe to get this is extremely annoying to get this is something i could actually put in here right uh, the pure air sale extension. Yeah. But yeah, this is something we're going to buy, like, since the price is reasonable, we're going to buy 50 of this. Um, I'm sure that, like, this is way too much, but I like having more than not enough, right? So here we go. We got all this. All right. So now, how you do these rings is you need to kind of put embellishments on it, right? So you put the crafter's mark. And you put the your air cells extension. So now you can see the crafting cost for this is 554 gold. Uh, but this, if I craft one, I'm gonna show you. If you look at what it gives, it doesn't give like the 151 that it's showing here. This is a 233 ring, and this will have 63 speed and ground mount improve improvement by 10% of challenge, which is not really relevant, right? Uh, so we're going to craft nine more of these, right? Uh, and this is part... There's a reason why I sell this, right? So let me actually show you... Um, right? Quick ox sign ring. So this is what you see here, right? You see in here that this is 554 gold to craft this, right? Uh, but now, if you look on the other side, 
you can see this is the kind of sales that you can get out of these items. This is an item that can sell for kind of a ridiculous price. Obviously, it's rare that it sells, right? You can see it's not very often that this sells. This is just one of the, like, speed items. So, so here's the thing that happens in here, right? Now this is the quick ring, right? Uh, we're not done. So we're going to go next and do uh, the exact same thing for the deadly ring, right? So the deadly ring is going to be the same thing. Uh, so now if I type here in uh, deadly, right? I did sell some deadly rings as well. So usually what happens is that when people buy a ring, they buy both rings. So you don't just get this kind of gold. You get it twice. And you also have... Um, Sha shade bound, right? So this is not like also have the gear itself, right? The shade bound gear. Okay. So this is also like parts of the sales you can get. M the shadow lace uh cloak is also in there. So there's a lot of the all of these items are like kind of speed items. So very, very much relevant items, okay? Very important. So now we have all of this. So this is kind of what I do is um i just put them in my guild bank and this is how i can know if i run out of an item is that the row is kind of by like I, I i don't take more of these items you can see here this is the spot for my four rings so if i see that there's no more rings in here that means i need to craft them okay so let's go like this And like this, so now we're gonna just put them. It's a little bit like the guild bank system is not that good, uh, to be to be fair. Uh, let's get out the three quick ring. Yep. So deadly, I need to keep three deadly and three ox sign because these are some for like selling on the auction house for me. Uh, so deadly, do we have another deadly? So this is something also if with TSM, right? If you're gonna sell this with TSM. It's very, very important that you know something, okay? So let's go actually on the auction house. I'm going to show you something on the auction house, okay? Uh, with these actual rings. Oh, it shouldn't be too long. So if we look at the auction house for those rings, right? Uh, you'll see that the price is much cheaper than what I just showed you, right? There's a reason for that. These don't have speed on them, right? And these have speed on them. So how can you make that TSM sees that you want to undercut the ones that have speed and not the ones that don't have speed, right? So the way that you do that is that in TSM, when you add items to a group, um, and in this case for me, it's something like, uh, let me see, this, it's in actually here, uh, the speed gear, right? Uh, you need to switch this to specific item, okay? So in here, you should see like that. You can see they have the same items a bunch of time. Why do I have the quick oxygen ring like seven times? It's because it's a specific item, which means this one has crit and ace. This one here has ace and mastery. This one has ace and versatility and so on. So this can be very, very annoying to enter, but it's not that bad. So in here, since I already entered them, you can see that they're not in here. They're already in here because I've already... Enter them. If you're making these groups with these items, it's important to select specific item when you enter them into TSM. Otherwise, what TSM is going to do is that this item here will sell for the cheap price instead of the expensive price, right? It's not. It's going to sell here instead of selling here, which is not. Which is what we want, right? So there you go. So this here has been completed for the. For the speed ring, so we can remove this. Is there other things that this particular character needs to do? He needs to do Chatterstone. So, the problem that I cannot do Chatterstone right now, uh, because I don't think I have Bloods of Sargeras, but let's take a look. So, yeah, I am missing the Bloods of Sargeras. Something we can check is for wall quests in in uh, in Legion. Sometimes there is some wall quest that gives lots of Bloods of Sargeras. It would be a good timing to have some, right? Would be a good timing to have some but right now there doesn't seem to be there is some here right but they only give one blood so it is not like good enough for me uh to my taste right i would prefer like to do the ones that do give lots of bloods of sargeras so that's what we're gonna wait on the chatterstone then since we don't have a wall quest for this uh but 
something that could uh, work out as well is to do a dungeon, right? If you do a dungeon, uh, you get Bloods of Sargeras from the Legion dungeon. So that could have been good. So Chalice Stone cannot be done today. Uh, Silver Tea Set is something that you buy from a vendor, right? Actually, this is not where I needed to put this. This is where I needed to put this. This can go away. Beautiful. So, uh, Sin VT set is another interesting item that uh, most people can buy. All right. So, let's go to, to the Sin VT set. All right. There we go. So, this is an item that you can buy in Shadowlands, right? And you need a little bit of reputation uh, to be able to buy this item. So, let me show you where the vendor is and how to get this reputation if you, uh, if you don't really know. So, this is a pretty um, decent place right here. So, this is something we can kind of pump up like this so we have more space. I did have a, an error with some of my TSM stuff earlier that I need to fix off stream along with other things. Go. Okay. So, in here, uh, we have this. I believe it's in the unbuying. Oh no, it's the Court of Harvesters Quartermaster here. So there's another place where you can buy this, and it's in the Covenant of the Court of Harvesters, or in the zone, I think. So if you go like this, uh, you'll see that the Sinvir T set is a bind when used. So this is sellable on the auction as this thing here, right? Uh, so to give you an idea, all right, if we type if we type the Sinvir, uh. He said, yeah, you can see that they sell for me pretty regularly. And if we look at like all the time, because I know, I know there has been some very cheesy sales of this, right? As you can see, you can buy this from the vendor for 1200 gold and you need some reputation to be able to, you need card of our investors honored to be able to buy this. So what you can do to get this reputation is callings, right? The callings from Shadowlands is the best way to get this item, right? But look at this sale here for a hundred thousand gold for this item right a hundred thousand gold fourteen thousand gold this is something that i just bought from a vendor for twelve hundred gold so you can always check on your server how much they are uh but right now i'm gonna buy like a few of these uh let me close this quick okay, one two three how many we have in guild bank we need to buy five of these right to kind of fill the guild bank with this so this is done uh we can actually remove it from the list okay uh, the next item is going to be, uh, we're going to do the, the Atomic Recalibrator since we have the character logged in here. So, Atomic Recalibrator is probably the best item from Engineers to craft this expansion. Uh, maybe it's in the top three, right? And it's right here. Uh, if we go to the actual auction house to kind of show you how much this is actually costing. Okay. So these are all material. Every single material here can be bought on the auction house. So if you look here, you'll see the crafting cost right now is 460 gold. Uh, while this is selling for this price. But let me tell you about this, right? Uh, the Atomic Recalibrator is no joke, right? This is not, there's a reason why I said that this is one of the best items for engineers. So let me kind of show you some data here, right? Show you some data here. Uh, if this can stop lagging. Okay, so Atomic Recalibrator. Oh, see the data here. So, as you can see, like, if we go back to the other screen, crafting costs at, like, 460 gold right now, okay? Crafting costs of, like, 460 gold right now. So, now, if we go to the other screen here, this is, like, usually the price that I sell it for, right? So, it's always kind of profitable. And as you can see, there's uh, many pages of this, right? Uh, this is, like, uh, we've had this item for 275 days on our auction house, so... Almost like something like eight, nine months, ninth months. So we had a baby uh, by the time we started selling this. And you can see at the start it was like really, really expensive, right? So we actually sold 200 of them at an average price of 5,000 gold. Okay. So if you're, uh, if you're, um, if you're wondering, right, why I craft all of these items, right? 200 times. 5118, and I think this doesn't include the auction house cost, so let's remove the auction house cost. So with this one item, posting it on the auction house like 923 times, so that's about three times per day, but I sometimes I post more than one, so it counts as like different posts. 
we made 972,000 gold with crafting one of these items, right? One of these items. So you can see, like, this is kind of why I craft so many of these items, right? Because this is the kind of stuff that you can get here. I, I'm Like, this is one of those most special items, right? Most of the items, you're not going to sell freaking 200 of them, right? Not going to sell 200 of them. Uh, another one... Uh, that is from engineering as well. That has been absolutely baller item to sell. Is the zap. Throttle. Try and see if this works. This one we sold 170 of those. But like the crafting cost of this one. Is actually cheaper. Let me go and show you the zap throttle. So inhaler. Uh, right here. So this one costs actually. Uh, 250 gold to craft. And we sold it uh, as an average price of uh, 3,900 gold and we, we sold 170 of this. Keep in mind that these numbers are for one server, okay? These are not like uh, items that I post on 50 servers. These are the numbers for one server. So if you sell this on multiple servers, you could see how this can become a little bit insane, right? But right now we needed to craft the, the atomic recalibrator. So let's go and craft some atomic recalibrators right here. To kind of complete the list. I don't know how many I needed to craft. But I know I needed to craft at least three. So let's go right here. And let's go like this. So let me just see my data. How much do I have in the guild bank? I have three. So let's craft three more. There we go. Definitely want to use the resourcefulness tool for this. There we go. Alright. And actually now I'm kind of starting to struggle a bit. I feel like it's la it's dropping frames from time to time. It's kind of glitching. Not too bad though. I think I know why. Yeah. All right. So let's try and find the location here. This is where he is. So let's replenish this right in here. There we go. And usually I keep another row for it. Another thing that was pretty good is swap blaster. We could actually uh, can we craft some swap blaster real quick since we're here? Yes. Have two of those, so we can actually replenish the swap blasters as well. This is from uh, Warlords of Drainer Engineering. There we go. Beautiful. There we go. And we're going to log out now and do the next one, which is the uh, Dragon Scale Expedition Tent, which we've been selling like freaking crazy this week, and that was really cool to see. Uh, so let's remove the Atomic Recalibrator right here. So now we just have to these five items. This one we cannot do today. Uh, this one we cannot do today. The other ones we might be able to do a little bit of them. All right. So we'll see. Um, there we go. So, uh, Dragon Scale Expedition Tent. Uh, we can kind of see. This is one of the other ones that was really good. Oh, thank you so much for uh, for the resub, Froda. Very appreciated. Um, and I will give you a little kiss. Right now my cam is, my, uh, my alerts are kind of fucking up. So here's a little kiss for you. Mwah! There you go. Uh, thank you very much. That's very appreciated. Um, and yeah, always a pleasure to have you in here. So uh, this one here has been going up and down in terms of prices. So this sinews here have been going really all over the place in terms of price. This one costs a little bit more to craft. You can see it's 1,400 gold to craft. Uh, but currently sells for like 5,300. So like... Since I love uh, showing you the data from this, right? Uh, let's go check the Dragon Scale Expedition Tank. Because this was one of the very good ones as well, right? Uh, Dragon Scale Expedition Tank. So you can see here, I sold 188 of these at an average price of 4,000 gold. So that was a very, very successful item for me, this uh, this expansion. Look at the sell rate, 19% sell rate. That means every time I post, like, uh, I need to post it about five times for it to sell. Completely ridiculous. This tent has been doing just so good for me. So, so, so good. So there you go. So we need to craft how many we have. Only one in the guild. We need to craft, like, eight yeah. or nine. I think we need to craft nine. There we go. And, yeah, this is something that's going to become, like, kind of next level, I think, with Warbands. Because... I'm not going to use my guild bank. I'm probably going to use my warbands bank uh, for this kind of stuff uh, very, very soon. So there's something you need to use a resourcefulness tool if you can. I'm going to craft nine right here. There we go. 
Oh, I need this character for something else, actually. I need this character for something else. For one of the next craft that we're actually going to do. Let me open this right here as well. Yeah, we got a frosty soul. Uh, so, uh, this character has some souls, I believe. Let me actually see if we have earthen souls as well. So, soul. Uh, yeah, okay. We don't have them. Okay, cool. So, one of the items also, we, we're going to remove this, right? We're going to remove the Dragon Scale Expedition 10. The next one is going to be the Portable Party Platter. And this one is kind of complicated. Okay? Portable Party Platter needs vinyl pickup materials. But the rest of the reagent's value is 1,800 gold, which is really, really good. Uh, 1,800 gold. And, again, Portable Party Platter in terms of, like, pricing has been kind of ridiculous, right? Um... And much, much, much higher than what you've seen so far. So let me kind of show you. So portable party. So uh, as you can see, the price for the portable party platter is much, much, much higher. Right? Much, much, much higher. But it does require these uh, binom pickup materials, which are frosty souls. We've done this a lot on the stream. Um, the next character that I'm going to send here is Love Poo Poo then to craft another one of this. Maybe Lovey Davy. We can see it here. We can see all my characters that have some. Uh, you need five frosty souls for this. This you can farm like something like 30 an hour. If you're very, very, very efficient, you can farm like 30 of these an hour. And this, you don't need a group for this. This is a solo farm. Uh, that can be really good. So this, what I'm going to do is send it to my actual alternate character uh, to craft it. I'm going to place some work orders uh, for this item here uh, to the same character. And this way... Uh, we're going to be able to craft these, okay? So this is one of the things we do. So now, I'm not going to relog uh, directly to this character. We're going to go to a different character right now. Uh, the next character is going to be... I know this one had some. So let's let's use this character and see what we can do here. And craft as many as we can because, uh, yeah, we do have lots of things to craft. It's like um, we've been kind of slacking on the soul farming. I, I wouldn't say slacking, but definitely uh, we've been like more tight. Uh, before uh, with this type of stuff, right? We've been tighter uh, with this type of stuff before. Something I could do here is reload on this character because I think he's kind of loading too many resources. Something that I did notice, and I don't know if other people noticed this, mm. but I feel like there's less kind of RAM, uh, memory leakage in this patch than the previous patch. I don't know if this is just me. I know Blizzard said they were working on a fix, but when you were crafting, uh, there was often these kind of memory leaks. So I don't know if this kind of got fixed. No idea. All right, let's go in here. So this guy is going to also send a work order for a portable party platter, and then he's going to go back to his uh, to his garrison. Uh, not his garrison, but his, um, his covenant, right? go just like that all right let me just see because i i don't know exactly how much i have of everything but we'll see. so here uh portable party platter we have enough for one so the other character is love poo poo and skin 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 okay cool uh let's send this to herb 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 go i just want to see here if we have the alvin right can we do we have some uh, no we don't have them okay cool this is gonna go back to his covenant real quick and we'll do another round of this uh, also what else do we need to craft we need to go on our enchanter for this as well beautiful so i think that at the end this is all going to be crafted but the last one we're going to need is chatterstone that's going to be it so this is going to go uh, let's go to my uh, priest right here. I can actually show you right now, actually, how to how to get these souls, right? I can show you how to get these souls because this guy is at the location of one of the of the of the places where you can get souls. Um, yeah, let's go here. Work complete. There we go. Okay, so this is the location to get uh, what's called the frosty souls. Okay, we are in Azure Span right here. Okay. And in here, there is this location uh, with like a bunch of rest. This is not like right now there's a wall quest for it, but it doesn't matter if the wall quest is here or not. Uh, what you can get, okay, let me kind of show you how this works. 
is you need to work a use an item here, okay? Is uh, real quick. Uh, so this is one of the items we just talked about a moment ago, and that's the Zap Throttle uh, Soul Inhaler, okay? Just uh, also check for the cages. Okay, so let me put this bigger so that you can see a little bit better. So this Zap Throttle Soul Inhaler is an item that you need to be able to catch souls, okay? Uh, souls are a bind on pickup uh, item. Uh, that you can craft some very special things with, right? Some of them sellable on the auction house, which I can kind of show you in my spreadsheet here. Uh, basically, if we put this a little bit bigger, uh, these are the five items that you can actually put on the auction house that requires these souls. There's the four elements. Right now, we're at the location for the frosty souls, right? So uh, let's go check here. Uh, what you basically need to do is put this on a special mob, okay? There's different types of special mobs. And this is a four second cast where you need to not get interrupted when you do this cast, okay? And that's it. Once the cast is completed, you'll have 30 seconds to kill the mob. And that's about it. Now, this is not gonna work if you don't have an empty soul cage. This is buyable on the auction house, but crafted by jewel crafters, okay? So that's basically what you need to do. Let me put this a little bit smaller, okay? So let me kind of show you how this goes. Uh, there is people here, so I think they've been killing lots of these guys. So what you want to kill is the Awakened Revenant in this case, okay? So we're going to start killing it. And when he does Bulwark like this, you need to be careful because he could uh, literally like... Uh, your, your thing is not going to work, right? Your thing is not going to work. So like this, and now I'm going to use my item, my Solinator like this. You can see it casting like this, and now you see he has a 30 second debuff on him, okay? So this is the time window that you have to kill him, okay? Very important that you kill him during this time window, or you're not going to get the item that we talked about, okay? So, case okay, so he's almost dead. We had 10 seconds left, so in our bags... We just received an encased frosty soul, okay? So these encased frosty souls have a duration on them, okay? Uh, this duration on them uh, is very important to respect, okay? Because right now, you can see that there's a, a thing that says right-click to open. It's important that you don't open it because this contains only awakened frost or rousing frost in it, Okay. While, if you wait 15 minutes, this is going to turn into a docile frosty soul, okay? And inside this docile frosty soul is the actual item that you need to craft the items, okay? The portable party platter that we just talked about, this is kind of how you get it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to Valdraken and use these items to send a work order to the person who has the recipe for crafting the portable party platters, okay? So you don't need to have the recipes on all of your characters. You really just need to be able to work order them. Uh, obviously, like, you cannot do work orders uh, across servers. So the crafter, uh, your crafter needs to be on the same realm as the person who farms, as a character who farms the soul, right? So in the work order right here, we can do exactly the same thing. So... Uh, portable party platter right here. And again, we're going to send this to the character. We can do this. This here. Place order. Back. Same thing here. Place order. And go back. You don't need to provide like the other materials like this, right? You don't need to provide these uh, these other materials. I, I don't know if this would work, right? Because we can combine maybe the, the things, right? Let, let's try it. Let's try it. We'll see. So that's it. What is uh We might have some earthen souls. Let me actually see here. Can we do this? No, we don't have earthen souls anymore. Uh, okay, actually, we can. This is actually relevant to see. So, um, Power Buddy Guy has eight, I Cave Den has five, Herb Herb has one, Heart has seven. Okay, and four. Do we have other characters that could do this? Only, I think, Skin 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 is the last one that could do this. Okay, let's go to the last character who can do this. And from there, we'll go uh, to the next place. There you go. Yeah, this is a little bit like more tedious to actually do these crafts, but it's actually like very, very uh, rewarding. Right? Very rewarding. There you go. 
Uh, we'll see here. Very cool. All right. Okay, so let's go like this and do a dollar and hearthstone here. Uh, oh, we do have lots of things. Oh, we do have a, a path here that I just noticed that we didn't transfer. Okay. All right. Go. Hey, message. And we're gonna do some more walk orders with these characters. Uh, Okay, uh, and we go to the station again. This is a, like, I don't have my characters at Valdraken, obviously. You know I'm doing the Shadowlands Mission table, which is why I don't uh, have them in here. By the way, don't forget to buy your tickets for uh, the War Within. Uh, the War Within uh, Epic Edition giveaway, which is, this could be the last stream of the month where you can get it. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a new giveaway for April, which is also going to be the War Within uh, but it's going to start as a base edition, right? That's a base edition. So this is not where I want to go. And lastly, let's do the portable party platter again. Uh, party, there you go. And this to herb, herb, herb. And go like this. Okay. And here we can do all of them, maybe. Do we have some? Uh, no. Okay. There you go. And this. And uh, I think this guy is one of the guys that has a lot of the other ones because there's another item that we need to craft here, and that is uh, this is not what we wanted. Uh, this is the recipes. This is the Alvin the Anvil uh, pet that we're gonna do. Uh, this is basically done, so we can remove it. Uh, and yeah, we still need a few crafters here. Let's go back uh, with this character here. Uh, does he have the cloak? I guess not. Can we buy the cloak on this character? Ah, he doesn't have the rep yet. He doesn't have the rep yet. All right, almost done. So here we're going to send some work orders, not for the portable party platter, but for the other type of soul, which is the earthen soul. Well, there's four types, right? Another different type than frosty soul, right? Show you. Because uh, Alvin the Envil has been selling, like, uh, lots of people kind of doubted that I should have paid, like, 580,000 for the recipe, but I've already paid for the recipe. Uh, and that makes me like very, very happy for the Alvin the Envil. Um, because yeah, Alvin is a, is now a pretty, not too expensive to craft, right? It's not too expensive to craft. And that makes me very, very happy. All right, let's see here. Let's see. So, I'm gonna send for Alvin the Envil. So, uh, in here you can type Alvin. And this is a blacksmithing recipe, so I'm going to do a hit like this. Uh, obviously, you don't need to provide the rest, but it only takes one soul, this one. So this is extremely cheap uh, to just send with one at a time. And this guy has like seven souls, so we'll be able to send uh, many of these, right? Okay. Oh, yeah, so I'm sending this to my old, so it's not too bad. Uh, also, I wanted to check who else has it. I want to do my paladin. And this is the character that I'm currently on. So let's do my pa I'm actually going to use my hearthstone before. I don't have to be fine. And yeah, I'm going to do my paladin. And then we're going to craft all of the things that I send work orders to. So that you can kind of see how this goes, right? So, log out here. We're going to do my pardon. Uh, right here. Should be not too long. And yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how the spreadsheet looks a little bit better now. I might do some more work on it uh, off stream because um, maybe there's a way that we could kind of improve it. I feel like there's many ways that we could improve it. Uh, but yeah. So. Uh, this is now going to go to the... This guy doesn't have... Did I vendor the cloak? Did I vendor my cloak? Oh my god, I think I vendored my cloak on this character. Well, that's not very smart, Canadian. That's okay. <laughs> I vendored my teleport cloak. At least it's very cheap to buy, so it's not like a big deal. 
I still need to go and get another one. This game is stupid. There we go. So this is the last character that we really need to um to send orders with. Then we can actually craft the orders, right? Actually craft the orders. There we go. But yeah, this this is kind of what uh, you can expect from these kind of crafting, big kind of crafting uh, opportunities in Dragonflight and other other expansions. Lots of the things that I crafted today were not necessarily from Dragonflight, so it's good to kind of scout for all of these little recipes that could basically be anywhere, right? Uh, it doesn't have to always be about um, the current content stuff, right? Uh, lots of time people only focus on the current content, and this is this offers like some opportunities, right? Everything that I'm doing right now is going to be available in the next expansion, and lots of people will forget about it. And if you still kind of keep track of those things, maybe... Maybe it's going to start to look like you're making lots and lots of gold. And because like you're going to be one of the only one uh, posting uh, these kind of forgotten things. Well, you have like uh, some pretty serious gold making opportunities uh, that other people will not have because they haven't really looked at it. Right. So this is this is kind of my favorite kind of uh, farm is knowledge farms. Right. Uh, when you have this kind of knowledge that other people don't have. It creates these kind of opportunities uh, that you only have because you're knowledgeable. If everybody was knowledgeable of what I was doing right now, it would be much less profitable, let me tell you, okay? Uh, so let's see here. Uh, this guy wants to send uh, one of the orders, but let me see here. I, what did I want to do? No, it's I wanted. Let me just see here if I can actually do one all anvil uh Alvin. I think there was one Alvin I can do. Yes. So here I gave then. And this is the guy that's gonna craft my portable party platters here. So uh I wanted to make sure I have the quest for the work orders here, because this is gonna give me some knowledge points on this character that still hasn't uh, completed that much of these, so that's always very nice. I'll also check for the public work orders, see if there is some um, opportunities, but I guess there's not. So here, you can see all of the portable party platters are right here, so you can do this. And just like that, I might not have all the mats, I might need to go buy some of these mats, but it should be not too bad. I think I have all the mats for everything. So check. There you go. It's a pretty fast thing to do. Go. And, oh yeah, I might need some cakes actually, I'm gonna miss some cakes. Ah, uh, uh, this, I guess I sent it without, okay, ever, why, what, okay, this one works, why is there two of the orders that I sent without the frosty stills, oh, uh, this one's fine, it's just one of them that I just keep clicking on, maybe, that's possible. <laughs> Uh, let's take this one. Uh, yeah, this one works. Yeah. Okay, so I think it's just missing one, right? It's just this one. I thought it was just missing one, but I guess I'm just going to decline the order so we'll get back those things. There you go. So now, uh, obviously, I don't have the portable party players on me. That's because they have been sent through the mail to the character who did the work order at the start, right? That's kind of how it works. And so now we're going to go to this character. This character is the one that can craft the Alvin uh, the Anvil, right? Go. Two. We can also kind of remove the Alvin thing. And we're just going to have one more thing to craft. And that's going to be the Illusion Primal Air, which is this character that can craft it, uh, which is really cool. Go like this. And we're going to do all of these. So there's a lot. So I'm not sure this guy's going to have the materials on him. So we're going to have to go check the auction house uh, to make sure we have the materials. Right? Make sure we have the materials. And Alvin the Envil, uh, I did show the sales data before. My average price is like about 12,000 gold. It, it might go down because it's like the profit on this is so ridiculous. I'm going to show you the crafting cost of the, of the materials for this. Uh, because this is like a pretty major uh, profit margin on these items. 
check here. All right. So, uh, let's go open. This is a blacksmithing recipe, by the way. Uh, and you can see here, uh, the crafting cost is not updated. Let me just kind of make sure it's going to be updated. Uh, well, then. This. Let us so, crafting cost right now is showing at 1,600 gold, right? Uh, not even sure this is considered. Okay, okay, let's see here. We'll buy some more frost fire here. Let's buy like uh, 102. To buy some more inferiors for sure for sure let's buy something i wanted to buy for the future maybe but let's just buy like uh, 200. make sure i have enough and the primal ones the primal ones are super cheap good 100 beautiful because it's not something that you need to have the rank three to craft right it's a pet so there's not like different qualities of pet that you're gonna get from this so in here we're gonna get oh i guess we sold some stuff from this character that I didn't even remember we posted. I think we were just wanted to clear some bags. Well, I guess we have 83,000 gold that was just there. Let's go. 80, it's been like 27 days since I had this in the in the mailbox, I think. Because you could see like some of the expires. All right, let me just get maybe the quest for work orders. If that's not already there, good. We'll go to the work order table in here. Uh, we'll check for some public work orders first. Uh, whoa. This is like the, the thing, right? Uh, everything here is... This is all like scams, probably. So, you can see all of this are here. So, just like that, we'll be able to craft all of these, right? Just make sure I have a resourcefulness tool. That's the case. Very nice. And, yeah. All of my characters are going to get these. And just like that, we crafted, like, all of these toys. So, these souls are very kind of... Um, this is something I'm going to do. I do kind of regularly on the stream, right? I mean, these souls is something I do regularly on the stream. Uh, but yeah, this is something that very, very, very few people do. Um, you can always check the prices on your server for the two items that we crafted with this. Or with everything in the list that I showed, right? Everything in the spreadsheet is sometimes phenomenal on some realms where competition is low and profit is high. So... Always a, always a nice thing to at least look at it, right? Uh, but yeah. Going. Having more and more recipes is always kind of a phenomenal way to kind of make sure that there is something, a market that is still lives on uh, when one of your market dies. Because a lot of times market dies in this kind of a, a thing. Like someone new uh, starts crafting and posts it like at 100 gold profit. And then you're kind of like, okay, I'm just not going to post this item anymore, right? So, yeah, let's keep going here. I'll have a few left, right? And I think I did, this guy also can make some for himself. There you go. So, I'm going to show you after, like, what it looks like when you actually receive the items, too. Be too long. Might actually be missing some of these. I don't know. Maybe we didn't buy enough. No, I think it's going to be okay. Especially if we hit some resourcefulness procs. We're a little bit lucky. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Now, this character does have like a few uh, souls himself, right? There you go. So, uh, now if we go to recipes, I can make five for this character as well. Uh, because this guy did farm some of the souls himself too. There you go. So th this is the Binom pickup version as well, right? You get the Binom pickup version. It's like this. So yeah. Not something that you need to cage him every time. And then relearn, recage, relearn, recage. And there's one more recipe that we need to do on this character. And let's go check. Uh, and this is the primal. It's an enchanting recipe, right? Enchanting recipe has the illusion for primal air. Uh, which currently has a crafting cost of 2600 gold, which is quite a bit because Awakened Air just got much higher in price right now. Uh, but we need to buy uh, 200 because we need to buy craft 10. And for the resonant crystals, we're good. We already have them. Let's go check here. There's something that takes like it has a long crafting cost kind of thing. A uh, long, long crafting time, not crafting cost. A little bit like uh, tedious for that reason, but yeah, you need to go to the station to be able to craft it. And we'll actually use—is this a quick hand? Okay, 
so with the enchanting here we can kind of craft i mean we'll craft like 10 uh resourcefulness is the name of the game for this right here you really want to use a resourcefulness tool and enchant for this and that's gonna be done so we're gonna be uh done with all of our crafting list here which is really 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 nice uh because now we just have to do shattered stone but it's not available for us to to do because we need to go on a farming session if we want to do it so very happy with the results here and what we're going to do next now is this is actually uh going to be the end of the stream for today so um i want to do thank you to so many people and thank you for watching everyone that was here today watching that's very very appreciated thank you very much uh frota too with the resub thank you very much uh Daynard for the follow thank you very much uh chill casey uh see you Kaz. there you go there you go thank you so much for the follow uh musky with the resub four months now thank you very much uh knutel thank you for the follow very appreciated uh xaders for the follow thank you very much manic crazy gold thank you for the follow scully wally actually we're gonna do a shout out again to scully wally for um for the raid that was very very appreciated uh thank you scully um and also yeah that's uh that's it for like the the people that did this also thank you check out my discord make sure to check my discord uh lots of good things there if you're on twitch follow me on um on youtube i can link my youtube right i can link the discord as well and if you're on youtube you can always check me out on twitch right so there you go do the discord all of the goodies there you go also you can support me on patreon if you want check out my twitter all the stuff uh we're gonna raid someone now we're gonna raid someone let me just see uh who's available to raid there is scully we could we could send it back to scully woolly right that would be pretty funny that uh, he raided us and now we're raiding him back that's exactly what we're gonna do right now there you go so uh let's do it not be if you're thinking about it. yeah okay there's no problem uh no problem man uh so we're gonna raid uh scully woolly uh, thank you all for being here today. That was amazing. I love it when people kind of join. Um, it's always very appreciated. Like everybody here is appreciated. It's not a matter of like um, uh, of anything else than just I appreciate just having people around to have these nice conversations about goal making and farm with people and have the everything is amazing here. Yeah, don't forget to buy uh, your. Uh, war within uh giveaway ticket this might be the next one we're not sure for when the next stream is going to be uh but uh potentially this weekend potentially monday potentially tuesday uh keep on with the discord to make sure not to uh not to miss it so you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend i'll see you very soon take care guys have fun with scully bye bye No, 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 no. Ah, man, we need, we need to send it someone else. We need to send it someone else. We're going to send the Earth Freak. <laughs> the fuck? The timing, man. He ended the stream at the same time. All right, we're going to raid uh, someone else. We're going to raid someone else. Did I end the stream? No, I did not. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let me see if this works. Let me see if this works. And if this works, it doesn't work. No. God fucking damn it. Mm. Well, whatever. Bye-bye.